2290 AD. The Son of God descended to the Blue Planet and brought the Son of God system. The Son of God system would release a game at irregular intervals. When the people from Blue Planet entered the game, it was as if they had entered a brand new world. Each game was different. There were gods, demons, elves, swordsmen who traveled the world with weapons, and demon lords who slaughtered the common folk. Players from the Blue Planet entered the game with their physical bodies. Inside the game, everything they obtained could be used in reality. Even the skills in the game could be released in the real world. Because of this, you could see people flying through the sky and burrowing into the ground in reality. However, every time a new game was about to be released, everyone's abilities, skills, and classes would vanish. The things that had been brought to reality would remain in reality, though they could not be brought into the next game. However, the most precious items or special items dropped by the final boss of each game could be brought over to the next game. Also, because the physical body enters the game directly, death in the game meant death in reality. The world. The densely packed gamers lay on the ground, panting heavily. They had just finished a world-shaking battle. Flames in the surroundings burned the ruins. The battle had lasted three months. Their opponents were countless monsters and the final boss, the evil demon lord. The players had finally seized victory. In the endless sky, a masked man in silver armor was forced to the edge of the sky by dozens of people. Feng Ling, you betrayed me. Covered in blood, Chu Bai raised the sword in his hand and glared at the first person in front of him. Feng Ling sneered and looked at Chu Bai. By Feng, you have nowhere to go. If you know what's good for you, hand over the divine armament diagram. That way, you can suffer less pain. Even if you don't hand it over, you'll still drop it after I kill you. As important contributors to the slaying of the evil demon lord, Chu Bai and the dozens of people in front of him were comrades and had been brothers-in-arms for several years. Unexpectedly, for the sake of the ultimate item, the divine armament diagram dropped by the evil demon lord. They suddenly turned against him and plotted against Chu Bai, sealing off his magic, crippling him, and forcing him to a corner. Aside from the people here, Many of Chu Bai's former comrades had also betrayed him. Chu Bai took a deep breath, his eyes alight with anger. Fine, since you want me dead, don't even think about making it out alive today. With that, Chu Bai fished out a bead. Blood guiding bead. Seeing the bead in Chu Bai's hand, everyone's pupils constricted violently and they subconsciously began to retreat. Die, all of you. Crack. Chu Bai crushed the blood guiding bead and countless strands of blood wrapped around the people. Ah! Screams could be heard one after the other. Their bodies were torn into nothingness by the blood, and their equipment dropped to the ground. Only a few people who were far away survived. However, at the last moment, a burst of light erupted from Feng Ling's body. He landed safely in the endless sky. Chu Bai saw this right before he died. F asterisk CK. If not for the scroll of invincibility, I would have been killed. Feng Ling cursed and then walked over to the spot where Chu Bai had disappeared. There was a pile of fallen treasures there, and he picked up the Divine Armament Diagram. The Divine Armament Diagram, the ultimate item that can be brought to the next game, is mine. Ha ha ha. With this, I can dominate the next game and take everything. The ultimate item dropped by the final boss of a game was a treasure that everyone dreamed of having. It could be brought to the next game to help the user stand above everyone else. The few people who had survived ran over excitedly. Green Cloud Stone, Jade Water Bead, Fatal Strike Scroll. Oh my god, there are so many good things. Some of these can be brought to the next game, right? The people excitedly distributed the treasures. By Fong, my good brother, let us inherit these treasures of yours. Fong Ling sneered. Zhongjiang City. In a rented house, Chu Bai suddenly opened his eyes. I'm not dead. He looked at his body in disbelief, then quickly checked the time. December 5th. It seemed that he was resurrected right after he died, instead of being brought back to the past. Next to him, a cracked crystal ball the size of a ping pong ball attracted Chu Bai's attention. Prayer's glass. Chu Bai reached out and stroked it. This was something Chu Bai's girlfriend had left for him before she disappeared. In the game, 
Its effect was supposed to be a resurrection, but the prayer's glass had always been unusable. He did not expect it to come into play when he died. Chu Bai and Ling Longxue met five years ago in the Game King's Descent. She was also a person Chu Bai knew in real life, and the only one who knew that Chu Bai was by phone. This was because, inside the game, Chu Bai had never taken off his mask. The two of them had been in love for three years, but two years ago, when Chu Bai went offline, Ling Longxue had disappeared without a trace, leaving only the prayer's glass and a farewell letter. In the letter, she said that she had something very important to do and was going to a place called the Land of Destiny. Chu Bai had searched the Land of Destiny for two years, but he had not so much as heard of the place. He carefully put away the broken glass. It was night, and it was dark outside. Right then, a white light suddenly appeared in the sky outside the window. Chu Bai looked over. There was a line of words written on the white light. Adventurers, the final chapter of the world has concluded, and the map is now permanently closed. At 8 a.m. tomorrow, Destiny will attack. All adventurers, please head to the Land of Destiny and start a brand new adventure. Chubai was already used to this scene. But, Destiny? The Land of Destiny? Chubai suddenly stood up excitedly. The so-called Land of Destiny that he had been searching for was actually the next game world after the world. He did not expect the surprise to come so suddenly. Lovers and enemies were all there. Schwer, wait for me. Chu Bai silently clenched his fists. Meanwhile, many people were exclaiming outside. F asterisk CK. Destiny? Is a new game coming so soon? Ah, I can't F asterisk King fly anymore. I've lost all my power, my skills. Boo hoo, this sucks. I still have 20,000 yuan in the world. I didn't have time to withdraw it. I haven't settled my rent for next month. Will there be a beautiful landlady who will take me in? Heske. Destiny. Onward. They were all very excited to hear about the new game. There were three reasons why they were eager to go. First of all, when a game concludes its final chapter, they could make an exchange for lifespan. Some people had even lived for hundreds of years by now. The most amazing thing was that some people still looked young even after hundreds of years had passed. Secondly, if you do not enter the game and fail to complete the final mission of said game, the Son of God system will destroy the blue planet. Thirdly, it was for influence, money, and power. Even if your power would eventually disappear at the end of the game, everyone still wanted more influence and money and to live longer. 8 o'clock tomorrow. Chu Bai memorized the time, then went out to order duck leg rice. He sat down to eat. The television in the shop was broadcasting news related to the world. At this moment, Feng Ling appeared on the television screen. Chu Bai looked up and his eyes narrowed. Hello, great god Feng Ling. I'm reporter Xiao Yu. Please greet the audience in front of the camera. On the television screen, Feng Ling waved his hand. Hello, everyone. I'm Feng Ling, great god Feng Ling. Did you say that you have something important to announce? Feng Ling nodded. That's right. I have two things to announce today. The first is... He looked desolate and bit his lips slightly, looking very downcast. The first thing I have to share is bad news. I hope everyone will not break down after hearing it. What is it? The reporter asked. Feng Ling looked at the camera and sighed. He said softly, My good brother, the number one player, by phone, has sadly left us forever. What? Everyone could not believe their ears. The people eating in the shop stood up one after another. How is this possible? How could God by die? Was he killed by the final boss, the evil demon lord? Impossible. The players fought for three months without being able to kill the evil demon lord. But then God by suddenly appeared and depleted the evil demon lord's HP bar in only a few moves. With such strength, how could God by die? The number one player trampled head on the emperor who dominated King's descent for many years and one shot the masters to claim first place on the heaven ranking. In Divine Demon, he single-handedly killed tens of millions of monsters, triggered the secret quest, got the destiny goddess to descend, and gave everyone in the world an additional year of lifespan. I refuse to believe that such an invincible idol would be killed by an evil demon lord with low health. I don't believe it. I don't believe that God Bai is dead. Ah, uh, God Bai. No, I don't care. It's fake. It's definitely fake. 
Chu Bai stared at the television as he ate. He wanted to hear what this sanctimonious guy would say next. Great God Feng Ling, is, is what you said true? The reporter's voice was also trembling. Feng Ling nodded. It's true. During the battle today, I'm sorry. As he spoke, he turned his head to wipe his tears, then turned around again. Today, the evil demon lord was severely injured, and we went to chase after him. However, we were caught off guard when the evil demon lord went berserk. My good brother, by Fong, was seriously injured before he could react. After we killed the evil demon lord, we quickly tended to buy Fong. However, we realized that he was poisoned and his health bar was constantly dropping. We used everything we could, but we couldn't get rid of the poison. In the end, in the end, Fong Ling turned around again and wiped his tears. In the shop, those people looked crestfallen. They slumped into their chairs as if they had lost all their strength. God Bai is dead? They muttered to themselves in disbelief. Chu Bai laughed mockingly. It was a pity that this person was not a professional actor. Fong Ling took a deep breath and said, In the end, my good brother, Bai Fong, fell. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that I couldn't save Bai Fong. I'm sorry. With that, Fong Ling bowed deeply to the camera. I'm guilty. I'm useless. I've let my brother by Fong down. I could only watch him die. The reporter also mopped tears. Great God Fong Ling, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. I believe that God Bai will be truly happy if he saw how remorseful you are. Fong Ling stood up slowly and took a deep breath, revealing a self-deprecating look of sadness. The reporter asked, Great God Fong Ling, what's the second thing you wanted to say? Fong Ling wiped his tears and said, Bai Fong gave me all of his treasures before he died, as well as the divine artifact, the Azure Cloud Sacred Sword, which had accompanied him for five years. As he spoke, he took out the Azure Cloud Sacred Sword that was emitting a platinum glow. Bai Fong said that he wanted me to take this sword and carry his will into the next game to kill the final boss and save Blue Planet. So I announce. Feng Ling raised the Azure Cloud Sacred Sword in his hand and shouted angrily, From today onward, I, Feng Ling, will carry on my brother by Feng's dying wish. Holding his sword, I will fulfill his dream. By Feng might be dead, but he is not truly gone. There is still me and everyone else. In the small shop, many people got to their feet and applauded. Well said. By Feng didn't really die. God Bai will live forever. God Bai. God Bai. Feng Ling continued. Everyone knows that my guild in the game is Feng Ling Dynasty. But now, I plan to establish another guild. The name of the guild will be Bai Feng Alliance. Bai Feng Alliance and Feng Ling Dynasty shall be comrades. Just like me and Bai Feng, we will be brothers forever. Let us be allies and brothers in arms. We will inherit Bai Feng's will and walk down the path together. Inside the small shop, everyone stood up and cheered. Follow Bai Feng's will. Let's go down the path together. Join the Bai Feng Alliance. The next day, the trending topic had already been flooded with news of Bai Feng. Hot search ranking. First place, Bai Feng is dead. Second place, Bai Feng Alliance. Third place, Great God Feng Ling. Chu Bai had yet to wake up, but the Son of God's mark on the back of his hand flickered with light and a slight electric current forced Chu by awake. This was the mark that everyone was born with. With this mark, one could enter the game time at any time. Ding! Honorable adventurer, destiny will begin in 10 minutes. Please be prepared. A system notification that Chu Bai was already used to hearing resounded in his mind. Normally, he would not hear such a voice. Only in important situations would there be such system notifications in reality. Chu Bai washed up. It was 8 o'clock. Activate. With a thought from Chu Bai, his body disappeared from his rented apartment. In the next moment, he arrived in a space similar to the universe. Welcome to Destiny. The game has begun. Please create an account. Chu Bai was already familiar with these things. Player, please create an ID. Chu Bai replied, by phone. He wanted to tell those people that he was still alive. He wanted them to be wary from the moment they entered the game fearful that he would kill them one day. Ding. The current ID has already been registered. Please recreate the ID. Chu Bai frowned. Huh. He was already dead. 
but someone still snatched his ID? Someone with Feng Ling? There was no point, though. Feng Ling had already declared by Feng's death. There was no point in snatching his ID. Who would be willing to wear such a special ID? Were they not asking for trouble? How strange. After a while, Chu Bai's lips moved slightly. Bai Yi. Ding. ID, Bai Yi successfully created. Ding. Player Bai Yi, please choose a class. Current classes are Swordsman, Assassin, Priest, Archer, Mage, Summoner, Heavenly Shield. Chu Bai said, Swordsman. He had only played the Swordsman class in the few games he had played before. He was familiar with it and did not intend to change it. Swordsman was a class with balanced attributes in all aspects. Assassins had high agility and high attack, but they were too fragile and rarely dealt AoE damage. Priests were healers. Archers had high ATK and ranged attacks, but they were vulnerable in close combat. The Heavenly Shield was a textbook meat shield. Moreover, Swordsman did not have any fatal weaknesses, which was why many people like to use this class. Ding, you have chosen the class of Swordsman. Are you sure? Yes. Ding. Detected that player by E has a piece of equipment that can be brought into Destiny as broken glass. Do you want to bring it in? In front of Chu Bai appeared the prayer's glass that had saved his life in reality. Chu Bai checked. Broken glass. Grade. Holy seal. Usage requirements. Unknown. Owner. Bai Yi. Description. One of the seven ultimate hidden items of destiny, said to be able to revive dead people. Current status. Damaged. Repair requirements. Unknown. Cannot be dropped. Cannot be discarded. Cannot be traded. Cannot be stolen. Hmm. Chu Bai frowned. This was something his girlfriend had given him. Perhaps it was a top class item in one of the previous games. But how could it be an ultimate hidden item in Destiny? Logically speaking, there should be a remark that it came from a previous game. Destiny had only been released now. After all, Chu Bai had no idea. I'll bring it in. Chu Bai gave his answer. Ding. Character registration complete. Ding. You have obtained the talent disc. Currently, you will be randomly assigned to a starter village. After entering the game, please use the talent disc to randomly draw talents. This made Chu Bai curious. None of the previous games had such a thing. Ding. Finally, player Bai Yi is reminded that the pain level in Destiny is 1%. Every player only has one chance to revive in Destiny. After the first death, their level will decrease by one of five levels. At most, five random pieces of equipment will be dropped. Complete death will cause all equipment to be dropped. I wish you a pleasant game. This was something that every game implemented. Every player had a free chance to revive after entering the game. A moment later, Chu Bai's vision turned white. Ding. You have entered Starter Village 77777. A system notification sounded in his mind, and Chu Bai opened his eyes. He was in a small village with a lot of trees. Around him were players who had just registered and dropped in from Blue Planet. F asterisk CK. Talent disc? Random talent draws? Give me an awesome talent. Please, please, please. God by in heaven bless me. Bless me with an awesome talent. If I get an awesome talent, I swear that I won't touch a woman for 10 years. Anyway, I haven't touched one for 25 years. 10 more years is nothing. The corner of Chu Bai's mouth twitched. The first thing the surrounding players did after landing was to take out the talent disc and draw talents there. Meanwhile, the first thing Chu Bai did was take out his mask and put it on. The mask was a gift from the system. Men received masks and women received veils. Their appearance in the game was the same as their appearance in reality, and there was a camera function in the game. If anything he did was captured, everyone in the real world would know. His wings were not fully grown yet. If someone wanted to kill him, they would not be able to do it in the game, but it would be an easy task in reality. Then, with a thought, a compass-like item appeared in Chu Bai's hand. Talent Disc. Players of Destiny can draw random talents. Talent levels range from low to high. E, D, C, B, A, S, 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 S. Chu Bai willed it into action. Begin extraction. Ding. The talent disc is drawing a random talent. Please wait a moment. Ding. Congratulations on successfully drawing the extreme void talent. 
Infinite Ultimate. Chu Bai. What? Extreme Void Level? There was no Extreme Void listed in the Levels of Talents. Was SSS not the greatest already? Could it be that SSS was equivalent to Extreme Void? Wait, no. From Chu Bai's experience, these games were especially rigid with the way they did things. There was no way they would do something like this. In the various games, equipment, items, and even monsters were divided into the grades of steel, bronze, silver, gold, demon, celestial, heavenly, divine emperor, super divine artifact, super divine beast, holy annihilation, and holy seal. Holy seal was the highest grade. For example, the evil demon lord was a holy seal boss, while the divine armament diagram was a holy seal item. There was no extreme void. System, what is the extreme void? Chubai asked. Ding, I don't know. Chubai, how straightforward. The player's cries came from the side. Ah, F asterisk CK. Ah, I'm F asterisk King having a mental breakdown. The crappiest grade E talent. Overdose health recovery. Increases the amount of healing received by 2%. F asterisk CK you. Do I look like I need your 2% health recovery? Ah, grade D talent, block. Blocks 2% of the damage received. That's taking 2 points of damage less out of 100. This is a grade D talent? Isn't this worse than grade E? F asterisk C. Ah, does the system think that I've been single for 25 years and wants me to stop being single? I made an oath to not touch a woman for 10 F asterisk king years in exchange for an awesome talent and you gave me an E-grade. In that case, just give me a woman. Boo-hoo. Holy crap. Grade-A talent. Indestructible. In battle, the damage dealt to the enemy every 5 seconds can be recovered as the same amount in HP. Hell yeah. Get out. I got a grade-S talent, Bloodthirst. A permanent passive skill that deals 10% damage to the enemy to heal myself. F asterisk CK. Amazing. Hearing these words, Many people were envious. F asterisk CK. Kill them. F asterisk CK. Kill them. Then, a group of people instantly rushed over and surrounded those who had drawn good talents. Minus zero, minus zero, minus zero. The starter village had a protective mechanism. As long as you were in the village, you could not be harmed. The pain level was only 1%. Those attackers were purely venting and the people on the receiving end were lying there happily receiving punches and kicks. They were ecstatic. Chu Bai, on the other hand, glanced at his extreme void talent, Infinite Ultimate. This talent sounded very impressive. Infinite Ultimate. Extreme Void Level Talent. Passive Effect. Ignores levels, grades, and any special effects. Once a unit within sight uses his ultimate, the player, by Yi, can directly obtain it. For one day, the player can unleash the ultimate unlimitedly with their current attributes. The ultimate has no cooldown and no mana consumption. You can only obtain one ultimate from the same unit on the same day. Note, all ultimates obtained will disappear in 10 seconds after combat. Active effect, you can obtain a random ultimate every day. This ultimate can be used infinitely and is not affected by being out of battle. You can use the skills of other classes. Chew by. This infinite ultimate, was it not game-breaking? As long as someone in Chu Bai's line of sight used his ultimate, Chu Bai would be able to take it for himself. He could use it without limit with his current attributes for a day. If he did not use it right away, he could wait for over 10 hours before using it. After all, he had a full day. Once it was used, the ultimate would disappear within 10 seconds after leaving combat. However, this was not important. Once a fight started, the skill could be released infinitely, and it would be very difficult to leave the battle for 10 seconds anyway. Most importantly, if there were 100 people near Chu by who used their ultimates, then he could obtain 100 ultimate skills. If 10,000 people used their ultimates, then he could have 10,000 ultimates. There was no upper limit. If the fight dragged on, would he simply be invincible? To top it off, he could obtain a true ultimate that could be released without limit every day. This infinite ultimate could also use the skills of other classes. How crazy would it be for a swordsman to be able to release a mage's skill from afar? Ding. Congratulations on obtaining the skill Heavenly Lightning Break. Chu Bai raised his eyebrows. 
Heavenly Lightning Break Requirements Assassin Accumulate power on the spot for one second, then smash it down on a spot up to 10 meters in front of you, dealing damage to a maximum radius of 10 meters. Deals damage of 3x of current attack to all units within a 5 meter radius of the center. Deals damage of 2x of current attack to the outer area. There is a 10% chance of inflicting a 3 second paralysis effect and a 1% chance of dealing 10 times the damage. Paralysis. Unable to move. Effect from innate talent infinite ultimate. No cooldown. No mana consumption. Remaining time. 23 hours, 59 minutes, 48 seconds. Chubai. Shall I try it? With that, Chubai quickly walked out of the village and arrived at the nearest place to farm monsters. He glanced at his current equipment and attributes. Novice clothes. Grade. None. Equipment requirement. None. Attribute. Defense plus two. Novice pants. Grade. None. Equipment requirement. None. Attribute. Defense plus two. Novice boots. Grade. None. Equipment requirement. None. Attribute. Speed plus two. Novice longsword. Grade. None. Equipment requirement. None. Attribute. Attack plus two. Character. By Yi. Level. Zero. Title. None. Hunger. 100. Full. Reputation. Zero. Gold coins. Zero. Three fixed attributes. Luck. Ten. Charm. Ten. Intelligence. Ten. Four basic attributes. Constitution 20, base 10. Spirit 50, base 10. Strength 30, base 10. Agility 20, base 10. Health points. 200. Each constitution point corresponds to 10 health points and 2 defense points. Mana. 500. Each spirit point corresponds to 10 mana points and 2 magic attack points. Attack power. 62. Each strength point corresponds to 2 attack power points. Magic attack. 100. Defense. 44. Movement speed. 42. Each agility point corresponds to 2 movement speed points. Critical chance. 0. Everyone in Destiny had different attributes. If you were strong in reality, you would be stronger here, meaning that your attack power would be higher. The attack power at level 0 is 62. That's higher than any of my previous starts. Chu Bai held the novice longsword and looked at the monsters. There was a group of wild boars. They were the lowest level monsters around. If you could perish at the hands of such monsters, you should forget about entering the game at all. Detection. A player's basic class skill. You can check the attributes of monsters not higher than your level by 10. No mana consumption. No cooldown. Cannot level up. Bristled boar. Grade. None. Level. 1. Health points. 180. A grumpy creature with relatively fast speed. Skill. Charge. Increases speed by 50% and charges at a target, causing increased damage. If the hit is critical, the damage will increase by 300%. Ding. Infinite ultimate skill activated. You have obtained the ultimate skill. Charge. Ding. Infinite ultimate skill activated. You have obtained the ultimate skill. Swordsman slash. Ding. Infinite ultimate skill activated. You have obtained the ultimate skill. Fireball. There were already players fighting around him. Swordsman Slash was the basic skill of a swordsman, and Fireball was the basic skill of a fire mage. Now, Chubai could use them all. However, he had more powerful moves at his disposal. Why would he need to use these? Chubai looked at the few bristled boars in front of him. Heavenly Lightning Break. He gathered strength at one spot, and lightning coiled around his body. Whoosh. The next moment, Chu Bai leaped and smashed his sword in the direction of the bristled boar. Boom. With a loud bang, an area with a radius of 10 meters was blasted by lightning. Minus 182. Apart from the few points of defense displayed by the bristle boar, a massive three-digit damage marker appeared. A bristled boar was instantly killed. Chu Bai did not hesitate. Heavenly lightning break. He accumulated another heavenly lightning break and smashed it at another bristled boar not far away. Boom. Heavenly lightning break. Boom. F asterisk CK. The huge commotion instantly attracted everyone's attention. What the F asterisk CK? What's that? 
Why is that skill so powerful? I only have a swordsman slash that increases damage by 20%, but this guy can just blow things up and attack everything? One-shotting a bristled boar with one attack? Damage above 180? My normal attack dealt slightly more than 20 damage, and this guy is one-shotting them? F asterisk CK? Is there no cooldown? Are you even going to let others play? Everyone was dumbfounded. They watched as Chubai leaped and smashed his sword down over and over. Lightning fell over a 10-meter radius, instantly killing the bristled boar in the center. After that, he gathered strength at one spot and jumped again, smashing to the other side. Are you bouncing like Tigger here? A moment later, they saw a golden light flash on Chu Bai's body. He had leveled up. Ding. Your level has increased to level 1. Health points plus 10. Mana plus 10. You have received 5 points to freely distribute among your attributes. Chu Bai paused. The free distribution of attribute points was for the 4 basic attributes. Without thinking, Chu Bai promptly added the points to his attack power. His attack power instantly increased by 10 points, reaching 72. He leveled up just like that? I've been fighting one monster for a few minutes now, and I still have to constantly circle around it and dodge. But this guy, F asterisk C, I'm done with farming. Let's see how many more times you can use this skill. Continue. Boom. Boom. Everyone was speechless. Everyone was dumbfounded. This is a talent drawn from the talent disc, right? Could it be that the skill has no cooldown? Isn't this an SSS level talent? What the F asterisk CK? Where did this awesome skill of his come from? Did he do any rare missions? I'm so jealous. F asterisk CK. Ah. Bai Yi. I can tell that you're a fan of God Bai, but I'm also a fan of his. Why did I draw the talent block? Chu Bai did not stop killing monsters. He continued to use his infinite ultimate heavenly lightning break, to quickly decimate the monsters. Not far away, a group of two people walked over. Tianyu, the farming spot of the novice monster Bristled Boar, is up ahead. When the player with the ID, Old Dream Tianyu, heard this, he said, we're not spawning any new monsters. I've checked the map. Other than the unexplored area, there's also a blood-colored swamp in front of us. It's filled with level 5 monsters. We have to quickly get to level 10 and leave the starter village to go to the real land of destiny. Old Dream Tian Yu and Tian Xing were elders of the Feng Ling dynasty. They were also participants in the operation to kill Chu Bai. Tian Xing was stunned when he heard Old Dream Tian Yu's words. What? We're all level 0. How can we kill level 5 monsters? Old Dream Tian Yu laughed. He reached out and revealed a red gem in his hand. Power gem? Tian Xing was shocked when he saw this. Yes, a power gem that doubles the damage output. This was from the pile of items that Chu Bai had dropped after he died in the world. And this. Next, a few beads appeared in his hand. Fire beads. Old Dream Tian Yu nodded. That's right. Each of them deals a fixed explosive damage of 10,000. There are a total of five of them. They're all taken from the equipment that Bai Feng dropped back then. Even if you encounter a difficult boss in the starter village, you can instantly kill it and even get the first kill. You must have a lot of good stuff too, right? Tian Xing smiled and said, I just have a Divine Emperor weapon, but there are requirements to use it. You have to be level 50 to equip it. Bai Feng's death was totally worth it. He left us so much wealth. Damn it. Can he even finish using all the treasures he left behind by himself? F asterisk C. Tian Xing cursed. Old Dream Tian Yu whispered, Don't mention this anymore. Keep it to yourself. If you let it slip, you'll be dead. Yeah. Suddenly, a player shouted in panic, attracting everyone's attention. F asterisk CK. There's a boss. The two of them looked over. A wolf that was more than five meters long had broken through the boars and was attacking the players at an extremely fast pace. Minus 269. Minus 287. Ah. One by one, the players were instantly killed. Their only chance to revive was used up, and their bodies turned into white light as they returned to the revival point. A level 8 bronze boss. This early? Tian Xing frowned and said in surprise. Monsters were divided into steel, bronze, silver, gold, demon, celestial, 
Heavenly, Divine Emperor, Holy Annihilation, and Holy Seal. When monsters reached the celestial tier, they would automatically be regarded as a boss. Even if they were level 0, they would still be a boss. Below celestial, even level 100 monsters could be divided into either normal monsters and bosses. For context, the difference in attributes between a level 10 bronze monster and a level 10 bronze boss was dozens of times. Bosses were always popular in the eyes of all players, especially in the early stages of the starter village. A bronze boss could only be chanced upon by luck. 3,800 HP. Just blow it up with a fire bead, said Tian Xing. No need. There's no need to use a butcher's knife to kill a chicken. We are definitely the first players to encounter a bronze boss so early. Old Dream Tian Yu shouted. Are there any members from Fengling Dynasty? I am Fengling Dynasty's White Tiger Hall Master, Old Dream Tian Yu. Team up with me to kill the boss. A loud shout instantly attracted more than ten players. Brother. Brother Yu. I am Bayamo. Do you still remember me? Brother Yu. I'm here. Hall Master. I'm here too. They did not have a guild building order at the moment, so the Fengling Dynasty was not fully established yet. However, they all belonged to the Fengling Dynasty, so it was a good thing to have an organization in the starter village. Not far away, Chu Bai heard the voice and looked over. Old Dream Tian Yu, Tian Xing. When he saw the two of them, he narrowed their eyes slightly before a playful smile appeared on his lips. What a coincidence. Old Dream Tian Yu was saying, Listen up. You three heavenly shields guard the front when your skills are up. The bronze boss can't be killed in one hit, so give us some space to attack. When your health is low, run away. Priests are on healing duty. Mages and archers attack from afar. Tian Xing and I will be the main damage dealers. Yes. Then, they rushed toward the bronze boss together. Minus 87. After seeing the damage, the old dream Tian Yu was very satisfied. At level 0 in the early stages, the damage he dealt to a level 8 bronze boss was still impressive. Power gems were indeed powerful. Old Dream Tian Yu's attack did not exceed 100 damage, but it had already caused everyone to exclaim. F asterisk CK. As expected of the White Tiger Hall Master of the Fengling Dynasty, Old Dream Tian Yu, my attack landed on the bronze boss and only dealt 10 points of damage, but he did 87 points in one shot. Boss, I'm also a member of the Fengling Dynasty. I'm coming too. Is the Bai Feng Alliance considered a part of the Fengling Dynasty? Didn't Fengling say that he wanted to establish the Bai Feng Alliance in Destiny? I want to join. Can I follow him now? For a period, a large number of players joined the battle to annihilate the boss. The boss's HP dropped very quickly. He's low on health. He's low on health. Everyone was extremely excited when they saw the boss's low health. As for the old dream Tian Yu, he naturally had to take down the boss by himself. Whoever killed the boss would get the EXP. Also, any items dropped could only be picked up by that person. If they formed a team, however, the EXP would be divided equally, and the drops could be picked up by any of the team members. Swordsman Slash When old dream Tian Yu saw that the boss only had 100 HP left, he used a swordsman slash that would deal over 100 damage to the bronze boss. However, boom. Suddenly, a blue flash followed by lightning rushed toward the bronze boss faster than he could. Minus 181. The bronze boss turned into a ray of light and disappeared before his eyes, leaving behind a pile of equipment on the ground. Old Dream Tian Yu, meanwhile, was struck by the AoE damage. A damage marker of minus 121 appeared above his head and he was sent flying. Old Dream Tian Yu? What? This scene happened so quickly that no one could react. By the time they reacted, the boss had been killed, and Old Dream Tian Yu was still standing there with low health. Chu Bai's body emitted two rays of golden light, and his level instantly reached level 3. The system notifications kept ringing in his mind. Ding! Congratulations on leveling up to level 3. Health points plus 10. Mana points plus 10. You have received 5 points to freely distribute among attributes. Ding! Congratulations on killing the bronze boss. Reputation plus 1000. Ding! Congratulations on your first kill of the bronze boss. The system will release 3 worldwide announcements.
Do you want to hide your ID? Chu Bai picked up the equipment while saying indifferently, Don't hide it. Send it ten times. The system. Ding. Attention all players. Player, Bai Yi, from Starter Village number 77777, has achieved the first kill of the bronze boss. This is the announcement. Ding. Attention all players. Player, Bai Yi, from Starter Village number 77777, has achieved the first kill of the bronze boss. This is the announcement. Ding. Ding. Everyone was speechless. Sino Nation. F asterisk CK. It's only been half an hour since the server opened, and a bronze boss has already been killed. Boss. F asterisk King Awesome. Bai Yi. Looks like a fan of God Bai. Right? God Bai's fans are as awesome as God Bai. Sakura Nation. What? It's Sino again. Damn it. The first clear of the bronze boss has been snatched by Sino again. It doesn't matter. It's just the first clear of a bronze boss. We just need to get the first clear of a higher level boss. Moreover, Bai Feng is dead in the Sino war zone. Their combat power has decreased a lot. There's nothing to be afraid of. Semida Nation. The Sino war zone again? Oomph. We can't let the Sino war zone continue to be full of itself. So what if they get the first clear? Without Bai Feng. So what if they get the first clear of the bronze boss? After Chu Bai picked up the equipment, he glanced at Old Dream Tianyu and even waved the bronze weapon he had just picked up at him. The corners of his mouth curled up slightly. Thanks. Crack. Crack. Old Dream Tianyu, Tian Xing, and the others were infuriated. F asterisk CKU. How dare you steal my monster? You're asking for death. Old Dream Tianyu gritted his teeth. Go. Destroy him. However, no one listened to him. Even though he was the hall leader of the Fengling dynasty, none of the members went up. F asterisk CK. They had clearly seen how this guy killed the monsters just now. Who dared to go? Are you deaf? Go. Old Dream Tian Yu promptly slapped a player beside him. Brother you, I don't dare. F asterisk CK. Do you believe I'll kill you first if you don't go? Old Dream Tian Yu snarled. Then, he shouted, People from the Fengling dynasty, I'll say it again. Kill him with me. With that, Old Dream Tianyu held his sword and charged toward Chu Bai. He did not care if his health was low or not. The most important thing now was to kill this creature that dared to snatch his monster. He remembered the flame bead, but did not want to use it. He felt that with so many people on his side, it would be easy to kill a player who had just entered the game. There was no need to use a sledgehammer to kill a chicken. Moreover, his combat skills were very strong. More importantly, he wanted to kill this person with his hands. Also, he had seen the skill the player had cast just now. Such a powerful skill clearly had a long cooldown. Damn it! Who dares to provoke me? Kill them! Tian Xing also shouted angrily. Then, more than ten people rushed toward Chu Bai. Chu Bai held the novice sword in his hand, and lightning wrapped around his body. Heavenly lightning break. Then, Chu Bai jumped toward the crowd. They all only had one basic skill. Facing Chu Bai's powerful ultimate move, who could block it? Would they not just be cannon fodder? Boom. With a loud bang, six people within the range were instantly killed. Old Dream Tianyu, who was the first to bear the brunt, did not even have time to do anything before his HP bar was emptied. A pile of items exploded on the ground. Although their physical bodies were in the game, the game had its own rules and regulations. The system restricted everything. Even if they were to be blown up and turned into flesh and blood, they would be revived safely. F asterisk CK. What's this? Such a powerful skill only took a few seconds to cool down? Tian Xing, who had survived, was dumbfounded. Then, he watched helplessly as Chu Bai stood up. Lightning was still wrapped around his body as he raised his head and stared at him. What was with that gaze and that mocking and even somewhat cruel smile? Whoosh. Then, he saw Chu Bai gather strength on the spot for a second and jump toward him. Tian Xing. His subconscious reaction was to run, but the range of the heavenly lightning break skill was too large. He could not escape at all. The AoE damage hit him, and he was sent flying. However, the damage in the edge area was only two times the damage. T. 
Tian Xing had high overall stats, his defense and HP were much higher than ordinary players. He did not die instantly, but only had 18 HP left. However, before Tian Xing could get up from the ground, he suddenly felt a foot stepping on his back. Don't, don't. Tian Xing lay there, not daring to look back. He begged for mercy and fear. Although he had a chance to revive, the game might last for a few years. He could only revive once. Without this chance, he would have to be very careful in the future. He could not bear to lose his only chance to revive. The corners of Chu Bai's mouth curled up. He stepped on his back and said indifferently, Enjoy the days of fleeing in the novice village. With that, Chu Bai exerted force with his feet. Minus 18. Ah. With a scream, Tian Xing turned into a ray of light and revived, leaving behind the equipment that had dropped on the ground. The player's HP was less than 1%, and the pain received was 100%, including the moment they were killed. Chu Bai picked up the equipment that had fallen to the ground. Strength Gym, Flame Bead, Blood Weeping Demon Sword. Looking at the equipment and items that originally belonged to him, Chu Bai's eyes narrowed slightly. Just wait. I'll settle all the scores. I'll take back everything that belonged to me in the first place, even if it's just some trash props. After that, Chu Bai glanced at the other players of the Feng Ling dynasty. They gulped and retreated in fear. You. You're dead. You've picked a fight with the Feng Ling dynasty. Let me tell you. You. You can forget about getting out alive. A person pointed at Chu Bai and spoke in fear. That's right. There are at least 5,000 Feng Ling dynasty players in this starter village alone. You. You can just wait for your death. Although their words were quite harsh. Their tone and stutter betrayed their fear. Chu Bai only glanced at them, then turned around and walked toward the starter village. The players breathed a sigh of relief. However, Chu Bai, who was already walking away, promptly threw a flame bead at them. Boom. Ah. With a loud bang, an area of dozens of meters exploded. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. They were all killed instantly. Some of the surviving players ran to the bronze boss's corpse and kept activating Gather, checking if there was anything on the boss that they could still collect. Unfortunately, there was nothing. Resurrection Point Old Dream Tian Yu and Tian Xing revived one after another. Crack. Crack. Seeing that all his nice equipment had been dropped, Old Dream Tian Yu clenched his fists into tight balls, his eyes flashing red. F asterisk CK my divine emperor weapon has been destroyed. F asterisk C. Tian Xing gritted his teeth. Bai Yi. I'll kill you. Old Meng Tian Yu roared. As a reputable figure and a veteran, how could he not be furious that he was killed by an unknown kid in front of so many people? Now, in the starter village, he did not want to do anything else. He had to kill this person. No matter what. Since it was not reality, he could do whatever he wanted. Gather all the members of the Feng Ling Dynasty in Starter Village 77777 and kill him. Meanwhile, Chu Bai went to the pharmacy. He did not have much HP left right now, and the monsters did not drop any HP potions, so he had no choice but to buy them. Although he did not lose a single HP point from killing the monsters, he had just waged war against multiple players. Some of their long range attacks still landed on him although each attack only dealt a dozen or so damage. No more than 20 damage, he still lost more than half of his HP after being struck a few times. He was also tired. Infinite Ultimate was very impressive, but it was still a normal physical body he was using. Theoretically, he could release the ultimates infinitely, but it would be tiring. His hunger bar had dropped to 60 points. He had to eat something and buy some HP potions while looking for some missions. Starter Village Pharmacy there was no one in the pharmacy because the players had just entered not long ago, and no one had the money to buy HP potions and mana recovery potions. They could only rely on getting them from drops. The gold coin exchange system had yet to be activated. Chu Bai already had two silver coins. In the early stages of the game, even copper coins were very difficult to get. Essentially, if you wanted to earn money, you would have to do missions. Of the two silver coins, Half of that value was dropped from killing the bristle boars, where the cumulative value was converted into a silver coin. The other silver coin was dropped by the bronze boss. Ten bronze coins equals one silver coin. Ten silver coins equals one gold coin. 
one gold coin was equivalent to 100 yuan. In the early stages of the game, before the real currency exchange system was activated, it was very difficult to obtain a gold coin. Honorable adventurer from another world, is there anything you need? The pharmacy owner greeted Chu Bai with a smile. Chu Bai glanced at the wares. Amo Balin capsule restores 50 HP immediately after use. Cooldown, 5 seconds. Price, 5 bronze coins. Small HP potion restores 100 HP immediately after use. Cooldown, 5 seconds. Price, 1 silver coin. Medium HP potion restores 200 HP immediately after use. Cooldown, 5 seconds. Price, 1.5 silver coins. Chubai took out two silver coins and said, A bottle of medium HP potion. The boss handed Chu by the recovery potion and said, I'll give five copper coins in change. However, after he looked in the drawer, he raised his head to look at Chu by apologetically. I'm very sorry. The shop has just opened for business. We don't have any copper coins. You can take an Amo Balin capsule. Its worth is exactly five copper coins. Chu Bai shook his head. I don't want it. I just want the five copper coins. He still needed the five copper coins to buy two buns from the village. This. I'm sorry. I really don't have any change here. Why don't you take a small HP potion? This is one worth a silver coin. Chu Bai still shook his head. I only want the five bronze coins. How about this? I'll give you another medium HP potion. The two of them would cost three silver coins. I'll only charge you two silver coins. How about that? The owner continued asking. Chu Bai still shook his head. I only need one recovery potion. The boss scratched his head. All right, all right, all right. I'll give back you the money. Just take this medium HP potion as a gift for me, okay? He returned the two silver coins to Chu Bai. Chu Bai took the money and held the medium HP potion in his hand. Then, he looked at the silver coins in his hand. He silently handed the two silver coins back to the owner. I'll buy another medium HP potion. Owner, do you F asterisk king think I'm a bug? Chu Bai left the pharmacy and went straight to the bun shop in the starter village. At the same time, he wanted to accept two missions. Of course, it would be best if there was an HP potion as a reward. After all, he probably would not be able to go to this pharmacy again in the future. On the way over, Chubai took a look at the rewards he got from killing the bronze boss. His luck was pretty good. The boss had actually dropped a bronze artifact. Wolf King Armor. Grade Bronze. Usage Requirement. Level 0. Any Class. Equipment dropped by the bronze boss, Grey Wolf King. Possesses a certain level of defense and cold resistance. Attributes. HP plus 180. Defense plus 15. All damage received reduced by 1%. A level 5 bronze armament was considered a good specimen for bronze equipment. After all, in the early stages of the game, even the level 3 Chu by only had 230 HP. This equipment directly added a full 180 HP. Chu by equipped the Wolf King armor, and his HP reached 410. Other than that, there was another item. It was a purple bracelet. Amethyst bracelet. Grade. None. An accessory that is not expensive and does not have any additional attributes. It was a birthday gift from the village chief to his wife and was accidentally lost in the wilderness. The Grey Wolf King accidentally picked it up and kept it by his side because he liked its fragrance. Oh? The village chief's wife's jewelry? Chu Bai raised his eyebrows. According to his experience, something like this might trigger a hidden mission. Carrying the amethyst necklace, Chu Bai first bought some buns before walking toward the village chief's courtyard. In the courtyard, many players were here to accept missions. Generally speaking, the first place to go in the starter village was the village chief's abode. The village chief's place would definitely have a hidden mission. All that mattered was who would be able to trigger it. The village chief's courtyard was especially crowded. Don't push, don't push. F asterisk CK. Who's squishing me? Stop squeezing. My bra is going to be pinched off. F asterisk CK. Who F asterisk King touched me? After some time, Chu Bai finally arrived before the village chief. Brave adventurer from another world. How can I help you? The village chief looked at Chu Bai as he asked the question. Chu Bai directly took out the amethyst bracelet. I picked this up. 
I was wondering if it belongs to the village chief. When the village chief saw the amethyst bracelet, his entire body trembled. My wife's amethyst bracelet. He reached out his trembling hand to take the bracelet. The surrounding players were shocked. F asterisk CK. Where did that guy get that bracelet? Did he trigger a hidden mission? Bai Yi? Oh my god, that's the great Bai Yi who killed the bronze boss. What first kill? He stole that monster from the Fengling dynasty. Village chief, I just picked up a bra on the ground. Is it your wife's? The village chief looked at Chu Bai gratefully. Brave adventurer from another world. Thank you very much for giving me my wife's bracelet. Please come with me to the inner room. After that, Chu Bai followed the village chief into the house. The other players watched helplessly as Chu Bai triggered the hidden mission. Not far away. Boss, that Bai Yi guy seems to have triggered a hidden mission at the village chief's place. A few of them ran to the side of the old dream Tianyu. F asterisk CK. Where is everyone? Have they gathered? The gathering is complete. There are a total of 320 people. Old Dream Tian Yu's eyes flickered with darkness. When he leaves the village, kill him. Yes. Tian Xing walked to Old Dream Tian Yu's side and said in a voice low enough that only he could hear, your flame beads were taken by him. He used one and there are still four left. Each has a range of 40 meters. We can kill more than 320 people with that. What's there to be afraid of? Just spread out. If dozens of people hit him, wouldn't his little bit of remaining health be gone? True. Old Dream Tian Yu said, but we have to be careful. We've already died once. It's fine as long as we stay far away. In the inner room of the village chief, the village chief carefully wrapped the bracelet and looked at Chu Bai. Brother Bai Yi, thank you very much. He held Chu Bai's hand and said gratefully. It was just the right thing to do, Chu Bai replied. Then, the village chief took out a scroll and handed it to Chu Bai. This is a secret manual I accidentally picked up when I was gathering herbs in the wild 15 years ago. It's too profound for my understanding. Please take it as my showing of gratitude. Chu Bai took it. Ding. You have obtained Ode of the Phoenix. Ode of the Phoenix. An extremely rare skill. Usage requirement. None. Description. A skill exclusive to the Phoenix lineage. It possesses a terrifyingly destructive power of fire. Ode of the Phoenix can even destroy the world. There are a total of nine skills. Chu Bai. F asterisk CK. In this game, the definition of skills was not as clear as equipment and monsters. To players, the higher the level requirement for a skill was, the more powerful the skill was. For example, the skills that were obtained from level 50 and level 80 were all very powerful. The skills can be roughly defined as basic skills, intermediate skills, and advanced skills. Advanced skills were classified at level 50 of rank 2 and level 80 of rank 3. They were powerful skills that every class could obtain. It was rare to see something even more powerful than advanced skills. Chu Bai was not sure how powerful this Ode of the Phoenix was, but this introduction about destroying the world, was it not exaggerating? Moreover, the lack of a level requirement was the most ridiculous part. Thank you, village chief. You're too kind. The village chief poured a cup of tea for Chu Bai. My wife left after arguing with me, but I didn't expect to never hear from her again. I suppose something bad must have happened to her, but I still have a trace of hope. I miss her so much. Brother Bai Yi. The place she disappeared is called the Dark Abyss. Can you help me go and see if I can find her there? If you bring me news of my wife, I will be eternally grateful to you. Ding. Congratulations on triggering the hidden mission, finding news of the village chief's wife. Mission reward. Unknown. Mission duration. Seven days. Do you accept? Chu Bai nodded. No problem. I'll go now. Ding. You have accepted. Thank you. Thank you very much. Chu Bai said, It's just that. The Dark Abyss is a location that I've never set foot on before. I don't have any HP potions on me, so it's really difficult for me to travel. That's easy. The village chief promptly took out ten bottles of potions from the cabinet and handed them to Chu Bai. It's useless for me to keep these. Please accept them. Chu Bai took them. Ding. You have obtained medium HP potion, asterisk 10. Chu Bai had done this many times in the world, 
but Destiny felt more realistic than the world. There are also these 100 gold coins. I live alone anyway. Please take them too. Thank you, village chief. I'll go now. Remember to be careful. It is said that no one can walk out of the depths of the dark abyss alive. That's also a taboo in the village. If you encounter danger, return quickly. Don't go too deep. Chubai nodded and left the village. After Chubai left, dozens of people secretly followed him from all directions. Chubai took out the ode of the Phoenix skill book and crushed it. Ding. You have successfully learned the skill Ode of the Phoenix. Ode of the Phoenix. An extremely rare skill. Requirements. None. Description. A skill exclusive to the Phoenix lineage. It possesses a terrifyingly destructive power of fire. The Ode of the Phoenix can even destroy the world. There are a total of nine skills. Each skill is stronger than the last. The ultimate skill is the Nine Heavens of the Phoenix. First skill, Sky Dance. Summons a Phoenix Phantom at a selected 30-meter radius. Raises a pillar of flames and deals damage of 10x current attack power to all enemies within the range, with an additional 10 seconds of burning effect. Burn. Loses HP every second. Then, the Phoenix Phantom attacks, dealing damage of 20x current attack power to all enemies within a 100-meter radius. At the same time, it adds 10 seconds of burning effect, with an additional 5% instant death effect. Mana cost, 500. Cooldown, 1 day. The second skill is activated at level 10. Chu Bai. After playing the games for so many years, he had never encountered a skill of this level in the early stages of the game. This was only the first of the nine moves of the Ode of the Phoenix. The subsequent moves were stronger than the previous one. Was this first move already so terrifying? 10 times the damage. 20 times the damage. Doing double the damage was already very rare. A swordsman's basic skill, Swordsman Slash, only dealt 120% damage. The most terrifying thing was the last attribute, Instant Death. This was the most broken skill in any game. Death was instantaneous. It disregarded levels, grades, and everything else. As long as it was triggered, the target would be instantly killed. What did this mean? For example, if a level 0 Chu by faced a level 100 Holy Seal boss with tens or hundreds of billions of HP, a normal Chu by could only deal one mandatory damage. However, if this instant death was triggered, he would empty the target's HP bar. After playing games for so many years, Chu by had only come into contact with a 1% instant death skill once in the world. Now, only F asterisk CK could describe Chu Bai's thoughts. Outside the village, Chu Bai had just walked to the bristled boar's farming spot when the players who seemed to be farming suddenly began to gather around him. Chu Bai naturally noticed this situation. Old Dream Tian Yu stood in the distance and looked at Chu Bai, his eyes vicious. Bai Yi, I told you that if you provoke me, you will die. Chu Bai laughed. You're so ruthless. Why don't you come closer? F asterisk CK, he cursed. Damn it, he did not dare. The flame bead was with that guy. He would die if he threw it at him. F asterisk CK you. Brothers, whoever kills Bai Yi today, log off and come to Jingdu to find me. The reward is 100,000 yuan. Old dream tea on you. With such a lefty reward, there would definitely be brave men showing up. Even though they were afraid of Chu Bai, there were more than a hundred people gathered around them. They mustered up enough courage. Kill. Kill him. How dare you provoke the Fengling dynasty. You're courting death. Everyone charged toward Chu Bai from all directions, while the ranged classes aimed at Chu Bai. Their skills, bows, and arrows mercilessly shot toward Chu Bai. There was nowhere to hide. When Old Dream Tian Yu saw this, he revealed a cold smile. Screw you. How dare you pick a fight with me? However, just as he thought Chu Bai had nowhere to hide, Chu Bai's body suddenly burst into flames, and the phantom of a phoenix appeared behind him. I'll use you guys to test out my moves. Sky Dance. Chu Bai leaped into the air. Everyone. What is this? They were dumbfounded. Bro, you've just entered the game for little more than an hour. How can you have a skill that looks like it can only be seen in bosses and top NPC powerhouses in the later stages of the game? Old Dream Tian Yu was stunned on the spot. Run. 
With his vast experience, his subconscious reaction was to run. Melee players could not touch Chubai, and long-range attacks could not reach him either. The height was too high. Chubai wanted to choose where Old Dream Tianyu was, but the man was too cautious. He was so far away after running away that he was out of range. Chubai could only choose a spot with a dense crowd. Boom. Suddenly, a pillar of flames within a 30-meter radius rose into the sky. Minus 1810, minus 1811, minus 1809. With Chu Bai's 92 attack power, 10 times damage was more than 900. However, because Chu Bai had a strength gem, his passive skill doubled the damage, directly breaking the damage number by four digits. Ah! With a series of screams, all the players in that area were instantly killed. As for whether someone would really die, after so many years in the game, this was no longer something to consider. All the players had already gotten used to the idea of death. Gulp. Those who survived could not help but gulp. Their backs were drenched in cold sweat. Run. Run. What is that thing? How can someone who just entered the game have such a skill? Ah. Uh, run. What the F asterisk CK? A four-digit damage output? F asterisk CKU. F asterisk King Game. Everyone fled in panic. Skydance still had a second attack. Chu Bai controlled the Phoenix Phantom. Whoosh! The huge Phoenix Phantom rushed over at an extremely fast speed. The 100 meter radius instantly turned into a sea of fire, and all the players turned into dust. Chu Bai landed on the ground. Many other players were stunned when they saw this scene. Some players who were farming monsters did not even notice that they had been attacked by the bristle boars. They turned around and looked at their novice weapons. They looked at the tens of damage points they had landed on the monster and suddenly felt that life had lost its meaning. As for those fire attribute mages, when they saw how their small fireballs were compared to the phoenix sea of fire, they silently put away their staffs and went offline. I'm not playing anymore. Trash game. F asterisk CK. What is this? Old Dream T on you, who had run far away, gulped as his entire body trembled. What kind of player could do this when they just entered the game? Some of the surviving players from the Fengling dynasty ran away, while others did not even dare to run and knelt down before Chu Bai. Big brother. Big brother. Spare me. I was forced into this. I didn't dare to disobey. That's right, Guru. How would we ever dare to go against you? Spare me. Spare me. Chu Bai looked at old Dream Tianyu, who had already run back to the village and the corners of his mouth revealed a mocking smile. There was really nothing he could do once he entered the village. After all, the village was invincible. But, Chubai looked at those people, and then took out the divine weapon Blood Weeping Demon Sword. F asterisk CK, Blood Weeping Demon Sword. Isn't this the sword that was on the world rankings? When the players in the distance saw this, they were all shocked. Isn't this God Bai's weapon? Why is it in by Ye's hands? It seems to be from Tian Xing God Bai is dead, and he left all his things to Feng Ling. There are too many of them. Feng Ling must have given them to some of the core members of the Feng Ling dynasty, right? After all, Tian Xing is one of them. Chu Bai then said, Whoever kills Tian Xing or Old Dream Tian Yu, I will give this blood weeping demon sword to that person. I am a man of my word. Everyone. F asterisk CK. Is this for real? This is a divine armament. I've played the game for eight years and I've never had a weapon of divine emperor grade. Is he really giving it away? Everyone looked at each other in shock. How is that possible? It must be a trick. That's a divine emperor weapon. How can he give it away so casually? Ha, it must be fake. Do you want to try? What if it's true? That's a divine armament. Who dares to try? That's the old dream Tian Yu and Tian Xing. But, don't forget that this is only the early stages of the game. Even if they are famous veterans, their stats are not much different from ours. Chu Bai did not say anything more and walked straight into the dark abyss. In the starter village, Old Dream Tian Yu was with Tian Xing. F asterisk CK. How can he have such a powerful move? It's probably a hidden mission from the village chief. This skill must be a big move after the third level up, right? They were extremely jealous. The cooldown must be very long. I believe it'll take a few days to cool down. There's still a chance. 
Gather more people. We have to kill him. Maybe we can get a skill book. At this moment, a system notification suddenly sounded. Ding. Player by Yi has released an announcement for Starter Village 77777. Announcement content. I am by Yi. My announcement is very simple. If you kill Tian Xing or the old dream Tian Yu, I will give you his divine armament, the Weeping Blood Demon Sword. Everyone, old dream Tian Yu, Tian Xing. As soon as this announcement was made, the entire starter village of 77,777 exploded. F asterisk CK. This Bai Yi is so ruthless. Oh my god. I thought he was bragging. Now that the system announcement has been released, it's obviously not a joke. A system announcement is equivalent to swearing an oath to the system. If someone makes an announcement but doesn't fulfill his promise in it, he will be severely punished. Blood Weeping Demon Sword. Blood Weeping Demon Sword. Where's the old dream Tian Yu? Where's Tian Xing? Quick, go find them. Old dream Tian Yu and Tian Xing were indeed very powerful, and their latent strength was also strong. But, after all, it was still the early stages of the game. Everyone's stats were about the same. Now, they were being treated like wanted criminals. Who could resist the temptation of the divine emperor weapon that could change their lives? That was a divine emperor weapon. With this weapon, one could become a billionaire just by selling it. With the lure of a hefty reward, there would definitely be brave men showing up. Even if they were afraid, this was their closest chance to becoming a billionaire. Putting aside the normal players, even the members of the Fengling dynasty might not be able to control themselves. Old Dream Tian Yu and Tian Xing instantly broke out in cold as sweat. They looked warily at the people around them. They felt that everyone was looking at them strangely. When some people saw them looking over, their eyes immediately avoided them. This kind of reaction made them feel even more afraid. Why are you avoiding my look? Tian Xing grabbed the arm of a member of the Feng Ling dynasty and snarled at him. Huh? I? I didn't. The member hurriedly shook his head. Are you trying to kill me? Tian Xing slapped him. The player who was slapped took a few steps back. His eyes were suddenly filled with ruthlessness as he shouted, Old Dream Tian Yu and Tian Xing are with me. Come quickly. Hearing the commotion, many people nearby quickly ran over. Run. Old Dream Tian Yu and Tian Xing quickly ran toward a deserted place in the village. The two of them ran into an empty haystack and squatted down. Damn it. That Bai Yi. I'll kill him. Old Dream Tian Yu gritted his teeth. Who'd have thought he would offer a divine emperor weapon? That lunatic. Lunatic. Tian Xing hammered the ground. What should we do? We can't even leave the village. Once we are targeted by the players, we will surely die. But we still have to level up. Old Dream Tian Yu said, We can only go to places where there are no players. Let's wait for a little and hide our IDs first. We'll wear a mask. That's the only way. Even if we're safe in the village, we could be caught by a group of people and forcefully dragged out of the village, then we'll be in danger, Tian Xing said bitterly. I'll kill that guy. Old Dream Tian Yu gritted his teeth, his face filled with anger. At this moment, his face was suddenly splashed with water. Old Dream Tian Yu subconsciously wiped it, then put his hand in front of his nose and sniffed. Who is peeing? Old Dream Tian Yu stood up angrily from the bushes. The player immediately pulled up his pants and looked at him. Old Dream Tian Yu is here. I just pissed on him. Someone come quickly. The two of them were shocked and quickly ran away. After him, for a moment, many players stopped whatever they were doing and chased after the two of them. The two had no choice but to log off. Meanwhile, Chu Bai had already arrived at the Dark Abyss. The system announcement back at the village cost 100 gold coins. Chu Bai was not stingy and spent the money. Even though they were enemies, there was nothing Chu Bai could do to them even if he hid in the starter village. In addition, Chu Bai did not have that much time. It was more important for him to level up. What could be more despairing than this? The Dark Abyss was a forest. According to the records of the starter village, the Dark Abyss was named as such because it was rumored that there was a real abyss here. Anyone who walked a little deeper into the forest would be hopelessly lost and never be able to come out. After so many years in the starter village, 
No one had ever walked out of this place alive before Chu Bai and the other players arrived. Ding, you have entered the dark abyss. Chu Bai walked forward vigilantly, constantly paying attention to the wind and grass around him. Suddenly, the rustling of leaves made Chu Bai stop in his tracks and look over. On a tree ahead, a black cat-like monster was staring at Chu Bai with its ghostly green eyes. Roar! A roar came from its throat, and its figure suddenly disappeared from Chu Bai's sight. In the next moment, it arrived in front of Chu Bai and slashed at him. Chu Bai reacted swiftly. He nimbly dodged to the side and released the scanning skill at the same time. Demonized Civet Cat. Level. 8. Grade. None. Health points. 600. A creature that only lives in the Dark Abyss. Due to the influence of the demonic aura in the Dark Abyss, it has become extremely irritable. Its attack spirit energy and speed are extremely agile. Skill. Flash Strike. Can teleport within 10 meters. The first attack after the flash strike deals an additional 100% damage and has a 10% chance of bleeding for 3 seconds. Cooldown. 15 seconds. Bleeding. HP will drop every second. This is a good place to level up. Chu Bai held the novice sword in his hand and stared at the demonized civet cat. Roar. The demonized civet cat arched its body and glared at Chu Bai like a tiger watching its prey. Then, it pounced on him again. As for Chu Bai, he was waiting for it to pounce, so he charged up heavenly lightning break on the spot. Boom. Then, Chu Bai directly smashed down with his sword. A 10-meter radius was not something that the demonized civet cat could escape in time. Minus 531. A huge dealing of damage almost emptied the demonized civet cat's HP bar. With 92 attack power, the heavenly lightning break dealt 3x damage in the central area. Then, the strength gem doubled it again, with the damage only deducted by the monster's defense points. Meanwhile, when other players face such monsters, each attack only dealt 20 to 30 damage. It could only be said that Chu Bai's current damage was ridiculously high. The demonized civet cat immediately ran away. Trying to run? Chu Bai picked up his sword and quickly chased after it. Flash strike. The moment the demonized civet cat used flash strike, Chu Bai's infinite ultimate also obtained this skill. In an instant, he disappeared to a spot 10 meters away, caught up to the demonized raccoon, and stabbed it with his sword. Minus 179. Ding. Your level has increased to level 4. Health points plus 10. Mana points plus 10. Obtained 5 points to freely distribute among attributes. After adding his attribute points to his strength, Chu Bai's attack power successfully exceeded 100 and reached 102. This was more ferocious than any of Chu Bai's previous games. Chu Bai walked forward to the place where the demonized civet cat had died. He picked up two copper coins and a small HP potion. After picking it up, he looked up. There were many demonized civet cats around. This should be a farming spot for level 5 to 8 monsters. It won't be long before many players come over. Quests were important, but leveling up was equally important. Monsters below level 5 were no longer attractive to Chu Bai. This dark abyss was just nice for him to farm high-level monsters. Flash strike. A moment later, Chu Bai charged toward the group of demonized civet cat. Heavenly lightning break. Boom. After grinding for an hour, Chu Bai's EXP had only reached 70% of level 4. Destiny's leveling progress in the early stages was much slower than in any previous game. There were also quite a number of demonized civet cats around, and they were generally between level 5 and 8. Let's go deeper. Chu Bai looked at a demonized civet cat in front of him, then continuously used flash strike. This flash strike was really useful. The unlimited release made it even more ridiculous. Coupled with the unlimited release of Heavenly Lightning Break, it was perfect for farming monsters. Minus 83. The last demonized civet cat's health bar had only decreased by about 1%. Chu Bai. The damage of the first attack after the flash strike should be 2x damage. At the same time, the damage was doubled again because of the strength gem. Logically speaking, this attack should be close to 400. Why was it only 83? A 10, 0, 0, 0 HP boss? After many years of gaming experience, 
Chubai had never encountered such a situation. A 10,000 health boss right off the bat? Chubai cast the scanning skill. Heavenly Demon Cat Emperor. Level. Zero. Grade. Divine Emperor Beast. Health points. 10,000. No one knows when it came to Starter Village 77,777 and no one knows where it came from. It's mysterious and its entire body is filled with extremely strong demonic chi. However, due to some special reason, the Heavenly Demon Cat Emperor's power has almost completely dissipated and it has become extremely weak. Skill. Continuous Flash Strike. Can teleport 10 meters each time. Can be released twice in a row. The first attack after the flash strike deals an additional 200% damage to the enemy. Cooldown. 30 seconds. Cat Emperor Trifecta. Locks onto a target and instantly appears behind it. At an extremely fast speed, it attacks three times consecutively. The first time, the damage is normal. The subsequent two times, the damage increases continuously. Every attack has a 10% chance of hitting the main artery forcefully taking 10% of the target's maximum HP. Cooldown. 3 minutes. Chu Bai. A divine emperor beast? What? Was this a boss that could appear in a starter village? Chu Bai doubted his own eyes. Even so, how could a divine emperor beast only have such low attributes? After seeing the introduction of the heavenly demon cat emperor, Chu Bai understood. The beast's strength had almost completely dissipated. In other words, this heavenly demon cat emperor was a divine emperor, but its HP was comparable to a silver boss. Chu Bai's eyes flickered with excitement. Taking a closer look at this monster, it did seem to be a little different from an ordinary demonized civet cat. Meow. After being attacked by Chu Bai, the heavenly demon cat emperor flew into a rage and instantly vanished. The first skill, continuous flash strike. However, after it was used, Chu Bai's also used his infinite ultimate. If you had met any other player, they wouldn't have been able to do anything to you. Unfortunately, you met me. Chu Bai laughed. Whoosh. He also used flash strike and disappeared. As for the heavenly demon cat emperor, it appeared right where Chu Bai was a moment, but Chu Bai had already landed somewhere else. After a second teleportation, the heavenly demon cat emperor vanished again. Chu Bai continuously unleashed the skill that had no cooldown. Within a few seconds, his figure continuously appeared in more than 10 different places. Meow. The heavenly demon cat emperor stood rooted to the ground, dumbfounded. Why was there a human who could dodge faster than him? On top of that, the heavenly demon cat emperor's skill had a cooldown while Chu Bai somehow did not. He used flash strike to attack the cat emperor from behind extending the duration of the battle state. Heavenly lightning break. In an instant, Chu Bai appeared 10 meters away again and accumulated heavenly lightning break. Boom. Then, the attack was sent crashing toward the heavenly demon cat emperor. The damage was not significant, but that was not important. Chu Bai was waiting. He was waiting for this heavenly demon cat emperor to use its real ultimate move. He was baiting it. After Chu Bai finished attacking, he stood on the spot and did not move. He gave the heavenly demon cat emperor a look as if he could not teleport anymore. As expected, when the heavenly demon cat emperor saw this, its blood-red eyes bulged and a demonic light erupted from its body. Whoosh! Cat emperor trifecta was released and the beast disappeared on the spot. At the same time, a system notification sounded in Chu Bai's mind. Ding! You have obtained the ultimate skill cat, Emperor Trifecta. The corners of Chu Bai's mouth curled up slightly. The moment the cat emperor disappeared from sight, Chu Bai once again used flash to teleport away. The heavenly demon cat emperor appeared behind Chu Bai's original position and its attack struck thin air. Meow. It let out a roar from its throat, looking extremely angry. My turn. Cat Emperor Trifecta. Chu Bai could dodge the Heavenly Demon Cat Emperor, but its skills had a cooldown, so it could not dodge Chu Bai. Chu Bai instantly appeared behind it. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Three consecutive swipes. Minus 21, minus 41, minus 2000. The third attack directly triggered 10% of the maximum HP. Chu Bai had infinite uses. Now, 
He only needed to touch the luck that dealt 10% of the target's maximum health. Cat Emperor Trifecta. Whoosh. 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 Minus 20. Minus 41. Minus 63. Cat Emperor Trifecta. Minus 2000. Minus 42. Minus 64. In a short 30 seconds, Chu Bai released three consecutive ultimates. After the last 10% damage was triggered, the Heavenly Demon Cat Emperor's HP bar was fully emptied. Ding! You have leveled up to level 5. Health points plus 10. Mana points plus 10. Obtained 5 points to freely distribute among attributes. Ding! Your level has increased to level 6. Ding! Ding! You have leveled up to level 8. Health points plus 10. Mana points plus 10. Obtained 5 points to freely distribute among attributes. Golden light flickered continuously on Chu Bai's body, and his condition returned to its peak state. He directly reached level 8. The Divine Emperor's Beast gave me 4 levels. Chu Bai sighed. What could he do about it? This boss was currently level 0, and its strength was almost depleted. It was already very good to be able to level up by 4 levels. In fact, Chu Bai was very satisfied. A pile of items fell to the ground. Ding! Congratulations on obtaining the first kill of the Divine Emperor Beast. Reputation plus 100,000. Gold coins plus 1,000. Ding! Congratulations on obtaining the first kill of the Divine Emperor Beast. The system will release a worldwide announcement. Do you want to hide your ID? Chubai replied, I won't hide it. Post it another 20 times. Please emphasize my ID. Thank you. System. At this moment, in Starter Village hashtag 99999, Fong Ling had just killed a silver boss. It's only been less than three hours. The first kill of a silver boss. I'm surely the first in destiny to do it. On the player leaderboard with Bai Fong gone, I'm definitely going to enter the top five. No, I want to enter the top three. I want to be on top. And I want to take down the emperor. Fong Ling sneered. Bai Feng stuff is really useful though. Even a level 3 player like me can solo a silver boss. Damn it. No wonder you were in the limelight so much. I already have some of those things. Doesn't the limelight belong to me now? Feng Ling sneered and muttered to himself. Ding. The system will release a worldwide announcement. Do you want to hide your ID? Don't hide your ID. Release it 10 times. Feng Ling replied to the system. Ding. I can only release it 5 times at most. Feng Ling frowned. Then why was Bai Yi announced to have killed the bronze boss 10 times? Ding. Because that was the first first clear announcement in the world. I made an exception. Rincewind nodded helplessly. Okay, just post it. Then, the system notification sounded. Ding. Players all over the world, please take note. Sino War Zone 99999 Starter Village player, Feng Ling, has achieved the first kill of a silver boss. This is the announcement. Ding. Whoosh. The system announcement came, and the entire World War Zone was in an uproar. Great God Feng Ling is awesome, as expected of him. How long has it been since he got the first kill on a silver boss? Vicious. As expected of a god. Now that god Bai is gone, I'm a fan of Feng Ling, and he didn't let me down. First kill of a silver boss. Awesome. How long has it even been? It's only been a few hours, and we've already gotten the first clear of a silver boss? Can we still have fun? Is the difference between players that big? Great God Feng Ling is awesome. There were no players in Feng Ling's line of sight, but he could almost hear the exclamations of the players in the distance. He liked this feeling. Awesome. Now the limelight is all mine. Buy you right? He he he, how can a first kill of the bronze boss compare to me? However, in the next second, Ding. Players all over the world, please take note. Sino War Zone 77777 Starter Village Player, by Yi, emphasis, has achieved the first kill of Divine Emperor Beast. This is the announcement. Ding. Players all over the world, please take note. Ding. Ding. Players all over the world, please take note. Sino War Zone 77777 Starter Village Player, by Yi. Emphasis has achieved the first kill of Divine Emperor Beast. This is the announcement. Everyone, Feng Ling, they were dumbfounded. 
Right now, everyone was stunned. All the starter villages in the world zone seemed to fall silent for a moment. After that, the entire world was in an uproar. The first kill of the Divine Emperor Beast? Did I hear wrongly? God, this is a Divine Emperor Beast we're talking about. Even the trashiest Divine Emperor Beast should have more than 100 million HP according to previous experiences, right? How can someone kill a Divine Emperor Beast right after entering the game? How can a boss of this level even exist in a starter village? What? What is this? Who is this by ye? First kill of a Divine Emperor Beast. Aren't Divine Emperor Beasts only meant to show up during the middle stages of the game and need a whole group of people to kill? I must be losing it. Isn't that Bai Yi from our starter village? It's the same Bai Yi who issued the system announcement to hunt down old dream Tian Yu and Tian Xing Awesome. I'm so lucky to meet him. Hey there, beauty. Let's get to know each other. I'm acquainted with the great Bai Yi. What? What's my relationship with him? He killed me in seconds. Sakura Nation. What? Who is this Bai Yi from the Sino War Zone? How is this possible? How is it possible for someone to kill a Divine Emperor Beast at this stage? Is he cheating? He's not cheating. There are no cheats here. Is he just lucky? Investigate. We must find him. Mirika. Wait. Are you kidding me? Who is this by ye? I've never heard of him. Look into him. We must find out everything about this person. Fong Ling stood rooted to the ground. His expression just now was still filled with joy and arrogance, but in the next second, it froze. Bai Yi. He gritted his teeth and looked furious. He had just received the system announcement for his silver boss's first clear, and now there was a divine emperor beast's first clear. Then what was the point of him beating the silver boss first? Now, everyone was only shocked by the first kill of the divine emperor beast. He looked like a clown. Wait. Fong Ling said angrily, System, didn't you say that you can only send it five times? Why did Bai Yi send it ten times, no, twenty times? Why can't I do it? Why did you emphasize his ID? Ding. Because his first kill was the Divine Emperor Beast, I made an exception and sent it a few more times. Fong Ling, he clenched his fists. Then, Fong Ling stormed out. Is there anyone from Fong Ling Dynasty? Come with me to find the gold boss. As long as we find the gold boss today, anyone who comes with me will be rewarded 10,000 yuan. Feng Ling shouted an announcement. He had to kill another gold boss to regain his dignity. On the other side, Chu Bai laughed mockingly. I guess the first kill of a silver boss should have been a joyous one, right? Then, Chu Bai picked up all the items dropped by the heavenly demon cat emperor. Aside from the HP and mana recovery potions and coins, there were a total of two pieces of equipment and a scroll. One of them shone with a dazzling yellow light that was exclusive to Divine Emperor equipment. The drop rate of equipment was very low. The Divine Emperor Beast would not have a 100% chance of dropping a Divine Emperor equipment. The drop rate was about 10%. Therefore, Chu Bai's luck was considered very good. A ring? Good stuff. Chu Bai picked up the Divine Emperor grade ring. In any game, Ordinary equipment included armor, combat boots, combat pants, knee pads, weapons, wrist guards, and helmets. These six were common equipment. There were a few rarer types of equipment such as necklaces, rings, masks, and cloaks. This kind of equipment usually had some rare attributes. However, the drop rate was even lower. Space ring. Grade. Divine emperor equipment. Usage requirement. None. An extremely rare ring made from rare spatial crystals. There is a large dimension in the ring that can store items. The heavenly demon cat emperor unintentionally picked it up in the starter village and carried it with him. Attributes, comprehension plus five, charm plus five, luck plus five. Chu Bai. It's a spatial ring. Chu Bai revealed a pleasantly surprised expression. To him, this might be the best possible situation. It would be awkward for him if a divine emperor level weapon or armor dropped now. Either Chu Bai would not be able to equip it at his current level, or even if he could, it might only be a low level divine emperor equipment. Its stats would not be high, and it would be redundant after a while. Moreover, it would not be worth much by then. There was also probably no appraiser in the starter village who could appraise divine emperor equipment. 
An interspatial ring was really good. Moreover, there was no need to appraise this particular equipment. Players had storage backpacks, which only had 50 slots. If they wanted to expand it, they would have to spend money. Not only was it expensive, but they could only expand to 200 slots at most. It was not enough for the endgame. In fact, Chubai already occupied 10 slots. This spatial ring had 20 cubic meters of space. It was truly indispensable to Chu Bai. Although there was no increase in attributes such as attack, defense, and health, this spatial ring increased the three most difficult fixed attributes in any game, luck, charm, and comprehension. Any increase in these three attributes was a windfall. Good stuff. Chu Bai put the spatial ring on his finger and looked at the second piece of equipment. It was an armor that was emitting golden light. It was a gold-grade equipment. I wonder if I need to appraise it. Gold-grade equipment required an appraiser to appraise it. However, that was for level 10 and above gold-grade equipment. If it was below level 10, there was no need to appraise it. Heavenly Demon Armor Grade Gold Usage Requirement Level 8 Close Combat Profession A piece of armor stained with demonic energy. It boasts powerful defense and contains some kind of unique power. Attributes HP plus 500, Defense plus 90. All damage received reduced by 10%. Magic damage received reduced by 20%. Darkness magic damage received reduced by 50%. Skill. Heavenly Demon Protection. Releases the demonic energy in the Heavenly Demon Armor to protect the body. The demonic energy cover lasts for 10 seconds. It can block a total of 500 points of damage. During activation, defense will increase by 20%. When the duration ends or the shield is broken, it will enter cooldown mode. Cooldown. Three minutes. Another good one. Chu Bai's eyes lit up. In the early stages of the game, a gold-grade equipment's attributes were terrifying. This was only a level 8 gold-grade equipment too. It increases HP by 500, which was nearly double Chu Bai's 280 basic HP. What was even crazier was the 90 points of defense. Currently, the average player's attack power was probably only around 50. With just this armor on, they could no longer break through Chu Bai's defense. They could only deal the one mandatory point of damage to him. Most importantly, this equipment also came with a powerful defensive skill. Chu Bai immediately replaced the bronze grade Wolf King armor and looked at his attributes. Character Bai Yi. Level 8. Title None. Hunger 80. Reputation, 101,000. Gold coins, 1,000 gold, 3 silver, 9 copper. 3 fixed attributes, luck, 15, charm, 15, comprehension, 15. 4 basic attributes, constitution, 20, spirit, 50, strength, 95, agility, 20. HP, 780. Mana, 580. Attack power. 142. Magic Attack, 100. Defense, 134. Movement Speed, 42. Critical Strike Rate, 0. At the very least, this HP and defense won't have me instantly killed, right? Chu Bai exhaled and looked at the last scroll. Silent Scroll? Grade. Holy Seal. A scroll that contains extremely powerful energy. After using it, the effect ignores levels and grades. It can freeze a unit for 15 seconds. After using it, it will disappear. D asterisk M in. Forcefully freezing for 15 seconds. Perhaps it did not seem to be worthy of the so-called Holy Seal grade, but it ignored levels and grades. In other words, level 100 Holy Seal beasts could be controlled for 15 seconds. What is with this heavenly demon cat emperor? Can it even drop these things? Chu Bai put the things into his backpack and found a shoe stained with blood where the heavenly demon cat emperor had disappeared. Chu Bai walked over. Blood-stained shoes? A few days ago, the heavenly demon cat emperor killed a woman who walked in from the starter village. Because it liked the smell of her shoes, it kept them. Chu Bai. She's not the village chief's wife, is she? Chu Bai suppressed his disgust and put the shoes into his backpack. Then... He walked to the Heavenly Demon Cat Emperor's corpse and cast Gather. The monster's corpse would remain in play for 10 minutes. Some monsters would have items that could be collected. 
gathering skill, basic class skills for players, can be used to gather plants, items from dead monsters, crystals, and so on. Currently has a 100% chance of successfully collecting bronze items, 50% chance of successfully collecting silver items, 10% chance of successfully collecting gold items, 1% chance of successfully collecting demon items, 0.1% chance of successfully collecting celestial items, 0% chance of collecting divine emperor items. No cooldown, no consumption. Current level. 1. Ding. Gathering failed. Gathering proficiency increased. Chu Bai raised his eyebrows. As expected. Ding. Gathering failed. Gathering proficiency increased. Ding. Gathering failed. Gathering proficiency increased. Ding. Gathering failed. Ding. You have successfully collected Heavenly Demon Cat Emperor's Egg. Chu Bai. Heavenly Demon Cat Emperor's Egg. Grade. Unknown. It is a very precious item of the Heavenly Demon Cat Emperor. It seems to be an ingredient, or perhaps has other effects. Chu Bai. He subconsciously wanted to throw this thing away. But, thinking that he had collected it from a divine emperor beast, he still put it in his interspatial ring. Ding. Target has no item to collect. Chu Bai stood up and prepared to continue walking. When he raised his head, he suddenly frowned. Wasn't this a forest just now? Had he not been farming demonized civet cats and fighting this heavenly demon cat emperor in a forest? He remembered that there were trees around him just now. He was in a forest. When he picked up the shoes just now, there were trees around him. Why did the surroundings suddenly become a dark mountain range? Chubai looked behind him. It was not a forest, but a mountain range. This complex mountain range was nothing like the flat forest terrain he had just fought in. Is this the true nature of the Dark Abyss? Chu Bai frowned. Ding. Player Bai Yi, please note that you have entered an extremely dangerous area. Please leave immediately. Please leave immediately. Ding. Player Bai Yi, please take note. Ding. Suddenly, the system notification sounded in Chu Bai's mind. Chu Bai had never encountered such a situation before. The urgency of system notification made Chu Bai even more nervous. The environment had completely changed. There was no way out. No wonder no one had ever walked out of the dark abyss. Perhaps the forest was just an illusion of this place. It doesn't seem to be an illusion, though. Chu Bai touched the stone beside him. Then I can only go forward. Chu Bai knew that in this situation, he probably would not be able to escape even if he went back. He might as well explore this so-called dark abyss. Chu Bai held the novice sword and walked forward. The terrain of this place was complex. There were no trees, only uneven mountains and rocks. The higher mountains in the distance were covered by black fog and were a little blurry. There was a huge mountain in front of him. It was especially tall and blocked the way forward, but there was a cave. Chu Bai took a deep breath and walked inside. There was nothing special inside the cave. After some walking, he saw the exit. When he walked out of the cave, the scene in front of him stunned Chu Bai. Ahead, through the fog, Chu Bai seemed to be looking at a large hall. The hall seemed to be quite far away. It was wrapped in fog and gave off a sinister feeling. Chu Bai could be considered a veteran player. This scene was something that could usually only be encountered in the later stages of the game. Is this still Starter Village? Chu Bai was secretly shocked. The Divine Emperor Beast, the Mysterious Darkness, the Huge Hall. Ding! You have successfully explored the secret map of Starter Village 77777 Sealing Temple Reputation plus 100,000 Ding Player by Yi please take note this area is extremely dangerous please leave quickly Ding Player by Yi please take note this map is extremely dangerous please leave quickly the system notifications kept coming in this atmosphere with such an urgent system notification, Chu Bai also panicked. Go back? He turned to look at the cave behind him, and then his pupils constricted. The cave was gone. The mountain behind him had disappeared, and behind him was a boundless dark mountain range. He walked back tentatively. The mountain was either hidden or gone. He could not touch it anymore. He wanted to leave this place. However, how could he leave? Chu Bai looked at the huge hall in front of him. Phew. 
Chu Bai took a deep breath, then braced himself and walked forward. In any case, he had a chance to revive. Since he could not leave, he would go and take a look. Soon, Chu Bai arrived at the front of the hall. It was a simple and solemn design. At this moment, a loud bang sounded. The door of the hall was sent flying open, and a figure lumbered out of it. Chu Bai dodged to one side and looked at the figure. It was a giant. Chu Bai. There seemed to be no need to be shocked. Chu Bai was level 8, and the detection limit of the scanning spell was level 18. It seemed quite understandable that he could not detect the giant's attributes on such a map. However, it was already dead. Its body was even turning into nothingness. The giant suddenly dropped a bunch of items, but since Chu Bai was not the one who killed it, he could not pick them up. He just took a casual look. Divine Wind Heavenly Demon Halberd. Grade. Super Divine Artifact. Usage Requirement. Unidentified. Cannot be used. Chu Bai. Super Divine Artifact? Then this Divine Wind Guardian is a Super Divine Monster? Chu Bai was secretly shocked. This thing just died. And to be able to kill a Super Divine Beast? Holy Annihilation? Holy Seal? What else was in this hall? Chu Bai gulped. Then, he mustered his courage and walked into the hall with the novice sword. The moment Chu Bai entered the hall, everything was pitch black. When he looked back again, the door behind him had already disappeared. It had also turned into endless darkness. There was a purple light ahead. Chu Bai walked forward. Just as he was about to approach the light, roar similar to a dragon sounded in the huge space. Chu Bai, a dragon? As the monster of the highest level in any game, how could there be a dragon in this starter village? Buzz. A dragon's roar sounded again. Then, in front of Chu Bai, a red light suddenly appeared from below. A red dragon nearly a thousand meters tall soared into the sky and spat flames at the ground below. Ding. You have obtained the ultimate skill flaming dragon breath. Was this still a starter village? Whoosh. Right then, a purple light flashed. Chu Bai saw a girl in a white dress forcefully resist the royal evil dragon's fiery breath. Chi. Her body directly pierced through the royal evil dragon, and dragon let out a shocking roar. Ding. You have obtained the ultimate skill purple holy flash. Then, Chu Bai saw a series of damage numbers popping up above royal evil dragon's head. Dash 1998010300. Nearly 2 billion damage in one move? What was this? Holy Seal? After the 2 billion damage, the Royal Evil Dragon's health bar had only dropped by 1%. Chu Bai. He was completely dumbfounded. Roar. The dragon roared again as the girl smashed down and stopped beside Chu Bai. Cough. Then, she spat out a mouthful of blood. Are you alright? Chu Bai asked subconsciously. The girl glanced at Chu Bai. Purple eyes. A human. You die too. The dragon roared and spat out a powerful dragon breath. Chu Bai had no way of dodging. Whoosh. The girl rushed in front of Chu Bai. Purple light shone from her body, blocking the dragon breath. She then turned to look at Chu Bai. Can you help me block this for a minute? Ding. Congratulations on triggering the only hidden quest in the starter village. Defend against the royal evil dragon. Mission reward. Unknown. Mission duration, one minute. Do you accept? Chu Bai. This so-called hidden mission meant that it could only be triggered once. Only once. Before he could speak, the girl threw a scroll to Chu Bai. Ding. You have obtained. Invincible scroll. Invincible scroll. Grade. Holy annihilation. A mysterious scroll that contains immense power. Effect. After using it, you can enter an absolutely invincible state for a minute. Please. Chu Bai said, I'll give it a try. Ding. You have successfully accepted the mission defend against the royal evil dragon. Thank you. Then, Chu Bai accumulated power on the spot. The girl was shocked to see this. Whoosh. Following that, Chu Bai's figure flashed in front of the royal evil dragon with a purple light. Roar. Human. Get lost. The royal evil dragon roared and turned its fiery dragon breath toward Chu Bai. However, Chu Bai was invincible right now. He resisted the dragon's breath and continuously released purple holy flash. Even with his current attributes, 
This attack dealt hundreds of thousands of damage. Whoosh, 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 roar. The dragon cried out in pain. Meanwhile, the girl leaped into the air. Ten beautiful shadows of huge foxtails appeared behind her. With her eyes closed, it was like an anime or sci-fi movie when a character was charging energy. The purple and white power around her kept pouring into her body. She was preparing her ultimate move. At first, Chubai was puzzled. Why had she not used such a powerful scroll for herself? It turned out that she needed to charge up her ultimate skill without being interrupted. Even if she was invincible, she could still be interrupted. Get lost. The royal evil dragon roared at Chubai. Meanwhile, Chubai was continuously releasing powerful moves to attack him. 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Roar. Don't even try to change your fate. The royal evil dragon roared. One minute of absolute invincibility meant that Chubai would not be in any danger. But the royal evil dragon ignored him and rushed toward the girl. Chubai could not stop it at all. F asterisk CK. For the only hidden quest in the starter village, I'll go all out. Chubai took out the scroll that had dropped from the heavenly demon cat emperor and crushed it. Ding. You have successfully used silent scroll. The royal evil dragon's huge body froze in the air. Fifteen seconds later, Chubai had been holding on for fifty-five seconds. The dragon recovered and charged at the girl in the sky. I can't stop it anymore, Chubai cried. When the royal evil dragon rushed in front of the girl, she opened her purple eyes. In the next moment, a purple light covered the entire space. When Chubai opened his eyes, the girl was already standing behind the royal evil dragon. Chubai stood below and was stunned. What happened? Minus two billion. A huge number appeared above the royal evil dragon's head, and its HP bar was emptied. Chubai watched as the huge royal evil dragon fell from the sky. As it fell, its body was cut in half. Gulp. Chubai gulped. She insta-killed it? Ding. Congratulations on completing the mission, defend against the royal evil dragon. Chu Bai then looked at the girl in the sky. Her body swayed and fell. With a loud bang, her body smashed a hole through the ground, and Chu Bai ran over. Huh. Chu Bai suddenly realized that he could see her data clearly. Mysterious girl. Level. Zero. Grade. None. Health points. One thousand. A mysterious girl who came out of nowhere. There seems to be an extremely terrifying power in her body, but in the end, She's just a cute and innocent little girl. Please cherish her. Current status. Near death. Skill. None. Cute little girl? Are you messing with me? Chubai did not believe this introduction. He had just seen how terrifying she was just now. However, near death state? Was she going to die? The girl lay on the ground. There was no dust on her body, as if her dress could isolate all filth. Only then did Chubai size her up. She could not even be called a young woman. She was really just a little girl. She looked like she was only 8 to 10 years old. She was a bona fide lowly. Her skin was extremely fair. And her small face was a demonic face that Chubai had never seen since he could remember. She was such a young girl. But her small face was already indescribably beautiful. She could only be described as inhuman. She was like a fairy that had fallen into the mortal world. Her purple princess dress was especially beautiful. It was obvious that it was not an ordinary item. She wore no shoes, revealing a pair of small and cute feet. Sigh, I wonder what reward I can get. I've already used my silent scroll. I just hope that the value I obtain won't be lower than this. Chu by sighed. This NPC did not look straightforward. He should be able to get a good reward. Ugh. After a while, the girl's long eyelashes trembled slightly and then she slowly opened her eyes. You're awake? Chubai looked at her and asked. Oddly enough, her eyes were no longer purple, but a normal black. The girl's eyes revealed confusion. She sat up and blinked her beautiful big eyes as she stared at Chubai. However, her face was very pale, and so were her lips. I've done what I promised you. Do you have anything for me? Chubai asked. The girl's eyes were still confused. Hey, don't play dumb. I used up a holy seal item. Chubai panicked when he saw this scene and quickly explained. Then, 
She looked at Chu Bai and opened her arms. Huh. Chu Bai was stunned. Could it be that she was just planning to give him a hug as compensation? I'm telling you, don't think that you're cute and a hug is enough to compensate for a holy seal item. Although I'm afraid of you, I still have a chance to revive. We have to be reasonable. Chu Bai continued explaining. Master. She opened her arms and called out to Chu Bai in a childish voice. Her voice was soft and carried a sense of weakness and exhaustion. It was completely different from the coldness and sharpness from before. He was talking animatedly here, and then his entire body froze in place. Chu Bai stiffly lowered his head to look at her. Seeing Chu Bai looking at her, the girl sat on the ground and revealed a pale smile. Her beautiful eyes were filled with tears. Master! Hey, what's wrong? Chu Bai was dumbfounded. She then stood up and reached out to hug Chu Bai, her little head gently rubbing against Chu Bai's chest. It was too heartwarming. Master! Chu Bai gulped. Could she have lost her memory along with the dissipation of her power? At that moment, Chu Bai suddenly realized that blood was continuously dripping from the top of her head. Minus 100, minus 100. She only had a total of 1000 HP. If she lost 100 HP a second, would she die in 10 seconds? Master, I'm so tired. The girl hugged Chu Bai, and her voice became softer in Chu Bai's arms. Her body gradually became illusory. Hey, are you going to die? You're so powerful, don't die. Chu Bai held her shoulders. The girl raised her head and opened her eyes with difficulty. Her eyes gradually lost their spark. Master, I miss you. Then, she closed her eyes completely. Her body had lost its strength, but her hands were still subconsciously grabbing Chu Bai's clothes. Chu Bai quickly supported her. System, is she going to die? Chu Bai hurriedly asked. Ding. Yes, she will die in eight seconds. Is there a way to save her? Before the system's reply sounded, another system notification sounded. Ding. Calamity Fox requests to acknowledge you as its master. Do you accept? He froze. Chu Bai lowered his head to look at the girl in his arms. She had completely closed her eyes, but her hand was still holding onto Chu Bai tightly. Illusory tears could be seen flowing down her face. There was no time to think. Agreed. Ding. You have successfully obtained the pet Calamity Fox. The moment the system notification sounded, the girl's figure dissolved into white and purple specks. However, Chu Bai did not notice that the corners of her mouth, which was buried in Chu Bai's arms, revealed a happy smile the moment Chu Bai accepted the request. She disappeared from Chu Bai's arms. The specks gathered on the ground and gradually materialized into the appearance of a small snow white fox. There was an additional connection between Chu Bai and her. So, did she survive? Chu Bai pondered for a moment before squatting down and reaching out to caress the little snow fox. On the ground, the little fox opened its beautiful eyes and shook its body as it looked at Chu Bai. Woo woo. She shouted happily at Chu Bai and rubbed against the back of his hand. Ding. Please name your pet. Chu Bai looked at the little snow fox circling around him and said, Then let's call her Lil Shwer. Ding. Lil Shwer name has been successfully fixed. Woo. Lil Shwer kept yapping at Chu Bai, her little tail wagging as if she really liked this name. I never expected you to become my pet. Chu Bai picked her up, and she nestled comfortably in Chu Bai's arms. Such an awesome existence had insta-killed a dragon and became his pet. Then it seemed that he did not lose out. A white teleportation array lit up in front of him. Chu Bai carried Lil Shuer and stepped inside. Ding. You have entered the dark abyss. With a flash of light, Chu Bai returned to the forest. Woo. Little Schwer cried out and then jumped onto Chu Bai's shoulder, her little head rubbing against Chu Bai's neck. Chu Bai checked her stats. Calamity Fox. Level. Zero. Grade. Seventh grade pet. Health points. 1,000. Mana. 10,000. Attack power. 30. Magic attack. 500. Defense. 10. SPD. 50. Current favorability towards you. 90 life and death together. Heavenly healing. The Calamity Fox possesses extremely powerful magic genes and Holy Spirit power. With the existence of the Calamity Fox, no one in the world will die. Effect. 
releases the Holy Spirit power in the body. It can heal up to five units, including the user, immediately recovering 50% of maximum HP. Mana cost, 500. Cooldown, 30 seconds. Light of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit bestows upon the world. Effect. Releases the light of the Holy Spirit for 10 seconds, enveloping up to 5 units including the user. Removes all ailments and restores 10% of maximum HP every second. At the same time, provides immunity to all ailments for 10 seconds. Mana cost, 1000. Cooldown, 2 minutes. Resurrection spell. With the existence of the Holy Spirit, there will be no calamity in the world. Effect. Choose a target, other than yourself, and cast the resurrection spell. The resurrection spell will last for 7 seconds on the target. If a unit dies within 7 seconds, the target will be revived at full health. After casting the spell, the target's level will be reduced by 5 levels. Mana cost, 10,000. Cooldown, 15 days. Can be used 3 times in a lifetime. Current number of uses, March 3rd. Phantom Transformation. After release, it can transform into a human form for an hour. No mana consumption. Cooldown, 1 day. Chubai was completely stunned on the spot. This is a grade 7 pet? Are you kidding me? Normal pets were divided into grade 3 ornamental pets and grade 4 ornamental pets. As the name implied, pets of the 3rd and 4th grades could only be used for ornamental purposes and had no combat power. When a pet reached grade 5, it would have the ability to cooperate in combat. After grade 5 were 6, 7, 8, and 9. After grade 9 pets, there were demon pets, celestial pets, heavenly pets, divine emperor pets, super divine pets, holy annihilation pets, and holy seal pets. Generally speaking, when a pet reached grade 7, its combat power was not ordinary. As for Lil Schwer, she was a grade 7 pet, but level 0, 10,000 mana points, 500 magic attack power? This is called a grade 7 pet? This was not the main point. The main point was Lil Schwer's skill. Heavenly Healing. The first skill stunned Chu Bai on the spot. 50% maximum HP group recovery effect. After all, the healing ability of a priest only had a maximum HP of 20%. Furthermore, it could only heal one unit. The cooldown was as high as one minute. Lil Schwer's Heavenly Healing only had a cooldown of 30 seconds, which was extremely crazy. Light of the Holy Spirit. AoE 10% HP recovery every 10 seconds. At the same time, it has an immunity to all negative effects. After 10 seconds, your HP bar will be full. The cooldown is only 2 minutes. It was ridiculous. What was even more ridiculous was the third skill, Resurrection, which directly broke Chu Bai's understanding. In any game, Chu Bai had never seen the skill Resurrection. It was impossible for a priest to have Resurrection. If he died, he was dead. The only exception was the ultimate item prayer's glass. However, a resurrection spell was right in front of Chu Bai. He could use it three times in a lifetime, which meant that Chu Bai had a total of five lives, including the free resurrection. As for the phantom transformation, he could turn Lil Schwer into that beautiful little lowly every day for an hour. This is called a calamity fox? How is this a calamity? Chu Bai turned his head to look at Lil Schwer on his shoulder. How is this related to Calamity? Oh my god, this was simply a moving fountain of health. Such a terrifying existence had actually become Chu Bai's pet and companion. After so many years, he had never seen such an insane pet. Lil Schwer, use Phantom Transformation. Woo. Lil Schwer cried out. Then, white light surged from her body, and the little lowly in a purple dress stood beside Chu Bai. Master. Lil Schwer happily hugged Chu Bai. Lil Schwer, do you remember what happened just now? Lil Schwer blinked her large eyes in confusion before shaking her little head. You really don't remember? Chu Bai muttered to himself. Forget it, I won't think about that anymore. Let's go. I'll bring you to level up. Yes, yes, yes. With that, Chu Bai pulled her forward. In the dark abyss, back in the forest, Chu Bai was fighting a group of demonized civic cats. Lil Schwer was hiding at the side, holding the meat bun Chu Bai gave her and dancing with joy. Master, you can do it. With Lil Schwer around, 
Chu Bai did not have to worry about his health. Heavenly Lightning Break continued to rain down, and Lil Shuer's healing technique refilled his HP whenever it dropped to half. Ding! Lil Shuer has leveled up to level 1. Health points plus 100, mana points plus 1000, magic attack power plus 100. Ding! Lil Shuer has leveled up to level 2. Health points plus 100, mana points plus 1000, magic attack power plus 100. Chu Bai brought Lil Shuer along all the way until she reached level 2. Her phantom transformation time had also expired, and she turned into the cute little snow fox sitting on Chu Bai's shoulder. Are you tired? Chu Bai patted the little fellow on his shoulder. Woo, Lil Shuer cried out. Go back and rest. Then, Chu Bai put her into the pet space. Phew. Chu Bai took a deep breath and stretched. The leveling of this game is too slow. I've been grinding for two hours and only reached 15% of level 8. I have to find a high-level monster. I'll go to the village chief in the starter village to see if this shoe belongs to his wife. Then, Chu Bai walked toward the starter village. Ding. Attention to all players. The player level rankings has been activated. Ding. Attention to all players. The pet rankings has been activated. Ding. Attention to all players. The equipment rankings have been activated. Ding. Attention to all players. The hidden class ranking has been activated. Ding. Attention to all players. The gold coin exchange system has been activated. A series of system notifications sounded frantically. F asterisk CK. It's finally open. I don't even have the money to buy medicine. I can finally exchange it for money now. Level rankings. Let's see who's the most awesome now. Ding. You are ranked first on the level rankings. Do you want to hide your ID? Ding. Your equipment, Broken Glass, is ranked first on the equipment rankings. Do you want to hide your ID? Ding. Your equipment, Space Ring, is ranked sixth on the equipment rankings. Do you want to hide your ID? Ding. Your pet Lil Schwerer is ranked first on the pet rankings. Do you want to hide your ID? Chu Bai replied, Don't hide it. And add a thick highlighted ID. After speaking, Chu Bai also opened the various rankings as he walked toward the beginner village. Level ranking. First place, level, 8, class, swordsman, nickname, Bai Yi. Second place, level, 6, class, swordsman, nickname, emperor. Third place, level, 6, class, assassin, nickname, shadow. Fourth place, level, 6, class, swordsman, nickname. One sword is useless. Fifth place, level, five, class, fire mage, nickname, fire firmament. Sixth place, level, five, class, lightning mage, nickname, thunderous battle. Seventh, level, five, class, archer, nickname, divine wind. Eighth place, level, five, class, lightning mage, nickname, dancing rain. Ninth place, level, Five, class, none, nickname, playboy. Tenth place, level, five, class, swordsman, nickname, cloud slayer. Equipment ranking. First place, equipment, broken glass, grade, holy seal, owner, by ye. Second place, equipment, sacred heart, grade, holy seal, owner, little cutie. Third place, equipment, divine armament diagram, Grade, Holy Seal, Owner, Fong Ling. Fourth place, Equipment, Shadow Chasing, Grade, Holy Seal, Owner, Shadow. Fifth, Equipment, Yellow Springs, Grade, Holy Annihilation, Owner, Emperor. Sixth, Equipment, Space Ring, Grade, Divine Emperor, Owner, by Yi. Seventh, Equipment, Boundless Emperor Armor, Grade, Divine Emperor, Owner. One sword is useless. Eighth, equipment, heavenly feather exquisite satin, grade, divine emperor, owner, dancing rain. Ninth, equipment, sky thunder sword, grade, divine emperor, owner, north wind. Tenth, equipment, sky flower, grade, divine emperor, owner, thunderstorm. Pet ranking, first place, calamity fox, grade, grade seven pet, owner. Bai Yi. Hidden class ranking, none. Chu Bai glanced at it, 
It was not much different from what he had imagined. The top 10 of the level rankings were all familiar IDs. Other than the ninth ranked Playboy, who was a new ID, the others were all awesome characters from the previous game. However, the special thing was that this Playboy somehow had no class. The equipment ranking was not very reliable because many equipments were brought in from other games. However, what Chubai did not expect was that Broken Glass was actually ranked ahead of Divine Armament Diagram, and there was also Sacred Heart coming in second. The Divine Armament Diagram was the equipment dropped by the final boss of the world. In terms of pets, Chubai was the only one who currently had a pet. No one had a hidden class at the moment. The activation of the four rankings stunned all the other players. What the F asterisk see? Out of the top three rankings, Bai Yi is first? Who is this Bai Yi? I get that he's ranked first on the level rankings. After all, he got the first kill on the Divine Emperor Beast. But why does he have a pet? There's no pet map in the starter village, right? And why is his equipment ranked higher than the Divine Armament Diagram? Is Bai Yi going to become a god? And who's little cutie? Isn't the Divine Armament Diagram the item dropped by the final boss? Her Sacred Heart is ranked before the Divine Armament Diagram? Feng Ling looked at the various rankings and narrowed his eyes. Bai Yi, why is your equipment ranked higher than my Divine Armament Diagram? My Divine Armament Diagram is only ranked third. In a forest in a starter village, the player's ID was Emperor. He held a yellow divine sword and stared at the rankings. Bai Yi He. After reading the rankings, Bai Yi returned to the beginner village. He headed straight for the village chief. Chu Bai's appearance attracted the attention of the players. Hey, God. Wanna team up? I've got plenty of milk here. A 36D girl approached Chu Bai and winked at him flirtatiously. Great Bai Yi. Choose me. Choose me. I may be a man, but I can do things too. What's so good about women? Aren't women all the same? Sometimes it's better to try vegetarian food if you're used to meat. Great Bai Yi, can you let me take a look at the broken glass? What is this thing that is ranked higher than the divine armament diagram? Chu Bai ignored them all and went straight to the village chief. Not far away, a group of women passed by and saw this scene. Miss, that is Bai Yi. The woman who was addressed as Miss was wearing a veil. Although she was wearing a novice outfit, it was difficult to hide her charm and temptation. When she stood there, countless people around her stole glances at her. Her ID was Qingqiu Yinma. Qingqiu Yinma was also a well-known veteran player. The guild that she founded, Rose Paradise, was a guild that only recruited female players. However, its scale had already reached 10 million and was not much inferior to Feng Ling Dynasty. This person shouldn't be a new player. It's best if we can get to know him. Qingqiu Yinma muttered as she watched Chu Bai leave. However, according to the reactions of the other players, he doesn't seem to like to talk to people. Just now, some girls even threw themselves at him, but he still pushed them away mercilessly. Qingqiu Yinma flashed a beautiful smile. Our Rose Paradise doesn't lack beautiful sisters. Village Chief Chu Bai found the village chief. Brother Bai Yi, quick. Please, please, please. Seeing that Chu Bai had arrived, the village chief pushed the players aside and brought Chu Bai to the inner room. Brother Bai Yi, is there any news about my wife? The village chief asked anxiously. Chu Bai took out the blood-stained shoe. Seeing the shoe, the village chief shuddered and took it with trembling hands. My wife. His entire body trembled as tears streamed down his face. Chief, my condolences, Chu Bai said. The village chief carefully placed the shoe on the table and wiped his tears as he looked at Chu Bai. This was what I expected anyway. Thank you, Bai Yi. Chu Bai shook his head. Ding. Congratulations on completing the mission, finding news of the village chief's wife. The village chief then said to Chu Bai, I don't have anything to thank you with, so I'll write you a letter. After saying that, he sat there and wrote a letter to Chu Bai. All right. Take this to the village drugstore and find the pharmacy owner. She owes me a favor and might be able to give you something good. When the time comes, you must emphasize that I recommended you. She has a bad temper and doesn't like men. If you don't inform her, she might just throw you out or even kill you. Chu Bai took the envelope and asked in confusion, I've been to the pharmacy before. Isn't the boss a man? 
The real owner of the pharmacy is a woman. That man's name is Wu Shi. He's one of the few men she has a good impression of, and he helps her. That's why she kept him as an employee of the pharmacy after she opened it. If she's not around, you can ask for Wu Shi. All right, thank you, village chief. I'll go now. Please do. Then, Chu Bai left the village chief's courtyard. After he walked out, he bumped into Ching Chiu Yinma, who was waiting there. Great Bai Yi. Ching Chiu Yinma smiled and extended her hand toward Chu Bai. She was very beautiful. Even though she was wearing a veil, it was difficult to hide her charm. Her noble temperament meant that her identity was not a simple one. Hi. Chu Bai reached out and shook her hand. Ding. Due to Ching Chiu Yinma taking the initiative to express her goodwill to you, there will be no punishment from the heavenly lightning during this contact. This was a mechanism to protect women in the game. If a male player took the initiative and deliberately touched a female player's body, then lightning punishment would be sent down. The higher the degree of contact, the more ruthless the punishment. It could even result in death. I don't mean anything else. I just want to get to know the Bai Yi. Can I be your friend? Ching Chiu Yinma asked with a smile. Her every move was elegant and noble. She exuded confidence. No, thank you. Chu Bai left after saying that. He knew this Ching Chiu Yinma and did not have much interaction with her before. She was just a famous veteran. It was said that her background in reality was also very powerful. Feng Ling was even her admirer. However, Chu Bai knew that this woman was very dangerous. Ching Chiu Yinma raised her eyebrows. Miss, that guy is so full of himself. He didn't even consider your offer. The girl beside her looked unhappy. Ching Chiu Yinma was unfazed. He's an expert. Isn't it expected for him to look down on me? When Chu Bai arrived at the entrance of the pharmacy, a female player happened to walk out. Zhang Yue Qinying was her ID. She was not wearing a veil, revealing her peerless appearance. Chu Bai was shocked. This starter village of 77,777 was really filled with crouching tigers and hidden dragons. Beautiful women popped up one after another. This woman's temperament was somewhat similar to Ching Chiu Yin Ma's, but there was a hint of coldness between her eyes, which diminished some of her nobility. She looked to be about 24 or 25 years old. Her appearance could be said to be top tier. She was tall and slender, about 1.7 meters tall. The starter village could not contain the explosiveness of her figure. Her slender waist and long fair legs were exposed and could make one's imagination run wild. Zhang Wei Qinying was stunned when she saw Chu Bai. Bai Yi? She was a little excited. Then, she extended her hand to Chu Bai and said, Hello, I'm Zhang Wei Qinying. I've been looking for you. What's the matter? Chu Bai asked. She said, I heard that you got the first kill of a bronze boss. I just wanted to ask, are you selling bronze boss equipment? I can offer a high price for it. Although Chu Bai did not think much of it, the truth was that a bronze equipment in the early stages was already quite insane. It could attract countless players to fight over it. On the first day of the game, perhaps only one out of 100,000 players had a bronze weapon. The attribute already stood out. Yes, how much are you offering? Can I see the attributes? Chu Bai shared the attributes of Wolf King armor with her. The attributes are quite good. The HP bonus is almost comparable to my basic HP. How about 100,000? At this time, a level 5 bronze weapon was not cheap. After all, how many players could afford 100,000 yuan? Moreover, equipment of this level depreciated very quickly. All right, shall we trade now? Okay. Then, Chu Bai and Jiang Yue Qianying made the deal face to face. Chu Bai had an extra 1,000 gold coins. Chu Bai was indeed short of money. He did not lack money in the past, but in the world, he spent almost all his energy and money inside the game. He did not have much money in reality and could only buy a fixed house. Unfortunately, he died. Then, everything was gone. Thank you. Zhang Wei Qinying felt sorry for Chu Bai. You're welcome. I didn't need it anyway. Then, Chu Bai walked toward the pharmacy. Bai Yi. Zhang Wei Qinying called out to Chu Bai. Yes? Is there anything else? She smiled and asked, Can I add you as a friend? If you have any equipment that you don't need, you can contact me anytime. Chu Bai thought for a moment, then nodded. All right. Zhang Yue Qianying was delighted. 
Ding. Player, Jiang Yue Qianying requests to add you as a friend. Do you accept? Agreed. Then, the two of them became good friends. I won't disturb you anymore. Please go ahead. Yeah. Chu Bai followed her into the pharmacy. You, the employee, Wu Shi, was unhappy when he saw Chu Bai. Cough, cough. Chu Bai touched the tip of his nose and coughed dryly. I'm sorry about what happened before. I was recommended by the village chief to look for your boss. Is she here? You were recommended by the village chief? He took Chu Bai's letter and glanced at it. All right, the boss is in the inner room. I'll help you inform her. Then, he walked in and quickly came back out. The boss invites you in. Thanks a lot. Chu Bai walked into the inner room. This pharmacy was much bigger than he had imagined. The inner room was a living room. There was a woman sitting there, reading a book and drinking tea. Chu Bai looked over and could not help but be stunned. She was so beautiful. Her long hair was draped over her shoulders, and her exquisite facial features made one's heart beat faster. However, between her shapely eyebrows, there was a cold expression that could make one's heart stop. Her dark and cold eyes were like the morning stars, clear and bright. Her clothes were not ordinary. She was wearing a white and gold robe. At this moment, she was leaning in a chair with her legs crossed and a book in one hand. Her bearing was noble and gorgeous. It was not something that anyone in this village could possess. He cast scan. Huang Xian. Description. She appeared in Starter Village 77,777 15 years ago. At that time, she was seriously injured and was accidentally discovered by the village chief, Wu Shi, and a few others who saved her. From then on, she stayed in the village. Her identity is mysterious, and the village has heard no mention of it. However, she regularly brings out treasures that would surprise everyone in the village. A hidden big shot in the starter village? Her beautiful eyes looked at Chu Bai as her red lips parted slightly. The village chief recommended you? Chu Bai nodded and handed the letter over. Huang Xian took the letter and looked at it. The meaning of the letter was quite clear. The village chief probably owed Chu Bai a huge favor, and he had no way to repay it. So, he hoped that Huang Xian could repay it for him. Since he asked me to, I'll spare him some face. She considered for a moment and took out two leaves. Take this. Chu Bai took it. Leaf of life. Grade. None. A leaf dropped from the divine tree of life, containing powerful vitality. Effect. After use, HP permanently plus 100 can be used up to five times. Damn. It was a tool that could permanently increase attributes. This kind of item that permanently increased attributes was extremely rare. Even the leaves of an amazing existence like the divine tree could only add 100 HP for each leaf. With this permanent increase of 200 HP, taking the village chief's mission was not a waste of effort. Thanks a lot, Chu Bai said. You're welcome, Huang Xian replied. Then she pointed to the inner room and said, I don't sell the things inside. But since you were recommended by the village chief, go in and take a look. If there's anything you like and can afford, I'll sell it to you. After saying that, Huang Xian continued reading. Chu Bai nodded and walked in. There were a few wooden shelves inside the room with some things on them. In addition, there was some equipment hanging on the wall. Chu Bai casually glanced at them. Super HP Potion. Immediately recovers 500 HP and 100 HP per second. Lasts for 10 seconds. Cooldown, 5 seconds. Price, 10 gold coins. Super Mana Recovery Potion. Immediately restores 500 mana points and 100 mana points per second. Lasts for 10 seconds. Cooldown, 5 seconds. Price, 10 gold coins. Inferno Triple Slash Skill Book. After using it, you can obtain the advanced skill, Inferno Triple Slash. Price, 1000 gold coins. Leaf of Life. Grade, None. A leaf dropped from the Divine Tree of Life. It contains powerful vitality. Effect. After use, HP will permanently increase by 100. Can be used up to 5 times. Price. 1000 gold coins. Flower of Strength. Grade. None. A magical flower. Effect. After use, strength permanently plus 10. Can be used up to 3 times. Price. 3000 gold coins. 
Holy Armor Grade Demon Usage Level Level 10 Usage Requirements Melee Class Attributes Health Points Plus 1000 Defense Plus 200 All Damage Received Reduced by 10% Immune to Dark and Undead Attribute Attacks Price 100,000 Gold Coins Skill Holy Light Activates Holy Light to Block Damage Effect Absorbs 1,800 damage. Holy Light lasts for 10 seconds. Cooldown, 5 minutes. Holy Protection. Receives 60% damage reduction after activation. Lasts for 10 seconds. Cooldown, 30 minutes. Heartburning Sword. Grade, Divine Emperor. Usage Level, 30. Usage Requirements. Swordsman. Attributes. Strength plus 100. Attack plus 500. Critical Strike Rate plus 10%. Fire Attribute Attack deals an additional 50% damage. Price, 8 million gold. Passive Skill, Burning Heart. All attacks have a 10% chance of causing double damage. There is also a 5% chance of having a 5-second burn effect, draining 500 HP every second. Active Skill, Burning Flame. Release the power of flames to enhance the heart-burning sword. In the next 15 seconds, the damage will increase by 100%. At the same time, you can enjoy the effect of the passive skill, Burning Heart, Cooldown, 30 minutes. Burning Slash, charges power on the spot for 1 to 5 seconds. Then, slashes forward with a powerful strike. Damage, 3000 to 8000 fixed damage. Range, 10 to 50 meters. Scales with charging time. Cooldown, 1 hour. Butcher Class Change Scroll. After using it, you can obtain the Hidden Class Butcher. Price, 3 million gold coins. Light Knight Class Change Scroll. After using it, you can obtain the Hidden Class, Light Knight. Price, 8 million gold coins. These things dazzled Chu Bai. He did not expect there to be a Class Change Scroll for a Hidden Class. There was also a Divine Emperor weapon. If others knew about this place, it would be terrible. However, other than the permanent items, Although Chu Bai wanted the other items, he was not in a hurry. He believed that he would not lack powerful equipment in the future. He might even be able to encounter better hidden classes. As for now, Chu Bai did not even consider the high level equipment that he could not use in the short term. Perhaps other players would be more eager to keep one. For those that could be used in a short period of time, such as the demon equipment, holy armor, the price was 100,000 gold coins, or 10 million yuan. It was indeed considered the market price for such things now. However, Chu Bai would not spend so much money to buy such equipment. Finally, Chu Bai's gaze fell on the topmost jade bottle. Water of Life, Grade, Holy Seal. Legend has it that there is a holy spring called the Spring of Life. A drop of spring water can save a dying person. Effect, after using it, you will be permanently immune to all negative effects. Dizzy, Imprison, Freeze, burn, silence, movement speed decrease, instant death, etc. Price, 1 billion gold coins. Holy sh asterisk t. When he saw the water of life, he was completely stunned. This thing could actually make players immune to all negative effects. Was this an attribute that could really exist? Also, the price was as high as 100 billion. However, Chu Bai knew that even if it was 100 billion, people would definitely buy it. Who on earth is this pharmacy owner? Chu Bai walked out. Anything you want? Huang Xian asked indifferently. Yes, but I can't afford it, Chu Bai said. No hurry. What do you want to buy? The leaf of life, the flower of strength, and the water of life. Hearing Chu Bai's words, she paused slightly, put down the book, and looked at Chu Bai with her beautiful eyes. You don't want the hidden classes and equipment? Compared to what I said, those aren't that important, but the price of the water of life is too high for me. Chu Bai said, then there's no other way. Chu Bai said, I only have 1,000 gold coins on me. I can buy a leaf of life first. As for the rest, please help me reserve them. Huang Xian said, help me gather a bunch of scorching sunflowers. I'll give you three leaf of life and three flowers of strength. Ding, you have triggered the mission. Collecting Scorching Sunflower. Mission Reward, Leaf of Life, Asterisk 3, Flower of Strength, Asterisk 3. Do you accept? 
These six items added up to 600,000 yuan. Accepted. Then, Chubai looked at her and said, All right, I'll go now. The scorching sunflower should be in the flame valley. It's relatively rare. I couldn't find it last time. You can try your luck, but you have to be careful. The monsters in the flame valley are generally more powerful, and there should be even stronger existences. Huang Xian gave him a reminder. Okay, I'll go now. Then, Chu Bai hurried away. Huang Xian's words, there's a stronger existence, were easy for players to understand. There should be a boss there. Chu Bai had to complete this mission for this 600,000 yuan. Ding, you have used Leaf of Life. Health points permanently plus 100. Ding, you have used Leaf of Life. Health points permanently plus 100. After using the two leaves of life, Chu Bai's HP reached 980 points. It was pretty crazy to say that a level 8's HP almost exceeded 1000. As for the other players, they only had around 300 HP. Unless they leveled up and increased their constitution, the HP they gained just from leveling up was very low. They could only rely on their equipment to support themselves. Chu Bai directly walked toward the Flame Valley. At this moment, Old Dream Tian Yu and Tian Xing were online again. They put on their masks and walked into the starter village with their IDs hidden. There were still many players in the village looking for them, but it was still difficult to find them now. President. They were using their communicators to chat with Feng Ling in the game. Having a good friend was like making a phone call. What happened? Feng Ling asked. President, that Bai Yi? They told Feng Ling everything they had experienced here. Feng Ling's eyes narrowed. Is that so? I don't care what method you use, but you must kill this Bai Yi. Feng Ling said coldly. President, we want to. But this Bai Yi is ridiculous. He's just a level 5 player, but he can use a skill as if he doesn't have a cooldown. He probably got a top tier talent and Phoenix's ultimate skill. It's ridiculous. He still has the flame beads too. If we hadn't been chased by players, we could have gathered our members and killed him. However, Tian Xing and I can't even protect ourselves now. I'm afraid, Old Dream Tian Yu said. I'll send someone to give you two items that can be brought into the game. If you can't deal with a new player with these two items, then you can get out of my sight. Feng Ling said. Yes. Clearly, Feng Ling needed to deal with Bai Yi. Firstly, that guy provoked the Feng Ling dynasty. Secondly, he was dazzling like the sun. He was ranked first on all rankings. Feng Ling had to stomp on him. Moreover, if he was killed, he would drop the broken glass, which was ranked first on the equipment rankings. Chu Bai soon arrived at the Flame Valley. Rather than saying that the place was a valley, it was more like a complex mountain range formed by many valleys. There were all kinds of monsters in the valleys and even on the mountains. The temperature here was generally very high, but it was not unbearable for them. The monsters were essentially fire elemental. So many people? Chu Bai looked at the large number of players in the Flame Valley and was slightly stunned. Then, he learned that the periphery of the Flame Valley was a farming spot for level 3 and 5 monsters. Now, most players were around level 3, so they naturally wanted to farm monsters of this level. Moreover, there were ordinary bronze monsters here so there was a chance of dropping bronze equipment. Have you heard? There's a boss in the Flame Valley. Of course, that's why I'm here. There are so many people here. Aside from farming levels, most of them are here for the boss, but it doesn't seem to be in the periphery. There's one in the periphery too. A bronze boss has been killed, but it won't be long before it respawns. I heard from a player that he saw a silver boss by chance when he was farming monsters here. The silver boss went to the depths of the flame valley. A silver boss. If a silver equipment drops. Let's go. Everyone was extremely excited. Silver grade weapons were awesome in the early stages. Although there were a bunch of high grade spiritual weapons on the rankings, could there be more than a hundred of them in the Sino War Zone? Moreover, those were existences that they had no chance of reaching. There were probably only one or two of them. After weapons, they wanted armor. After having armor, they also wanted combat boots. Silver boss? Chu Bai muttered to himself. Although there was no first kill for it, Chu Bai was eager to get the silver boss EXP. Moreover, he was still using a novice sword. Almost everyone has a novice sword. Even if there were people who brought better weapons from the world, 
such as the equipment shown on the rankings, many of them could not use it. There was a level requirement. Chu Bai walked into the valley. Look, it's Bai Yi. Let's go. Follow him. We might encounter a boss if we follow him, and we'll have the strength to fight the boss. But even if we do, we can't kill the boss. I mean, what if we somehow steal Bai Ye's boss? Won't we be killed by him? What's there to be afraid of? He probably won't be able to use that awesome skill as effectively as before. Now, it's nothing more than a lightning skill with a 10 meter range. He has to charge up that skill, so it's not invincible. There are so many of us. Let's form a team and go in to take a look. After Old Dream Tian Yu and Tian Xing logged off to collect their equipment, they brought their new things back online. With this 10 second stun scroll, let's see if I can't kill him. Old Dream Tian Yu's eyes flashed with viciousness, forcibly stun him for 10 seconds. No matter how great his skills are, he won't be able to use them. We can easily kill him in 10 seconds. Let's go. Let's go find him. Tian Xing said, Where are the people from the Feng Ling dynasty? I am Old Dream Tian Yu. Old Dream Tian Yu shouted. Many people heard the commotion and came to their side. They might be rushing to kill them and obtain the blood weeping demon sword. Or perhaps they really did not have any ill intentions. It's Old Dream Tian Yu and Tian Xing. Kill them. How dare you leave the starter village? Are you looking down on us? Attack. Blood weeping demon sword. Here I come. For a moment, many players rushed toward them. Death. Old Dream Tian Yu's eyes narrowed as he took out a scroll and crushed it. In the next moment, a spot dozens of meters ahead turned into a sea of fire. Ah. The players' screams came from within. Seeing this scene, the others swallowed their saliva and revealed looks of fear. You're using the scroll just like that? Tian Xing asked softly. It doesn't matter. The president gave us two anyway. Even if he didn't, the 10 second stun scroll is enough to kill Bai Yi. We have to show our might now, Old Dream Tian Yu said. Yeah. After that, Old Dream Tian Yu scanned the surrounding crowd. I've taken you all seriously, right? I want to see who still dares to touch me. I'll kill you. He took out another scroll. The others looked at each other, trembling in fear. Then, Old Dream Tian Yu walked in front of someone and slapped him across the face. How dare you chase me in the starter village? He took out his novice sword and killed him in a few moves. No one else around dared to attack. Old Dream Tian Yu swept another glance at everyone and said, Let's see who still dares to be impudent now. No one dared to move. I'll let bygones be bygones. Now, I just want to kill Bai Yi. Members of the Feng Ling dynasty, follow me. I guarantee that you won't die. Anyone who follows me will be rewarded with 100 gold coins. Many people looked at each other. Boss, I've never chased you. I'm a member of the Feng Ling dynasty. I'll join you. A person walked over. Hall Master, I'll join as well. And me, and me. Old Dream Tian Yu nodded in satisfaction. Come here. I'll give 100 gold coins to each of you. When those people received the money, they looked pleasantly surprised. Anyone else? Old Dream Tian Yu shouted. More and more people gathered here. Good. He nodded in satisfaction. Does anyone know where Bai Yi is? Old Dream Tian Yu asked. In the Flame Valley, a player said. Follow me to the Flame Valley and kill him. Let's go. The group headed to the Flame Valley. Flame Valley. Chu Bai was fighting a group of monsters with the novice sword in his hand. There were many players following him. They were also fighting monsters. When they saw Chu Bai leave, they slowly followed. Heavenly lightning break. Boom. After killing two more flame rats, Chu Bai continued to walk forward. Oh my god. Is this Bai Ye's skill really not on cooldown? We saw him farming monsters just now, right? I watched him for 10 minutes, and his skill casts almost never stopped. And why isn't his mana dropping either? Isn't this talent too broken? Skills with no cooldown and no mana consumption. Isn't this invincible? Obviously, it's impossible for there to be such a bug-like skill. It's probably because this particular skill has no cooldown and no mana consumption. After all, I didn't see him use other skills limitlessly. In that case, I guess it's balanced. He's only in the early stages, and everyone's skills and equipment will be upgraded later on. His skill is full of flaws, 
so it's not actually that strong. Everyone discussed animatedly. A silver boss. Suddenly, someone discovered a lion that looked like it was on fire under a tree in front of them. No, it's a gold boss. A gold boss. Everyone was both terrified and excited. Quick. Someone. There's a level 5 gold boss here. It's only level 5. Quick. The surrounding people gathered together. In an instant, there were 2 to 300 people. Chubai also looked at the gold boss. Flaming Lion, level, 5, grade. Gold boss, health points, 12,000. A powerful fire-type monster that lives in the Flame Valley. It has extremely powerful fire-type abilities and destructive melee power. It is very fierce and has very high agility. Skill, Flame Roar, charges up power on the spot for one second, then release a powerful Flame Roar. It can reach as far as 15 meters and deal damage to struck units every second. There is a 10% chance of having a 5-second burn effect. The Flame Roar can last for up to 5 seconds. Cooldown, 30 seconds. Berserker releases the powerful power of fire in the body, increasing attack power by 100%, movement speed by 100%, but reduces defense by 50%. Last for 10 seconds. Cooldown, 3 minutes. Flame Pillar detonates an area of 5 meters within a 20 meter radius. Instant Skill instantly raises the Flame Pillar, deals damage to the target, and has a 10% chance of inflicting a 5 second burn effect. Cooldown, 1 minute. Try Shadow Berserker. Forcibly lose 10% of your own maximum HP and condenses 3 clones. Each clone has your current attributes and skills. Other than the Try Shadow Berserker skill, all other skills can also be released. The clones can last for a minute at most. During this period, the main body's defense will be reduced by 50%. Cooldown, 1 hour. Is it that strong? This was the first time Chu Bai had seen the strength of this gold tier boss in Destiny. The previous Heavenly Demon Cat Emperor was a special case. A level 5 gold boss. The strength of these four skills was extremely insane. It was nearly twice as strong as any other game he had played before. 13,000 HP. Do you think we can kill him with just a few hundred of us? Don't worry, he's only level 5. Even if he's a gold boss, his defense won't be too high. With so many people, melee players will distract it, and ranged players will continue to attack. As long as ranged players have enough space to attack, it won't take long for him to die with 13,000 HP. Attack. As for who the final monster belongs to, that will depend on fate. No one could resist the temptation of a level 5 gold boss. It was mainly because there were enough players here. Great by ye, you won't steal our kills, right? Someone asked. They could fight, but they were most afraid of Chu by stealing monsters. Chu by indifferently said, Go ahead and fight. I won't snatch it. But you stole Old Dream Tion Yu's kill last time, someone said worriedly. That's because I have a grudge against him. After saying that, Chu Bai climbed onto a tree in the distance and leisurely ate a bun. Brothers, if Bai Yi won't kill Steel, let's go. The player's last bit of worry was gone. Go! Chu Bai sat on a tree branch and watched as the players charged toward the flaming lion. He would not kill Steel, but Chu Bai also knew that these players could not beat this boss. Just based on the four skills of this boss, it was not something that hundreds of ordinary players could kill. Unless they had an impressive control-type talent to forcefully stun and imprison, they had no chance. However, this kind of skill would be considered a top-tier talent, even if it controlled the target for only a second. If it was only for a second, though, they would still be unable to defeat this boss. Chubai could use these people to drain some of the monster's health, or even force out its ultimate. With 13,000 HP, even Chubai would not have an easy time with it. Even if he did not have a cooldown for Heavenly Lightning Break, this boss could kill Chu Bai with just two hits. Facing a gold boss, Heavenly Lightning Break also needed a full second to accumulate power, so it was not invincible. His conscience? He he he, how could a game of life and death need a conscience? One was willing to fight, and the other was willing to suffer. They were willing to fight the gold boss for their own greed, so they had to pay the price. The player's attacks landed on the Flaming Lion. Minus 13, minus 21, minus 11, miss. 
The damage was very low. After all, their attack power was not higher than 50. However, it was already not bad for them to deal 10 to 20 damage. If it was a level 10 gold boss, they probably would not be able to break through its defense. However, quantitative change led to qualitative change. With hundreds of players attacking at the same time, even if one person dealt 10 damage per second, it would add up to thousands. Let me do it. I have ice attacks. A player cast a freezing skill on the flaming lion and shot an icicle at it. The flaming lion was instantly frozen on the spot. Attack. Then, their attacks landed on the flaming lion. However, this situation could only last for two seconds. Roar. The flaming lion roared. Not far away, flames appeared under the feet of a group of players without warning. Then, a sea of flame instantly erupted. Ah. Over a dozen players received over minus 500 damage, but none of them had that much HP. All of them died instantly. Careful. This is an instant cast flame pillar, someone shouted. Then, the flaming lion stood still and attacked. It roared angrily, opened its mouth, and spat out flames from its mouth. As it sprayed the flames, the flaming lion could even move its head to let the flames change trajectory. Run. Run. Everyone was shocked. With just this skill, dozens of players were killed in five seconds. Even though they were already prepared, their reaction time and speed were simply unable to dodge this skill. The flaming lion roared and pounced on the crowd. When the flaming lion leaped, the ranged players had already lost the terrain advantage to deal damage. Next was the flaming lion's massacre. The players fled in all directions. If these few hundred people were an orderly and organized team, they could have dealt with this level 5 gold boss. Great by ye, save me. Great by ye, save me. Save me, great by ye. I've already died once. I don't want to die. Boo hoo. Everyone cried out. Chu Bai accumulated a heavenly lightning break from the tree. Boom. Then, Chu Bai directly smashed the attack down. Minus 801. A huge damage number appeared on the flaming lion's body. Attack power. 142. Heavenly Lightning Break strikes the center, dealing three times the damage. Then, the damage of the Strength Gem doubled it. After deducting the damage from defense, the attack landed. However, although Chu Bai's damage was so high that it looked like he could kill the Flaming Lion in less than 20 Heavenly Lightning Breaks, it was definitely not that simple. Firstly, the Flaming Lion was very fast. It could easily escape the 10 meter radius of the lightning. Secondly, Heavenly Lightning Break needed one second to accumulate power. This accumulation time was not invincible. This was a good opportunity for the Flaming Lion to instantly kill Chu Bai. Thirdly, the Flaming Lion's attack power was very high, and it was very difficult for Chu Bai to dodge its skills. However, seeing the damage this boss dealt to other players, Chu Bai still had a chance of not being instantly killed. Everyone dispersed, and Chu Bai faced the Flaming Lion. Down by 4,000 HP, all right? Then, Chu Bai willed into effect. Lil Schwerer. With a flash of light, Lil Schwerer appeared beside Chu Bai. Go to a safe place. Woo. Lil Schwerer cried out and jumped onto a tree. Whoosh. Chu Bai held the novice sword and rushed over. He could use a flame bead, but there was no need. Chu Bai arched his neck. After that, the players scattered and hid far away to watch Chu Bai fight. Chu Bai and the Flaming Lion's figures continued to intertwine. Occasionally, Chu Bai's attacks would land on the Flaming Lion's body, causing over 200 damage. Whoosh! Chu Bai suddenly pulled away. Heavenly Lightning Break. It took one second to accumulate power, but with the distance, the Flaming Lion could not do anything. Just as the Flaming Lion arrived in front of Chu Bai, Chu Bai finished accumulating power and jumped. Minus 803. We're all players who came into the game together. Why does Bai Yi have a skill that can damage a gold boss for more than 800 HP? We're all beginners. Why? But it's not easy for him either. He can't keep using this ultimate move. If he needs time to accumulate power, he'll be instantly killed. Is that little white fox Chu Bai's pet? It's so cute. Why doesn't it join the battle? Boom. A pillar of flames burst out from under Chu Bai's feet. There was no way to dodge this skill. 
It was an instantaneous skill with a range of 5 meters, minus 451. The huge damage instantly emptied half of Chu Bai's health bar. Chu Bai's defense was 134. Oh my god. 451 damage only cleared half of Bai Ye's HP? He has close to 1000 HP? I only have 300 HP, but he has 1000? Why is the difference between so big? But Bai Ye seems to be dying. If he gets hit by another skill, he will be insta-killed, right? However, plus 451. A green healing number suddenly appeared above Chu Bai's head, and his health bar instantly returned to full. Lil Shuer's heavenly healing had a maximum HP recovery of 50% and only had a cooldown of 30 seconds. Everyone was speechless. What the hell? Is his health back to full? It's his pet, Calamity Fox. A grade 7 pet? Is this a grade 7 pet? How can a skill restore his HP to full? It has to be. There doesn't seem to be anything to be shocked about. It's probably fixed at 500 health points. It won't be of any use in the middle stages of the game. After all, it's only a grade 7 pet. How powerful can it be? With Lil Schwer around, Chu Bai threw caution to the wind. Heavenly lightning break. Minus 800. Another huge damage appeared above the flaming lion's head. Roar. The flaming lion seemed to have been forced into a corner. It roared angrily, and flames burned all over its body. It's berserker. The flaming lion has gone berserk. Increased movement speed. Double attacks. If Bai Yi gets hit, he should be insta-killed. This was what Chu Bai was afraid of. The doubled attack speed meant that it was impossible for Chu Bai to fight head-on with the flaming lion. Moreover, it was very difficult for Chu Bai to keep dodging his attacks. Now, Chu Bai was starting to miss the flash skill. Whoosh! The flaming lion charged toward Chu Bai at an extremely fast speed. Chu Bai dodged to the side, and at the same time, the sword in his hand slashed at the monster's side. Minus 213. 10 seconds. This amplification only lasted for 10 seconds. Chu Bai kept dodging. Roar. The flame roar shot toward Chu Bai. Chu Bai's movement speed was limited, so it was impossible for him to follow the flame roar. After running two steps, Chu Bai jumped up, and the flames swept past his feet. The flaming lion raised its head, and flames surged toward Chu Bai. Minus 819. A huge damage marker appeared above Chu Bai's head again, almost emptying his health bar. Ding. You have been burned. Minus 100. He was just 61 HP away from being killed. Lil Schwer. Chu Bai shouted. Woo. At the same time, a white light emerged from Lil Schwer's body, and a white light also appeared on Chu Bai's body. Plus 98, minus 100, plus 98, minus 100. Lil Schwer's Holy Spirit Light recovered 10% of her maximum HP every second for 10 seconds. Then, as Chu Bai ran, he used a medium HP potion and a small HP potion. Plus 200, plus 100, minus 100, plus 98. The potion had a 5 second cooldown. Now was Chu Bai's most critical time. Made it. After 30 seconds, Chu Bai's body flashed again. Plus 490. The enhancement effect of the flaming lion also disappeared. Chu Bai's reckless abandon again. Everyone was speechless. The others were stunned. He didn't die. He was forcibly healing. The Calamity Fox's healing skill has such a short cooldown. Just 30 seconds? Isn't that a bit too much for this stage? They had yet to learn that Lil Schwer's skill was the maximum HP recovery. Heavenly Lightning Break. Boom. Chu Bai used his ultimate move again. Minus 803. The Flaming Lion only had a little more than 6,000 HP left. At this moment, the Flaming Lion finally used its ultimate skill, Tri Shadow Berserker. Minus 1,300. Releasing this skill required it to lose 10% of its maximum health. After that, Three similar flaming lions appeared beside it. Finally, Chu Bai's lips curled up. Ding, you have obtained the ultimate skill, Tri Shadow Berserker. Then, Tri Shadow Berserker. Chu Bai directly released it. Minus 98. Whoosh. Three figures of Chu Bai wielding novice swords appeared beside him. Tri Shadow Berserker. Three more appeared. 
minus 98. Try Shadow Berserker, minus 98. Try Shadow Berserker, minus 98. With the healing effect, Chu Bai was able to release it five times in a row. Fifteen clones appeared. Everyone was speechless. Oh my god. What's this? How can he cast the Tri Shadow Berserker? Isn't this the skill of the Flaming Lion? Talent? This is his talent? Hen, what was that skill that could unleash unlimited ultimate moves? What's going on? Ah. Everyone was dumbfounded. Smash it. Then, Chu Bai controlled the fifteen doppelgangers and ignored the three doppelgangers of the Flaming Lion. At the same time, he accumulated Heavenly Lightning Break. Whoosh. Other than Chu Bai, the other clones also attacked in unison. Just as the three Flaming Lion clones attacked, the Heavenly Lightning Break had already descended. Boom. A huge tremor came from the ground. And then, more than ten Heavenly Lightning Breaks sent the Flaming Lion to its death. Ding. Your level has increased to level 9. Health points plus 10. Mana points plus 10. You have received 5 points to freely distribute attributes. Ding. Lil Schwer has leveled up to level 3. Health points plus 100. Mana points plus 1000. Magic attack power plus 100. Chu Bai leveled up and his condition returned to full stats. The others who were prepared to kill Chu Bai instantly dropped their plans. Just one level? Chu Bai looked at his experience bar and sighed at the difficulty of leveling up in Destiny. Moreover, every time he leveled up, the experience required would increase exponentially. However, now that Lil Schwer was sharing experience points with Chu Bai, this was the bad thing about having a pet. However, Chu Bai did not feel deterred by that. Lil Schwer was too amazing. Ding! Congratulations on obtaining the first kill of the gold boss. Reputation plus 10,000. Gold coins, plus 100. Ding! Congratulations on obtaining the first kill of the gold boss. The system will make a worldwide announcement. Do you want to hide your ID? No hiding. 99,999 Starter Village. More than 200 people were attacking a giant spider. Let me do it. The giant spider only had 100 HP left. So Feng Ling rushed over. KK. KK. Whoosh. 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 Minus 98. Minus 98. He had successfully killed the gold boss giant spider. Phew. Feng Ling let out a long sigh of relief. He had leveled up to level 7 and successfully made it into the top 10 of the level rankings. He smiled. Thank you, everyone. Without you, there would be no first clear of the gold boss. Everyone will get a share of the money I promised you. Feng Ling said to the people from the Feng Ling dynasty. Now that he had achieved the first kill of the gold boss, he should be able to regain his face, right? 10,000 per person. For this first kill, he had spent millions. No way. President is awesome. Feng Ling Dynasty. Onward. Onward. The guild master is awesome. Everyone agreed. Feng Ling laughed. Yes. Then he froze. What about the first kill system notification? At this moment, ding. Attention all players. Player, Bai Yi, from Starter Village, 77777, has completed the first kill of the gold boss. This is the announcement. Ding. Attention all players. Player, Bai Yi, from Starter Village, 77777, has completed the first kill of the gold boss. This is the announcement. Ding. Feng Ling blew up. He had spent millions just to find a gold boss and kill it as a group. He planned to make a world announcement and let him regain his dignity. At the same time, he would let everyone know about him and use this as an advertisement for his guild. Yet, the boss had been killed and the system announcement was for Bai Yi. Feng Ling gritted his teeth. Was Bai Yi his nemesis? Twice, twice. The players who had just called him awesome were also embarrassed. Feng Ling took out his communicator. Hey, are you eating SH asterisk tea? You haven't attacked him yet? Feng Ling snarled angrily. Old Dream Tian Yu's voice came from the other side. President, we're already on our way. We've gathered more than 300 people and are about to arrive, Old Dream Tian Yu hurriedly said. Hurry up. Feng Ling shouted angrily. Yes, yes. Then, Feng Ling hung up the communicator. 
his eyes flashing with killing intent. Bai Yi, I want you dead. On the other end, Old Dream Tianyu hung up the communicator and shouted to the people behind him, Hurry up, hurry up and follow. As they passed Flame Valley, they met many players, so it was easy for them to know where Chubai was. Damn it, this Bai Yi actually had the ability to kill a gold boss. I'll kill him. Old Dream Tianyu gritted his teeth as his expression turned malevolent. Under the envious and shocked gazes of many people, Chu Bai walked to the place where the blazing lion died. Gold weapon. When the players saw a piece of equipment that shone with golden light, their eyes widened. At this stage, even if it was a level 5 gold grade weapon, it would be worth at least a million. This was the first kill of a gold boss, which meant that this was the first gold equipment in the entire world. Even though there were powerful equipments on the leaderboard, there were only a few of them. Gold weapons could not be brought in from the previous game. There's also a silver equipment and a bronze equipment. Damn it. Isn't this Bai Yi too lucky? Chu Bai checked the stats of the gold grade weapon. Flame staff, grade, gold, usage level, 5, usage requirements. Mage, a staff that contains powerful fire attribute power, is an absolute blessing for fire attribute mages. Attributes, spirit plus 20, mana plus 1000, magic attack plus 100, skill casting speed increased by 20%, Fire attribute skill damage increased by 30%. Skill, Flame Pillar. Chant for 2 seconds, then release the flame spell. Effect, within a 20 meter radius, any chosen 5 meter radius will instantly form a flame pillar, dealing damage to the target equal to the current magic attack. There is also a 100% burn effect of 5 seconds, decreasing 100 HP per second. Cooldown, 5 minutes. Flame Protection. Casts a spell for one second, releasing powerful flames to form a barrier of power. Effect can block 1,000 damage. During this period, the damage dealt will increase by 50%. Last for 10 seconds. If the shield is broken, it will enter an early cooldown. Cooldown, 15 minutes. Unfortunately, it's a staff. Chubai muttered to himself. It was naturally useless to a swordsman like him. Then... Chubai looked at the silver equipment. Blazing War Boots. Grade. Silver. Usage level. 5. Usage requirements. Any class. The boots dropped by the Golden Boss, Flaming Lion, contain the powerful agility of the Flaming Lion. Attributes. Health plus 200. Defense plus 30. Movement speed plus 50. Movement speed reduction effect reduced by 20%. Skill. Haste. Releases the power of the Blazing War Boots. Effect. Increases movement speed by 50% and leaves flames in the path of movement. All enemies that touch it will receive 100 points of damage. Duration. 10 seconds. Cooldown. 2 minutes. This was good for Chubai. After all, Chubai's combat boots were newbie cloth shoes. Then, Chubai directly equipped the flaming war boots. Character. Bai Yi. Level. 9. Title. None. Hunger. 78. Reputation. 211,000. Three fixed attributes. Luck. 15. Charm. 15. Comprehension. 15. Four basic attributes. Constitution. 20. Spirit. 50. Strength. 105. Agility. 20. Health points. 1,190. Mana. 590. Attack power. 152. Magic attack. 100. Defense. 162. SPD. 92. Critical strike rate. 0. This was Chu Bai's current stats. Level 8 HP exceeded 1000. However, his attack power was too low. Chu Bai was not satisfied with this. Therefore, what Chu Bai was most unhappy about was that he did not get a swordsman weapon. He was still using a beginner's sword. Even though some players were at least using steel swords by now. The last bronze weapon was a level 5 assassin's dagger, and it had little to do with Chu Bai. HM? A skill book? Chu Bai looked at a book on the ground. Flaming Triple Slash Skill Book. After using it, you can obtain the skill, Flaming Triple Slash. Chu Bai only had Swordsman Slash and Ode of the Phoenix, so he needed a skill. Chu Bai crushed the book and used it. Ding. You have learned the skill, Flaming Triple Slash. 
Flaming Triple Slash, a Blade Master skill that does not need to be charged up. It has strong attack power and is an area of effect skill. Effect. The Flaming Triple Slash is divided into three parts. The first part is a Flame Slash with a range of 5 meters, dealing damage equal to current attack power to enemies within a straight line of 5 meters. The second part is a Horizontal Slash, dealing current attack power damage to enemies within a distance of 5 meters and a width of 5 meters. The third part is a Leap Slash. When it lands on the ground, it deals 2 asterisk current attack power damage to all enemies within a 5 meter radius. It also has a knockback effect. Each attack of the skill has a 10% chance of causing a burn effect. Lasts for 3 seconds, decreasing 100 HP per second. Mana cost, 100. Cooldown, 30 seconds. It's only 30 seconds of cooldown? Chubai was stunned. After so many years of gaming experience, such a powerful skill would be ridiculous if it did not have at least a 2 minute cooldown. In total, it would deal 4 times the damage of his attack power, not to mention the burn effect and control effect. Swordsman Slash had a 10 second cooldown. The Flaming Triple Slash had a 30 second cooldown. This could easily be a skill that he often used. There was nothing else on the ground now. Then, Chu by squatted down and cast Gather on the corpse. Ding. Target has no item to collect. Chubai stood up. Great Bai Yi, are you selling the equipment? Someone came over and asked. That's right. Are you selling your silver and bronze equipment? I'll buy them. I'll pay 30,000 for bronze equipment. I'll pay 100,000 for the silver. TSK, you want to buy silver equipment for 100,000? Aren't you being too stingy? I'll pay 200,000. There were still some rich players among the players. After all, after playing the games for a few years, some people might be lucky enough to encounter a piece of valuable equipment that was worth tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of yuan. Of course, it depended on the game period. In the early stages, bronze, silver, and gold were very valuable, but in the later stages, they were naturally worthless. The reason why people bought them in the early stages was, firstly, for their safety so they would not die easily. Secondly, if they had higher attributes, they had a chance to become an expert. They could walk faster and further than others. They're not for sale. After Chu Bai finished speaking, he walked away. Then, he sent a message to Jiang Yue Qianying and sent the attributes of the bronze equipment and the gold grade flame staff. Are you buying? Chu Bai asked. It was obvious that the price offered by Jiang Yue Qianying was more satisfactory than any of those players. I'll buy it. 40,000 for the Flame Dagger, and 1.2 million for the Flame Staff. What do you think? In theory, a gold grade weapon was more valuable. However, this was only a level 5 gold grade weapon. Chubai felt that this price was not a problem. Chubai replied, All right, I'll go back and find a place to trade with you later. No problem. I'll prepare the money. A group of players suddenly rushed over to the place Chubai was a moment ago. Where is he? Did you see Bai Yi? Old Dream Tian Yu looked at the players and asked, Bai Yi just left. He just got a gold weapon. Does anyone want to follow me to kill Bai Yi? After we kill him, the equipment will belong to whoever gets it. Old Dream Tian Yu asked. When everyone heard this, they were extremely tempted. Me, 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 me. I'll go too. That Bai Yi just left us in the lurch. He was so powerful but he insisted that we go first to reduce the boss's HP and send us to our deaths before attacking. Speaking of which, didn't you guys tell him not to attack because you were afraid that he would kill steal the monster? Let's go. Old Dream Tian Yu and Tian Xing led a group of people to chase after Chu Bai. Soon, they saw Chu Bai farming monsters in front of them. Bai Yi. Old Dream Tian Yu stared at Chu Bai. Surround him. Yes. In an instant, Hundreds of players surrounded Chu Bai with the help of the relatively flat terrain. Old Dream Tian Yu had been waiting for this moment for a long time, although it had only been a few hours. To him, however, every second felt like a year. When had he ever experienced this in the game? With his status as the hall leader of the Feng Ling dynasty, he would be looked up to wherever he went. However, Bai Ye's appearance made him lose face. He wished he could get his revenge as soon as possible. The past few hours had been hard on him. However, everything was fine now. 
Bai Yi was right in front of him, and he was surrounded. Chu Bai looked at them and smiled. Do you still want the blood-weeping demon sword? These two are right beside you. Chu Bai said to the players. Of course they wanted it. But, haha, Bai Yi, do you think they will help you? Why would the people of the Fengling dynasty help you? Blood-weeping demon sword? I'll kill you and give them the sword. Old Dream Tian Yu sneered. Chu Bai laughed. With just you guys? Before this, none of you had the ability. What right do you have now? Wu. Lil Shuer, who was on Chu Bai's shoulder, called out to them provocatively. Ha ha. Why? Then, Old Dream Tian Yu took out the scroll. Is this force stun scroll enough to convince you? Hearing this, the surrounding people revealed surprised expressions. I was wondering why the Hall Master came looking for Bai Yi. So it turns out that he has this scroll. I've heard of it before. It seems to be a 10 second stun. After being stunned for 10 seconds, you won't even know how you died. Bai Yi is dead for sure. Chu Bai frowned slightly. Could he have brought this thing into this game? Ha 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 ha. Old Dream Tian Yu laughed. Are you afraid? Who asked you to provoke me? Go to hell. After saying that, he directly crushed the four stun scroll and targeted Chu Bai. Ding. You have been stunned. Last for 10 seconds. This system notification sounded in Chu Bai's mind. Ha 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 ha. On the other side, Old Dream Tian Yu laughed loudly. Then, his eyes focused on Chu Bai. This is what you get for messing with me. Whoosh. He drew his bronze sword. Go to hell. He did not plan to let anyone else take action. He could kill Chu Bai alone in 10 seconds. The other people's arrival was purely to make him feel safer. However, suddenly, a white light erupted from Chu Bai's body. Woo. Lil Shuer cried out and released her Holy Spirit Light. Holy Spirit Light. The power of the Holy Spirit bestows upon the world. Effect. Releases the Holy Spirit Light for 10 seconds, enveloping up to 5 units including the user. Removes all negative effects and restores 10% of maximum HP every second. At the same time, immunity to all negative effects for 10 seconds. Mana cost, 1000. Cooldown, 2 minutes. Ding. You have removed the stun effect. Chu Bai opened his eyes. What? Old Dream Tian Yu and all the other players who rushed over revealed expressions of disbelief. How? How did he remove the control effect? That's a Divine Emperor level scroll. Even a Divine Emperor level beast would have to stand there obediently for 10 seconds to be stunned. How did he? It's his pet. It's his pet skill. It's that Calamity Fox that removed his control. He only saw a playful smile on Chu Bai's face. Flaming Triple Slash. Chu Bai slashed at Old Dream Tian Yu. He dodged the vertical flaming sword. However, the second horizontal sword attack successfully hit. Minus 290. A huge damage instantly reduced two-thirds of his health bar. With the third strike, Chu Bai leaped and smashed at the old Dream Tian Yu with flames. This strike was like heavenly lightning. No. Old Dream Tian Yu's pupils constricted violently, but he could no longer dodge. At the last moment, old Dream Tian Yu took out a scroll and crushed it. His figure disappeared from the spot. You guys are really happy using my things. After Chu Bai landed and saw him disappear, he muttered coldly in his heart. Then, he looked at the players who surrounded him. Gulp. They could not help but gulp. Holding his weapon, Chu Bai considered what to do. Then, Chu Bai looked at Tian Xing. Gulp. Tian Xing gulped. UF Asterisk King Old Dream Tian Yu. You had a spatial scroll in your hands. You're selling me out. Tian Xing muttered angrily in his heart. Then, he saw Chu Bai rush toward him. Tian Xing was shocked. Attack! Attack! Stop him! Tian Xing shouted in panic as he ran into the distance. Attack? The players from the Fengling dynasty were not idiots. Who would dare to step up? If their leader ran away, they would not be able to move. Chu Bai chased after Tian Xing without any obstruction. Tian Xing shouted in horror as he ran. Attack! I'll give all my assets to whoever steps up. Go! Attack! My asterisk SS. I'll just be taking a bullet for you. I don't dare. I'm not stupid. If we're up against a normal player, we could have stepped up, but who can stop Bai Yi? 
Even if I revived after dying, why should I believe that you would fulfill your promise? I'm not stopping him. Everyone was muttering under their breaths. Haste. Chu Bai activated the flaming war boots haste skill. His speed increased by 50%, and he quickly approached Tian Xing. Mountain crushing slash. Seeing that Chu Bai had caught up to him, Tian Xing jumped up and slashed at Chu Bai. Minus one. He was dumbfounded. One point of mandatory damage? What is this? He had 70 attack power, and Mountain Crushing Slash's damage increased that by 50%. The damage was close to 100 points, but it only dealt one mandatory damage to him? Chu Bai's Gold Grade Heavenly Demon Armor was not for show. After all, it was a Gold Grade equipment. In the early stages, if you did not have Gold Grade weapon, what right did you have to break through the defense of a Gold Grade armor? If you want to break through my defense, you have to at least have a silver grade equipment, right? Otherwise, why would gold grade equipment be so valuable? Whoosh. Chu Bai stabbed him in the chest. Minus 293. The huge damage emptied four fifths of his health bar. Ah. Tian Xing screamed and slipped to the ground. Chu Bai landed beside him and placed the sword by his neck. Gulp. Tian Xing gulped. Don't. Bai Yi. Bai Yi. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Tian Xing lay there in fear, not daring to move. Because of his fear, his face was twitching. Of course he was afraid. He had already died once. If he died again, he would really die. Now you know how to beg for mercy? Chu Bai sneered at Tian Xing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was really wrong. It's old dream Tian Yu. He kept asking me to deal with you. I'm sorry, Bai Yi. Please spare my life. I'll do anything you want me to. Minus 291. Before he could finish his last word, Chu Bai's sword slashed his neck and emptied his health bar. Gulp. The players in the distance could not help but gulp. Tian Xing was dead? Although they often saw players die, some people felt that the death of these players was a distant thing. Tian Xing was one of them. Although he was not in the top 20 of the leaderboard, he was still the vice hall master of the White Tiger Hall of the Fengling Dynasty. He was still in the top 100. The nation had 2 billion people. Excluding those who did not enter, there were still more than 1 billion players. It was already very impressive to be ranked in the top few hundred among the 1 billion players. However, such a person had been killed, and by the same person twice in a row. Tian Xing is really dead. Although it's normal to die, who would have thought that he would die in the starter village? He could only have died at the hands of a powerful monster. He was actually killed in the starter village. But it's over for Bai Yi. He killed the White Tiger Hall's vice hall master. This grudge has been formed with Feng Ling Dynasty. There are not many members in the starter village right now. Once he leaves the starter village, there will be members of the Feng Ling Dynasty wherever there are players. They might be able to gather tens of thousands of people in an hour. He won't be able to play in the future. Phew. Phew. After old dream Tianyu left, he sat down, panting heavily. He was so close to death just now. Fortunately, he had the space scroll from the world that allowed him to travel anywhere within a thousand meters. Otherwise, he would have been a corpse by now. However, when old dream Tianyu thought of Feng Ling, he gulped. He glanced at the message from his friend. Tian Xing was killed. His pupils dilated. That Bai Yi really dared to kill the core members of the Feng Ling dynasty? Following that, Old Dream Tian Yu used his communicator to call Feng Ling. How was it? Feng Ling asked instantly after picking up the call. He thought that there should be no problem. President, Tian Xing is dead. Old Dream Tian Yu said. I asked you if Bai Yi is dead. Feng Ling did not seem to care about the life and death of his people. No, we failed. Trash. Feng Ling cursed. President, Bai Ye's pet seems to have a skill that can dispel control effects. Originally, Bai Ye was already stunned, and killing him was a matter of time. But, who would have thought that a grade 7 pet in the starter village could dispel control effects? It dispelled a divine, emperor-level scroll. Feng Ling clenched his fists. President, you really can't blame me for this. No one expected such a situation to happen. Feng Ling took a deep breath and asked, Where's the Blazing Fire Scroll? It can't kill him either? Blazing Fire Scroll. There was no time to use it at all. I couldn't even take it out. 
President, I only have 150 HP left. I need to watch out or I'll get killed by him, Old Dream Tianyu said sadly. 150 HP? What nonsense is this? Can he take out 150 HP in one hit? He took 300 HP in one hit. Why? Phew. Feng Ling took a deep breath. Trash. If you can't kill Bai Yi, you can forget about being the White Tiger Hall's Hall Master. Feng Ling hung up. On the other side, Chu Bai carried Lil Shuer on his shoulder and continued deeper into the Flame Valley. Lil Shuer here? Chu Bai handed a meat bun to Lil Shuer. Woo. Lil Shuer cried out happily and sat on Chu Bai's shoulder. The two little paws in front of her held the meat buns as she ate happily. She was too cute. This little fox was too cute. Even a man like Chu Bai found her adorable. It was all thanks to Lil Shuer that he was able to survive this time. Moreover, Chu Bai could not understand why Lil Shuer's favorability toward him was 90 points when she first recognized him as her master. Ordinary pets would only have a favorability of about 60 after they recognized their master. If it was below a certain level, the pet would leave the master-servant contract. This was also the only way to terminate the master-servant relationship other than the death of the pet. Eat more. There's still more after you're done eating, Chu Bai said with a smile. Woo. Lil Shuer kissed Chu Bai's neck. Chu Bai smiled and carried her on his shoulder. Scorching Sunflower a spirit herb that lives in a scorching place. The entire flame valley is suitable for the growth of the scorching sunflower, but you have to find a place where the sun can't shine. Chu Bai muttered to himself. The plant lived in a hot area, but no sunlight could shine on it. This was the environment where the scorching sunflower grew. In front of him, the monsters had generally reached level 8, which was nothing to Chu Bai. Woo. At this moment, Lil Shuer kept calling out to Chu Bai. Hmm? Is something there? Chu Bai turned his head and glanced at Lil Shuer on his shoulder. Woo. Lil Shuer jumped down from Chu Bai's shoulder and ran forward. Wait for me, Shuer. Chu Bai chased after her. After running for a while, Lil Shuer turned her head to check on Chu Bai's position before continuing to run forward. Did Lil Shuer discover the scorching sunflower? Soon, Lil Shuer brought Chu Bai to a cave. In the pitch black and scorching cave, a fiery red flower grew in a corner. Chu Bai looked over. Scorching sunflower. Chu Bai revealed a pleasantly surprised expression and quickly walked over. Scorching sunflower. Grade. Demon. A spiritual medicine that grows in hot areas. It has very magical effects. Woo. Lil Shuer was still calling out to Chu Bai nonstop. Yes? When Chu Bai saw that Lil Shuer was about to continue walking into the cave, he frowned. Didn't you bring me here for the scorching sunflower? Lil Shuer nodded. Wait for me. I'll collect the scorching sunflower first. Chu Bai squatted beside the scorching sunflower and cast gather. Ding. Gathering failed. Gathering proficiency increased. Ding. Gathering failed. Gathering proficiency increased. Ding. Your gathering skill has been upgraded to level 2. Previously, he had used gathering many times to collect the Heavenly Demon Cat Emperor's Eggs, so there was nothing unusual with it upgrading to level 2. Gathering Skill Basic class skills for players Can be used to gather plants, items from dead monsters, crystals, and so on. Currently has a 100% chance of successfully collecting bronze items, a 100% chance of successfully collecting silver items, a 30% chance of successfully collecting gold items, a 3% chance of successfully collecting demon items, a 0.1% chance of successfully collecting celestial items, a 0.01% chance of collecting divine emperor items, and a 0% chance of collecting super divine items. No cooldown. No mana consumption. Current level. 2. Level 1 gathering had a 1% chance of collecting demon items. Now, it had improved quite a bit. Ding. Gathering failed. Ding. You have successfully collected Scorching Sunflower. Chu Bai picked up the scorching sunflower and looked at it before putting it into his spatial ring. This mission was considered completed. Lil Shuer was still waiting for Chu Bai. Seeing that Chu Bai had finished collecting, she called out and ran inside. Wait for me. Chu Bai hurriedly chased after her. After Chu Bai chased after her, he saw Lil Shuer stopping in front of a wall. Lil Shuer called out to Chu Bai. What happened? 
Chu Bai asked doubtfully. However, at this moment, the broken glass in his interspatial ring flew out on its own. What? Seeing this scene, Chu Bai was shocked. He had never seen such a phenomenon before. The shattered glass shone with seven colored light and pierced through the wall. At the same time, the entire wall became like water. Woo! Lil Shuer looked at Chu Bai and called out, then jumped in. Lil Shuer! Chu Bai shouted and found that Lil Shuer had passed through the wall and disappeared from his sight. Chu Bai did not hesitate and instantly stepped in. The moment he stepped in, he felt that he had lost his footing. He was falling. Chu Bai opened his eyes. Below him, Lil Shuer was continuously descending. Chu Bai was also constantly descending. This sense of weightlessness was especially terrifying. Chu Bai tried his best to stabilize himself in the air and sized up his surroundings. This was a bottomless pit. The surroundings were pitch black, and the ground below was also pitch black, as if there was no end to it. The speed of his descent increased. It's over. Am I going to fall to my death? Chu Bai thought in panic. No, I don't think so. He thought of Lil Shuer's anxious expression when she brought him over here. Chu Bai was willing to believe that there was no danger. However, to be safe, Chu Bai still forcefully put Lil Shuer into his pet space. If there was a problem, at least Chu Bai could be resurrected. However, if Lil Shuer died, she would really die. As for the resurrection technique, it was better not to use it in such a situation. Seconds ticked by. Chu Bai felt that he had fallen for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes of free fall. God knows how high it was. At this moment, Chu Bai saw the light below. He also saw the ground. Hey, are you really not going to slow me down? Chu Bai suddenly shouted at the air. Suddenly, Chu Bai saw the broken glass emitting light below. Then, the light enveloped Chu Bai. His falling speed instantly slowed down, becoming slower and slower, and then, he stabilized on the ground. Chu Bai reached out to catch the broken glass. What's going on? Why did the broken glass break free by itself and even release a power that was not mentioned in the introduction? Chu Bai frowned. Could it be Long Shue? This was an item that Ling Long Shue had given him. Chu Bai held the broken glass and looked around. It was not a big space. There was nothing outstanding about it. There was only a closed door. Chu Bai walked over to the door and let Lil Shuer out. Lil Shuer, do you know this place? Chu Bai asked. Woo. Lil Shuer shook her head. Then why did you bring me here? Lil Shuer called out again. Chu Bai had a master servant relationship with her. Even if he did not understand her language, Chu Bai could roughly understand what she meant. Lil Shuer probably meant that there was a familiar aura here, but she did not know what it was. She could not remember anything. An aura familiar to Lil Shuer, Chu Bai muttered. He had seen Lil Shuer's terrifying ability. The thing that Lil Shuer was familiar with must not be ordinary. Chu Bai walked to the huge stone door that was dozens of meters tall. On it was engraved patterns that Chu Bai could not see clearly. How do I open it? Everything in the game had a system restriction. For example, if you want to enter a house, you could not enter unless it was on a free map. Another example was that even if one's attributes were very high, it was impossible to chop down a tree or tear down a house. Simply put, if one did not have a destruction attribute, a specific house, tree, or stone would be almost invincible. For example, this door. From Chu Bai's perspective, this door had 8 billion health points. It was clearly impossible for Chu Bai to break this door. At this moment, the broken glass shot out a white light and entered the stone door. Crack. Crack. The huge stone door slowly opened. Chu Bai simply could not understand what this place had to do with the broken glass. How could an ultimate resurrection tool be used as a key to a place? Unless. Impossible. Long Shue was a player from Blue Planet. How could she possibly use some new power to interfere with the broken glass? How did she know about the Destiny Continent two years ago? Chu Bai knew that there must be a huge secret somewhere. Chu Bai brought Lil Shuer in. Beyond it was nothing but a huge plain space. Only an altar-like platform in the center was high above the ground. There were thousands of steps leading up. Chu Bai looked up. He could not see anything, but he could vaguely see a black and red light above him. Woo! Lil Shuer called out to Chu Bai. Are you familiar with the smell? 
Chubai asked. Lil Schwer nodded with her cute little head. All right, I'll go take a look. Chubai walked up step by step. A few minutes later, Chubai finally walked to the topmost altar. Hmm. What he saw was a sword emitting a black red light. This sword was inserted into a crack in the stone of the platform. What a neat sword. Chubai sighed. This was a weapon similar to a heavy sword, but it was definitely not a heavy sword in the truest sense. It was not as wide or big. It was somewhere between a light sword and a heavy sword. Including the hilt, it was about 1.5 meters long and 20 centimeters wide. Its entire body was black-red, giving off a demonic feeling, especially when it emitted a black-red or red-brown light. The hilt was black, and there were incomprehensible patterns on it. There were seven complicated patterns circling the sword. In addition, there were three holes in the sword. The seven lines and three holes were all dark. Chu Bai used the scanning technique. The name of this sword. Calamity itself was a word that no one liked. It represented disaster. Whether it was the sword's aura, name, or color, they all made Chu Bai feel uncomfortable. Chu Bai took a step forward and approached the god slaying Calamity. Chu Bai naturally would not pass up on such an ownerless and seemingly powerful weapon. He tentatively reached out and held the god slaying Calamity. At that instant, a black and red light erupted, enveloping Chu Bai's entire body. Chu Bai's eyes instantly turned bloodshot and his body trembled. He subconsciously wanted to let go, but there seemed to be a force controlling him to pull the sword out. Lil Shuer stood at the side and looked at Chu Bai, crying out. However, Chu Bai did not seem to hear her at all. One hand was moving out, while his other hand gradually approached the hilt. Chu Bai subconsciously wanted to stop himself from pulling out the sword, but in the end, he still held it with both hands. Ah! Along with Chu Bai's involuntary shout, the god-slaying calamity was completely pulled out. Ding! You have obtained the weapon, god-slaying calamity. Ding! Player Bai Yi, please take note. Your current state is very dangerous. Please log off as soon as possible. Ding! Player Bai Yi, please take note. Lil Shuer circled around Chu Bai, looking quite worried. Whoosh! A ray of light was released from her body and enveloped Chu Bai. At this moment, Chu Bai's bloodshot eyes gradually returned to normal. He looked at the sword in his hand. Whoosh! Lil Shuer jumped onto Chu Bai's shoulder and stuck out her tongue to gently lick his neck. I'm fine now. Chu Bai gently patted Lil Shuer and said gently. Then, he looked at the attributes of the God Slaying Calamity in his hand. God Slaying Calamity, Grade, Demon Master, by Yi. Usage Level, Zero. Usage Requirements. Cannot be discarded, traded, or dropped. A mysterious divine artifact that appeared out of nowhere. This divine artifact fell to the destiny continent and was sealed here as if it was waiting for someone to appear. It has a calamity artifact. It uses the origin of seven sins and the three beads of chaos as its power core. Current status incomplete. Attributes luck plus 10, comprehension plus 10, charm plus 10. 4 basic attributes plus 10. Attack power plus 100. Passive skill. God's punishment. All attacks. All offensive skills. Ignore level. Ignore grade. 100% hit rate. Infinite region. All attacks. All offensive skills. Regardless of level and grade. Will ignore 100% defense. Divine slaughter. All attacks. All offensive skills. Ignore levels. Ignore grades. Has a 10% chance to cause 200% damage. 1% chance to cause 1,000% damage, 0.1% chance to cause 10,000% damage, 0.01% to cause 1 million percent damage, and 0.001 to cause 1 billion percent damage. Calamity. Experience required to level up by 100%. Active skills. Calamity. Sloth. Sloth origin of the seven sins is missing. Effect unknown. Cannot be used. Calamity. Wrath. Wrath Origin of the Seven Sins is Missing. Effect Unknown. Cannot be used. Calamity. Pride. Pride Origin of the Seven Sins is Missing. Effect Unknown. Cannot be used. Calamity. Greed. Greed Origin of the Seven Sins is Missing. Effect Unknown. Cannot be used. Calamity. Gluttony. Gluttony Origin of the Seven Sins is Missing. 
effect unknown, cannot be used. Calamity, envy, envy origin of the seven sins is missing. Effect unknown, cannot be used. Calamity, lust, lust origin of the seven sins is missing. Effect unknown, cannot be used. Extreme void skill, seal, god punisher, the three cores of power are missing. Effect unknown, cannot be used. Extreme void skill, seal, divine weep, the three cores of power are missing. Effect unknown, cannot be used. Extreme void skill, seal, heaven defying, the three cores of power are missing. Effect unknown, cannot be used. Calamity skill, calamity, return to zero, all power sources are lost. Effect unknown, cannot be used. Chubai was stunned. What? Was this the attribute of a demon weapon? You're kidding, right? It ignored defense and has a hit rate of 100%. These two attributes were not something that could be encountered every day. After so many years of gaming experience, Chubai had never met anyone with such attributes. Divine Slaughter 10% chance to deal double damage, 1% chance to deal 10 times the damage, 0.1% chance to deal 100 times the damage, and even up to a million times the damage. This was a passive skill. Then, there were 11 active skills. What? Ridiculous. Therefore, this is not a demon weapon at all. It was only demoted to a demon weapon because it lacked these power cores, Chu Bai muttered to himself. Even though Chu Bai did not know the effects of many of his skills, he was certain that this was the strongest weapon. Moreover, it also had a total of 30 points of fixed attributes. With a thought, Chu Bai planned to put the weapon into his spatial ring. However, the god slaying calamity directly transformed into a black red light and drilled itself into Chu Bai's wrist. A black red sword pattern appeared on Chu Bai's wrist. Phew. Chu Bai took a deep breath. He never thought that he would get such a sword. Lil Shuer, do you know where the source of the power of god slaying calamity is? Chu Bai asked Lil Shuer. After all, she was the one who brought Chu Bai here. Lil Schwer might have some kind of relationship with this god slaying calamity. It was even possible that his girlfriend was related to this weapon. Lil Schwer shook her little head. Forget it. Just the passive skill of this weapon is worth it. Even if he was given a gold grade weapon, he would not use it. Although its attack power was high, if he could not enjoy the passive effects, it would not be as good as god slaying calamity. He could not equip equipment of a higher grade anyway. After equipping God Slaying Calamity, Chu Bai's attributes increased exponentially, especially his attack power. Character Bai Yi. Level 9. Title None. Hunger 69. Reputation 211,000. Three fixed attributes Luck 25. Charm 25. Comprehension 25. Four basic attributes. Constitution, 30, Spirit, 60, Strength, 115, Agility, 30, Health Points, 1290, Mana, 690, Attack Power, 260, Magic Attack, 120, Defense, 182, Movement Speed, 112, Critical Strike Rate, 0%. Chu Bai then looked around. How do we get out? Woo. Lil Schwer called out to Chu Bai before running to the other side. Chu Bai ran over and a teleportation array appeared. Then, Chu Bai and Lil Schwer stepped in together. Whoosh. With a flash of light, Chu Bai appeared in the cave. Let's go back. Then, Chu Bai put away Lil Schwer and rushed to the beginner village. Not long after, Chu Bai arrived at the pharmacy. I'm looking for the boss, Chu Bai said to Wu Shu. The boss is inside. Thanks a lot. Chu Bai walked over. Huang Exian crossed her legs, revealing her fair thighs as she sat there reading. Seeing Chu Bai enter, she put down her book. Any progress on the scorching sunflower? Huang Exian asked. Chu Bai took out the flower. You actually found it. She was secretly surprised and took the scorching sunflower. These are three leaf of life and three flowers of strength. Chu Bai took it. Ding. Congratulations on completing the mission, searching for the scorching sunflower. Thanks a lot, Chu Bai said. Yes, it's fine now, Huang Exian said. Chu Bai prepared to leave, but
but he was still brooding over the water of life inside. Boss, is there any way I can get the water of life? Money, Huang Exian said calmly. Apart from the money? I mean, like if Boss Huang Exian needs help in any way. If I can do it, can I get the water of life? Chu Bai asked. Huang Exian looked up at Chu Bai again. Actually, yes. If you can take me away from this place, I'll give you the water of life. Ding. Congratulations on triggering the soul hidden quest in the starter village. Leave starter village 7777. Mission reward. Water of life. Mission duration. Unlimited. Do you accept? Was that even possible? Chubai knew that the starter village was protected by a special power. Although Chubai did not know how Huang Xian, the heavenly demon cat emperor, and even Lil Shuer came to the novice village, according to what Chubai knew, there was no power that could make them leave the novice village. Only players could enter the real destiny continent after reaching level 10. NPCs like them definitely could not. Forget it, that's impossible. I've already used the water of life, so it has no use for me. If you want it, I can give you a chance. Please go on. Huang Xian continued, There's a treasure on this continent called the Strength Gem. Although I know that it might not exist in the beginner village, if you can encounter it, I can use the water of life to exchange for the Strength Gem. She did not have high expectations when she said this. After all, she had only seen such a thing once in the Destiny continent. Strength Gem? Is that what Boss is talking about? Chu Bai took out the red strength gem. Rumble. Huang Xian's beautiful eyes widened, and she instantly sat up from her chair. Her beautiful eyes stared fixedly at the strength gem in Chu Bai's hand. Huang Xian stared blankly at the strength gem in Chu Bai's hand. She had never expected such a weak person to have a treasure like a strength gem in such a place. The strength gem was a very rare and powerful treasure. No matter how strong you were, as long as you had a strength gem, you could double your strength. She needed the strength gem because she wanted to test if she could open a path back to the destiny continent with all her methods. After calming down, Huang Xian looked at Chu Bai with her beautiful eyes. I can exchange the water of life for the strength gem? To Chu Bai, the strength gem was indeed very powerful, but the strength gem was a consumable. Now, look at this gemstone. It was still the size of a ping pong ball. However, it will become smaller and smaller with every use. It will probably be used up soon. Every time he used an attack, the strength gem would consume a wisp of its energy. It was definitely not a problem to exchange a consumable that could not last two months for a permanent water of life. Okay. Chu Bai nodded. Huang Xian took the strength gem. Go inside and get the water of life. Then, Chu Bai walked in. With the water of life in hand, Chu Bai did not even hesitate to directly consume it. Ding. You have used the water of life. You are permanently immune to all negative effects. Awesome. Chu Bai walked out. Thank you, boss, said Chu Bai. You're welcome. I've also gotten what I wanted. However, this deal is indeed good value for you. There aren't many people in the entire destiny continent who have a divine item like the water of life. Its effects are extremely powerful. In the future, when you enter the Destiny Continent, it will help you a lot. Chu Bai nodded. All right, go ahead. I'll take my leave. Yeah. After that, Chu Bai walked out. Huang Xian looked in the direction Chu Bai left. That kid is not a simple one. She muttered meaningfully. Walking out, Chu Bai saw Jiang Yue Qinying waiting outside. Bai Yi. Jiang Yue Qinying walked over. Hmm. These two pieces of equipment, Chu, Bai then took out the gold flame staff and the bronze flame dagger. Zhang Yue Qinying accepted it and immediately traded 1,240,000 gold coins to Chu Bai. Thanks a lot, she said to Chu Bai. It's mutually beneficial, Chu Bai said. If there's any good equipment in the future, I hope the great Chu Bai can still trade it to me, Zhang Yue Qinying said. Chu Bai nodded. Yes, it's negotiable if the price is right. No problem. I'll go level up first. Then, she left. Is she opening a studio? Chu Bai looked at her back and muttered to himself. There were basically three ways to collect equipment. The first was to collect equipment by yourself. The second was to have a guild. The money would be paid by the guild. They would search everywhere for good equipment to increase the guild's strength. 
The other type was the studio. In real life, if you created a studio and had employees, you would not have a lot of employees. Instead, equipment would be purchased to increase the overall strength of the members. This way, whether it was completing quests or obtaining the first clear of bosses, you could earn back the money by having their powerful attributes. Generally speaking, the members of a studio were not ordinary players. Chubai planned to continue farming, but then a system notification came. Ding, you have been online for nearly eight hours. Please rest. Everyone could only be online for eight hours a day. After eight hours, they would be forced to go offline. As for Chubai, he only had less than half an hour before eight hours. He would not be able to level up much with this little time. Let's go offline and rest. Then, Chubai looked at the equipment in the game. He could choose to bring everything into reality, but he had nothing to bring with him. Then, he chose to go offline. With a flash of light, Chubai disappeared from the beginner village. At home, a white light flashed and Chubai appeared. Phew. He took a deep breath and stretched his muscles. His strength had increased significantly compared to when he had just entered the game. This was because in the game, whether it was the increase in level or attributes, it would affect reality. However, after the game ended, everything returned to normal. Chubai raised his hand and saw the symbol of God slaying calamity on his wrist. With a thought, God slaying calamity appeared in his hand. It's amazing. This was the first time Chubai had encountered something like this. In the past, he could bring things from the game to reality, but in reality, he could not summon what he wanted with just a thought. He did not expect this sword to be able to do so. Let's go eat. On the other side. Ah, I'm so tired. A girl stretched and walked out of the room. Sister Chien, you went offline too? She looked at a mature-looking beauty who had just walked out of the room. Then, the girl silently lowered her head and looked at her chest. She silently straightened her chest and stretched out her hand to size it up. Yes, we can only log in for eight hours a day. We're the first to log in, so we basically log out at the same time. Did Qingyu log out too? Jiang Qingyue asked. Crack. The door of the other room with three bedrooms and one living room opened, and a girl with an extremely thin waist, wearing black shorts and a tube top, walked out. Liu Yufan's beautiful eyes stared at Yu Qingyu's chest. Then, she silently straightened her back and said, Whoa, Sister Qingyu, what are you doing? You're dressed so skimpily at home. Yu Qingyu's sharp eyes looked over. If you don't dress properly at home, would you go out dressed like this? Hmm, that's true. Liu Yufan nodded like a little bird pecking at rice. Fan Fan, why are you still wearing such thick pajamas at home? You can just wear a tank top. There's floor heating, Jiang Qinyue said to Liu Yufan. Ah, I, 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 I'll dress more comfortably. Ah, ha, 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 Liu Yufan said with an awkward smile. Yu Qingyu leaned over and asked Liu Yufan, What's wrong? Is your back uncomfortable? Ah, no, no, no. Liu Yufan stopped moving forward. Jiang Qinyue said, Come over and have a meeting. Okay. The two of them sat down at the table. Jiang Qinyue poured them a cup of tea and sat down. Qingyu Fan Fan, what level are you at? Jiang Qinyue asked. Yu Qingyu said indifferently, level 6. Her indifferent tone was definitely not because she was cold to them, but because her personality was like this. She did not like to talk and did not show much emotion. Level 6, not bad. How about Fan Fan? Liu Yufan lowered her head and mumbled. I'm only level 5. Jiang Qinyue nodded. I'm also at level 6, so level 5 is fine. Water-type mages don't deal much damage anyway, so I can tell that you're working very hard. Hee hee, thank you, Sister Qin. Liu Yufan smiled happily. Then, Jiang Qinyue looked at Yu Qingyu and asked, How much are you short of? 50% experience. I'll definitely level up to level 8 or 9 tomorrow. It's too difficult to level up destiny. It'll take 2 to 3 days to get to level 10. Zhang Qinyue nodded, then looked at Liu Yufan and said, Yes, Fan Fan, I bought you a piece of gold equipment. You can use it when we get out of the beginner village. Although it's more suitable for fire mages, there are only the three of us in our studio at the moment. Wow! Liu Yufan exclaimed, her big eyes twinkling like stars. Sister Qian, gold equipment? Where did you get it? 
Yu Qingyu also looked at Jiang Qinyue curiously. I'm in the same beginner village as Bai Yi. I bought it from him. It's not very expensive. I also bought a bronze dagger for Qingyu. Yu Qingyu said, Thank you, Sister Qian. Sister Qian, you're so beautiful. I love you to death. Lu Yufan leaned over and kissed her on the cheek. Jiang Qinyue smiled helplessly. He he he, Sister Qian, is Bai Yi handsome? Lu Yufan asked expectantly. I don't know. He's wearing a mask, but he's definitely an expert. Then she asked, What talent did you awaken? Lu Yufan said, I'm an SS level talent, air skill. There's only a 30% chance of cooling down after releasing the skill. He, this is amazing. Yu Qingyu and Jiang Qianyue were both impressed. He he he. Lu Yufan stuck out her pink tongue. Then, Yu Qingyu said, I also got an SS level talent. Heavy injury. All attacks deal an additional 10% damage, and there's a 10% chance that the damage will double. At the same time, there's a 10% chance that there's a heavy injury effect. Healing is diabled for 10 seconds. Excellent. To an assassin, your talent is like adding wings to a tiger. Zhang Qianyue nodded approvingly. And Sister Qian? Lu Yufan asked expectantly. I have an SS grade talent, armor penetration. Attack has a 10% chance of reducing the opponent's defense to zero for 15 seconds. Wow. Impressive. Lu Yufan exclaimed. Dong dong dong. At this moment, there was a knock on their door. Zhang Qianyue walked over. Crack. She opened the door. Huh. Chu Bai, who was at the door, was stunned when he saw this familiar face. Was the world so small? Was this not Jiang Yue Qianying? Zhang Qianyue also glanced at Chu Bai. He was a decent looking boy. Can I help you? Zhang Qianyue asked in confusion. Oh, I'm your neighbor. I just went out to eat and saw your house key in the door, so I knocked to remind you, Chu Bai said. Zhang Qianyue took a look and saw that the key was indeed in the door. Ah, I'm sorry. I forgot to pull it out. Lu Yufan walked over and apologized repeatedly. Zhang Qianyue said, It's fine. Just be careful in the future. Then, Zhang Qianyue looked at Chu Bai and said, Thank you. My name is Zhang Qianyue, and she is Lu Yufan. We just moved here yesterday. Please take care of us in the future. Chu Bai nodded. Then I'll take my leave first. Take care. Chu Bai nodded and left. Wow. There's a handsome neighbor we have, Lu Yufan said with a smile after closing the door. What's wrong? Have you fallen for him? Zhang Qianyue asked with a smile. No, I just feel that it's quite amazing. I see this kind of plot on television and in novels every day. I didn't expect to really encounter it in reality. Lu Yufan said. Zhang Qianyue said, We'll build a good relationship with him in the future. It's a good thing to have more friends. He just went out to eat, so he must have just logged off. Let's go eat. We won't be cooking today. It's quite tiring. Good. At the small restaurant downstairs, Chu Bai sat down and ordered rice. This small restaurant had a total of eight tables. There were noodles, rice, and stir fried vegetables. The taste was not bad and it was nearby. Chu Bai was too lazy to cook, so he came here to eat. It was not mealtime yet, so Chu Bai was the only customer. Sister Qian, I'm just putting this out there. How can I make my breasts bigger? Ah, I don't really care about this. I'm not a kid. I'm just asking casually. The three girls chatted as they pushed open the door and walked in. Chu Bai turned his head, and they also saw Chu Bai. Could these three all be his neighbors? The girl who walked in was a pure older sister with a stunning appearance and an explosive figure. Be it her voice or appearance, she was an older sister type. Moreover, there was nothing to fault about her. If she wore something like black silk, it would definitely be amazing. The other woman looked a little cold and arrogant. She was in her early twenties and was also unbelievably beautiful. Her eyes revealed a coldness and even a little spitefulness. Yes. To put it simply, she had a so-called high-level world-weary face. There was also a pure young girl who looked very innocent. She would definitely be the school bell in her university. The three of them were tall and had great figures. Ah, handsome neighbor, you're eating here too? Lu Yufan's eyes lit up when she saw Chu Bai. You guys are here too. Chu Bai casually greeted them. Perfect. Boss, 
get us a few dishes, Jiang Chenyue shouted. Then, they all sat at Chu Bai's table. Since we've met and Mr. Chu has helped us, it's not too much to treat Mr. Chu to a meal, right? Jiang Chenyue looked at Chu Bai. Then I'll accept the offer. They ordered four dishes and a soup. They even specially ordered a pig trotter for Chu Bai. Mr. Chu is also playing Destiny, right? Jiang Chenyue asked. Well, there are only a few people who don't play, Chu Bai said. Actually, it's not a small number. Those who don't play mostly can't because their age doesn't allow them to. Or they're worried about death. Or their families don't agree. All young people usually want to go to a strange new world to take risks. Chu Bai nodded. What's Mr. Chu's ID? What level are you at now? I've opened a studio. Currently, there are only the three of us. If Mr. Chu is willing, we can help each other. Chu Bai said, My abilities are average, so I would hold you back. Mr. Chu is too humble. At that moment, Lu Yufan said excitedly, Look, look at his, by Ye's ultimate. Wow, it's so cool. She pushed the phone over, and the few of them leaned over to take a look. It was the scene of Chu by releasing Skydance. How terrifying. He's only been in the game for a few hours, and he already has such a powerful move. Yu Qingyu said in surprise. I heard that it was obtained by triggering the hidden mission of the village chief. There must be something special with so many players, right? Lu Yufan pondered before looking at Jiang Qianyue and asking. Sister Qian, how's your relationship with Bai Yi? Jiang Qianyue replied, I've only met him twice. Are you friends? Jiang Qianyue nodded. Wow. Lu Yufan said excitedly. If we can pull Bai Yi to our studio, won't we be able to take off? Jiang Qianyue smiled. What are you thinking about? He's already willing to sell gold grade equipment. Do you think he'd be interested in a small studio like ours? Yu Qingyu asked, Sister Qian, how's his actual combat level? Have you seen it before? Jiang Qianyue shook her head. I've never seen him fight. Chu Bai did not say a word. The trending topic is all about Bai Yi. Oh my god, Bai Yi killed Tian Xing. What? They looked shocked and then looked over. Hot search ranking. Number one, Bai Yi. Number two, best of luck, God Bai. Number three, who is Bai Yi? How did he get the first kill on the Divine Emperor Beast? Number four, Bai Yi Gold Boss first kill, battle with Flaming Lion, attached video. Number five, shocking, Tian Xing was killed by Bai Yi, attached video. Number six, Pet Calamity Fox. Then, Lu Yufan clicked on the fifth most searched video. The video showed the scene of Chu by killing Tian Xing in the Flame Valley. There were many comments below. Dash, F asterisk CK. This Bai Yi is so ruthless. Tian Xing was actually killed by him. He's too ruthless. Ning Chong, I was there. I'm also from Starter Village number 77777. A few hours ago, Old Dream Tian Yu and Tian Xing were killed by Bai Yi and then were revived. Then, Old Dream Tian Yu and Tian Xing took powerful tools to find Bai Yi. Unexpectedly, the scroll that forced a 10 second stun was cancelled by Bai Ye's pet. Then, he killed Tian Xing originally. Old Dream Tian Yu faced imminent death, but he had a spatial scroll that saved him. Didn't Bai Yi offend the Fengling dynasty? God Bai has left us forever and now Bai Yi has appeared. Do you think Bai Yi will become the second god Bai? Bai Ye's fame has skyrocketed. He seems to be gaining momentum. Chu Bai looked at the video and sighed in his heart. Fortunately, he had the habit of wearing a mask. Otherwise, he would have become the target of everyone. The entire blue planet knew about him. In the real world, he had no ability at all. He could not escape from those who wanted to kill him. The three girls were no longer surprised that someone had died. However, they felt a little emotional when they saw that it was Tian Xing who had died. This pet looks amazing. Look at the video. Then, they clicked on the fourth trending topic, which was the video of Chu by fighting with the flaming lion. Wow. So cute. Lil Schwer's cuteness was unimaginable. Such a cute thing could never be seen in reality. As a girl, she had no resistance against cute things like Lil Schwer. I want it so bad, Lu Yufan said enviously. In the video, Chu Bai was fighting the flaming lion. His combat skills are also very strong. 
He's either a veteran player or a martial artist in reality, Yu Qingyu said. MM, and it seems that his talent is similar to unlimited skills. His lightning skill doesn't seem to have any mana consumption or cooldown. It's just that he can't use it unlimitedly when facing this flaming lion, Zhang Qinyue muttered. Zhang Qinyue then looked at Chu Bai and asked, Mr. Chu, what do you think? Ah, uh, cough cough, he's pretty powerful. Chu Bai nodded. Yu Qingyu also glanced at Chu Bai. Mr. Chu only said that Bai Yi is pretty powerful, not crazy powerful. At least in our eyes, Bai Yi is crazy powerful. So, is Mr. Chu a master himself? Girls were meticulous and especially sensitive with words. Ah, uh, Chu Bai touched the tip of his nose. It's just that he's very powerful. Chu Bai felt that it was not enough after saying this. Then, he said, the main reason is that I categorized him into the same category as many especially top-notch players. I was comparing to them, that's why I said he's pretty powerful. However, the fact that he subconsciously grouped Bai Yi with those top-notch masters means that Bai Yi is indeed very powerful. Chu Bai nodded. Yes. It was mainly because he was not that thick-skinned to praise himself. Don't call me Mr. Chu anymore. Just call me Chu Bai. Okay. They nodded. Chu Bai, what's your class? What level are you? What's your ID? Lu Yufan asked. Swordsman, level 5. As for the ID, it's a little stupid. Let's not talk about it for now. Eh? Your ID can't be some handsome guy or something, right? Pfft, ha ha ha. Lu Yufan could not help but laugh out loud. Chu Bai smiled and did not say anything. Sigh, Bai Yi should be a fan of God Bai Feng. I feel bad thinking about God Bai. How could such a strong player die at the end of the game? Sai, what a pity. Jiang Qinyue sighed. Yeah, if it weren't for God Bai, I don't think we would have been able to defeat the final boss. It's all thanks to him, Lu Yufan said sadly. I was lucky enough to see God Bai once before. I thought we would meet again in the future. I didn't expect that encounter to be his last, Yu Qingyu said sadly. Oh, you've seen God Bai? Chu Bai raised his eyebrows and asked. Yu Qingyu nodded, yes, there was a group quest in the early stages of the world that requires eight people to participate. That quest was accepted by God Bai and I, happened to be not far away so I joined his party. He was really strong. It can be said that he was the only one who allowed the seven of us to play. I feel like he could have cleared it alone, but he found seven people just to gather enough people to enter the quest map. Chu Bai was secretly shocked. This world was really small. Speaking of God Bai, I know him too, Lu Yufan said. Ah, Fan Fan, how did you meet? Lu Yufan said, at that time, I encountered a boss and almost died. God Bai happened to pass by and killed the boss. He returned the equipment that he dropped to me. He remembered this too. It was in the game Gods and Demons. After that, I wanted to thank God Bai, but the difference between us was too great. I couldn't contact him even if I wanted to. From then on, I wanted to become very strong and be closer to my idol. But, at the thought of this, Lu Yufan lowered her head and her eyes reddened. Chu Bai sighed. Fate was truly wonderful. Forget it, let's not talk about this heavy topic. Let's eat. Zhang Qianyue ended the conversation. At this moment, a middle-aged man walked in. After he entered, he looked around. Here, Zhang Qianyue called out. Hello, are you Mr. Zhang? I applied for your studio online previously. My ID is, what's done is done. My real name is Zhang Shan. Nice to meet you. Apart from the three-bedroom apartment, Zhang Qianyue also rented an additional three-bedroom apartment for her new employees. Today, a new employee was coming to apply for a job. He had already arrived, but they had already come here to eat, so they made an appointment. Hello, we happen to be eating. Please sit down. Boss. Please add another pair of bowls and chopsticks, Zhang Qianyue shouted. Zhang Shan sat down. Three peerless beauties. He had to keep this job even if he was not paid. You're a middle-aged man. Uncle, are you strong enough? Lu Yufan asked. Zhang Shan lit a cigarette and said, I used to be ranked 30,000th in the world. How many among the billions of people were ranked as high 30,000th? It was actually very impressive. Then, he looked at Chu Bai and said, is this person also a member of the studio? Chu Bai shook his head. I'm just a neighbor. 
I see. Zhang Qianyue said, Right now, there are only the three of us girls in the studio. I'm a swordsman, and Qing Yu is an assassin. We need a mage and a heavenly shield. Let's eat first and talk about it during work. Zhang Shan nodded. All right, waiter, give me a bottle of mineral water. Would you like some alcohol? Zhang Qianyue said. Zhang Shan waved his hand and said, No, no, the alcohol goes to my face. Eh, don't they say that only those who love drinking have alcohol affect their face? Liu Yufan asked curiously. Zhang Shan lit a cigarette and said, Little girl, you don't understand, do you? The lack of enzymes in the human body causes the face to be affected by alcohol. It's not good to detoxify the poison without enough enzymes. And if the detoxification is not done well, the body will easily develop pathological changes. Then, he looked at the piece of chicken chew by picked up and pointed at it with his chopsticks. Brother, the meat in your hand is genetically modified. Chu Bai's hand paused. Then, Zhang Shan pointed at the dishes on the table and said, There's also this. This is also a genetically modified food. Same for that. You can't eat genetically processed food. Why can't I eat it? Liu Yufan asked curiously. Zhang Shan put down his chopsticks and looked at Liu Yufan with a knowing expression. Genetically modified food is not good for the body. If you take it for a long time, your genes will mutate. Huh. She was stunned. Really? Chu Bai asked doubtfully. He really did not know much about this. Really? Zhang Shan nodded repeatedly and looked back and forth at them. He said excitedly, I'm a living example. Let me tell you, I did a paternity test with my son last week. Guess what? Our DNA doesn't match. It doesn't match. Oh my god, is this for real? Liu Yufan asked in surprise. Do you think I'm lying? Cough, cough. Zhang Qinyue coughed dryly and asked, Who told you about this? My wife. If my wife hadn't told me this, I wouldn't have known that genetically modified food could be so harmful. Please don't eat it. Chu Bai, Yu Qingyu, Liu Yufan, and Jiang Qinyue exchanged glances. Oh, they nodded in realization. They could not help but smile awkwardly at each other. Then eat more vegetables. Chu Bai picked up some vegetables for him. And some broccoli. Zhang Qianyue also picked up some food for him. Zhang Shan held the bowl and ate the vegetables and broccoli as he said, Green is good, green is good, and green food is the best. Then, he pointed in front of Chu Bai. Brother, give me some green peppers. Chu Bai nodded. Yes, yes. Eat some green peppers and cucumbers. This green is the greenest. After dinner, the four of them walked home together. Pft, ha ha, that uncle is so miserable. Chu Bai, you're so mean. You even deliberately said that this is the greenest, ha ha ha. Liu Yufan rocked back and forth in laughter. Chu Bai shrugged and said, That's all I can do. The rest will depend on that big brother's own comprehension ability. Ha ha ha. Then, Yu Qingyu asked, Sister Qian, why didn't you tell him clearly? Jiang Qianyue replied, There are some things that we don't need to clarify. We're outsiders. Then why not let him join our studio? I feel that he was quite pitiful. Zhang Qianyue said, His overall qualifications are not bad. But I feel that he's too self-centered after interacting with him. He's more suitable to be a leader, and my team doesn't need such a person. Perhaps there are other teams that could use him. They were back at their front door. Chu Bai, when we leave the starter village, shall we go somewhere together? We can form teams to do missions, Liu Yufan said to Chu Bai. Yes, sure. Which empire are you going to? The Divine Wind Empire. Jiang Qinyue replied. Chu Bai nodded. Yes, it doesn't matter which of the five empires I go to. If there's no problem, I can also go to the Divine Wind Empire. That's great. I'll fly you there. Liu Yufan giggled. Chu Bai nodded. Okay. It's getting late. Go back and rest. Goodbye. Goodbye. Then, they returned home. Capital. Feng Ling sat on the sofa in the villa swirling his glass of red wine. There was a person kneeling in front of him. Upon closer inspection, he was the old dream Tianyu. Young Master Yang, I'm really sorry. I didn't expect Bai Ye's pet to be able to remove the control effect. Otherwise, he would be dead now. Feng Ling's real name was Yang Feng, and his background was monstrous. Old Lei, 
get up. You can't be blamed for this, Yang Feng said to the old dream Tian Yu. The old dream Tian Yu's real name was Lei Yu. Lei Yu stood up. Young Master Yang, don't worry. When we leave the starter village, he's nothing. I'll definitely kill him then. Yang Feng swirled his wine glass and said, You said it yourself. What if you can't do it? If I can't do it, I'll die as an apology. Lei Yu said. Yang Feng stood up and patted his shoulder. He said earnestly, Old Lei, I won't force you. Of course. Don't worry, young Master Yang. I'll definitely kill him. All right, go and rest. Try to leave the starter village as soon as possible. Yes. Then, Lei Yu walked away. As soon as he walked out, a woman slowly walked out from the inner room. Why didn't you kill him? The woman asked indifferently. It's still useful to keep him. After all, he's my hall master. Yang Feng shook his wine glass and said indifferently. Then, Yang Feng looked at her. The woman was wearing a mask, but it could not hide her allure. However, Yang Feng did not dare to do anything to her. This woman was a poisonous rose. What you should do now, whether it's using an accident or otherwise, is to get rid of everyone who knows you killed by Feng. It will be bad if anyone finds out. Yang Feng drank the red wine in one gulp, his eyes flashing with viciousness. Don't worry, they won't survive, but things have to be done slowly. Besides, it's the early stages of the game. They still have to rely on me. I can control them. At the very least, I have to squeeze out all their value, right? What do you think? The woman sat beside him and said, You need me to help you surpass your brother, surpass everyone and achieve success for generations. I hope you can do as I say. Of course, of course. Yang Tian smiled and nodded. I've watched some of Bai Ye's videos. He's a tricky guy. He has a grudge against your Fengling dynasty. That will affect you in the future. If there's a chance, we have to get rid of him. Yang Feng sneered. He's a person who had good luck and got some benefits in the early stages. I've seen many people like him. I don't even feel like I need to do it myself. Later on, he will pay with his life because of his arrogance in the early stages. Of course, it's naturally best if Lei Yu can deal with him. It doesn't matter if he can't, though. Oh right, Bai Feng's ID has been snatched by someone else. Did you know about this? The woman shook her head. What's the point? He's already dead. There's no point in stealing his ID. There's no need to worry. Well, Chu Bai slept until noon. He was awakened by a knock on the door. We're here. Chu Bai opened the door with sleepy eyes. Sister Qian? Seeing Zhang Qianyue standing at the door, Chu Bai was stunned. Zhang Qianyue, who was dressed in casual clothes, smiled and handed a fruit to Chu Bai. We got you some fruit. You're too kind. Chu Bai took it. Zhang Qianyue said, It's fine. We're all neighbors. We'll see each other often. Besides, I like to make friends. We'll have hot pot tonight. Since you're alone, do you want to come? From their conversation yesterday, they also found out that Chu Bai was living alone now. His family was gone, and he did not have a girlfriend. Perhaps it was because girls had maternal instincts, so they wanted to take care of Chu Bai. Even though Chu Bai was an adult, Chu Bai shook his head. No, I just woke up. I'll probably be in the game at that time. Okay, remember to eat the fruits. Thank you, Sister Qian. Okay. I'll go back then. Zhang Qianyue returned home. Sister Qian, is Chu Bai coming to eat with us? Lu Yufan asked expectantly. No, he just woke up. He'll be in the game at that time. What's wrong? Have you fallen for Chu Bai? Zhang Qianyue smiled at Lu Yufan. No, I'm not. I'm not that easy. I just like larger crowds, Lu Yufan quickly said. That's right. After playing so many games, I cherish my friends even more. After all, many of them are gone. Zhang Qianyue sighed. Then, she looked at the two of them and said, You too. No matter what, safety is the most important. Understood. Let's go. There are still a few hours of game time. Let's go online. Ding. Welcome to Destiny. As the system notification sounded, Chu Bai appeared in the starter village. The place where he went online was the same as where he had gone offline previously. Ding, congratulations on obtaining the ultimate skill, Whirlwind. Infinite Ultimate Technique. 
would randomly grant him an ultimate technique every day. This ultimate technique can still be used after leaving a battle. Whirlwind. Unlimited skill randomly obtained. Effect. Condenses a powerful force and cannot attack during this period. Randomly choose five targets within a 20-meter radius and sweep them up into the air. Duration. Five seconds. During these five seconds, a hurricane will form and blow forward. The furthest it can reach is 20 meters. All units that are blown by it will suffer damage of current attack power. Remaining time, one day. This skill should be stronger than Heavenly Lightning Break. Let's go and accept a mission. Currently, there was only one mission for Chu Bai. After reaching level 10, he would undergo the trial. After the trial ended, he could leave the starter village. However, the difficulty of leveling up now was ridiculously high. Lil Schwerer took up part of his EXP. God Slaying Calamity's negative effect increased the EXP required to level up by 100%. Stop. Stop right there. Someone, there's a molester, hooligan. Someone help. Suddenly, a girl's scream came from the side. Chubai looked over. In the starter village, more than 10 female players were chasing a male player. They screamed in exasperation as they ran after him. Molester? Chubai was stunned. How was that possible? There were protective mechanisms for girls in any game, be it for players or NPCs. As long as a boy had any ill intentions toward a girl, the system would punish him with lightning. At best, the offender would drop a piece of equipment and a level. At worst, he would be killed. So, there was no such thing as indecent assault here. Sisters, sisters, stop chasing. I can't do anything about it either. Stop chasing. The ID of the player being chased was Playboy. From the top 10 on the level rankings, Chubai raised his eyebrows. Chubai had a deep impression of this ID. After all, only one person in the top 10 had an unknown ID, and his class was listed as none. Despite his denial, he was still smelling the fragrance on his hands as he ran while laughing. No way. He really molested someone? Chubai was stunned. Qingqiu Yinma happened to pass by and saw this scene. She also saw Chu Bai and walked over. Bai Yi. Chu Bai looked at her. This woman was very seductive, but Chu Bai just would not get close to her. There was no other reason. This was a dangerous woman. She was too smart. As such, Chu Bai did not want to get too close to her. From what Chu Bai knew, she had built a dynasty with her own ability. Such a woman was really scary. This was the case despite her being the dream woman of countless people. She was one of the top 10 beauties on the beauty rankings into the world. Speaking of which, there should be a beauty ranking in Destiny, right? Hi. Chu Bai nodded at her. Great Bai Yi, why don't you sell me gold grade equipment? I'm sure you will be more than satisfied with my offer, Ching Chiu Yinma said with a smile. All right, I'll sell you any extra equipment in the future, Chu Bai muttered to himself. She was a woman with great ambitions. Otherwise, she would not have approached him. As for the good items, Chu Bai was more inclined to sell them to Jiang Qianyue. However, it was true that with Jiang Qianyue's ability, she could not use so many pieces of equipment. Chu Bai believed that he would have a lot of spare equipment in the future. Therefore, if this woman could offer a good price, Chu Bai would naturally be very willing to negotiate. It's a deal. Can I have the honor of adding the great Bai Yi as a friend? This is the second time I've applied. Ding. Player. Ching Chiu Yinma, request to add you as a friend. Do you accept? Agreed. This time, Chu Bai chose to agree. Ching Chiu Yinma's lips curled up slightly. Then, she leaned into Chu Bai's ear. Chu Bai shuddered, but he remained calm and did not move. Ching Chiu Yinma's red lips parted slightly. Chu Bai could even feel her hot breath. If World of Sword wants to deal with you, you have to be careful. Chu Bai raised his eyebrows. World of Sword? Aha, uh -huh. take this advice as my sincerity. They have powerful tools at their disposal. You have to be careful. Chu Bai looked at her and nodded. Thank you. You're welcome. If you need me for anything, feel free to contact me. She smiled at Chu Bai. Anything? Chu Bai touched the tip of his nose. Ching Chiu Yin Ma covered her mouth and laughed. Pftaha, anything? With that, she left. Chu Bai looked at her back. It was obvious that she was trying to get in his good books. Forget it. Anyway, 
I don't have any grudge against Rose Paradise. It's indeed better to sell things to them. Chubai continued to mutter to himself, then noticed that some people around him were quietly watching him. World of Sword, that's Duga Wanjian, right? Chu Bai's eyes flickered with darkness. World of Sword was a guild that was not inferior to the Fengling dynasty. The guild leader was Dugu Wanjian, one of the top ten players on the Heaven leaderboard. He was very strong. Chu Bai had a grudge against him. In the world, to get the ownership of a boss, Chu Bai fought them. After that, Dugu Wanjian publicly announced that he would fight Chu Bai to the death. In the game, killing people and stealing treasures were common. He, Chu Bai, had powerful equipment and tools on him, so he naturally would have preferred to attack in secret. Chu Bai glanced at the rankings. Level ranking. First place, level, 9, class, swordsman, nickname, Bai Yi. Second place, level, 8, class, swordsman, nickname, emperor. Third place, level, 8, class, assassin, nickname, shadow. Fourth place, level, 8, Class, Swordsman, Nickname, One Sword is Useless. Fifth Place, Level, 8, Class, Fire Mage, Nickname, Fire Firmament. Sixth Place, Level, 8, Class, Swordsman, Nickname, Dugu Wanjian. Seventh, Level, 8, Class, Archer, Nickname, Sudden Wind. Eighth Place, Level, 8, Class, Swordsman, Nickname, Jin Nanshan. Ninth level, eight class swordsman nickname Fengling. Tenth place level, eight class nun nickname Playboy. The changes in the rankings were quite big. A few people were pushed down. Fengling and Duga Wanjian were now on the rankings. The reason why they caught up was very simple. As the players' levels increased, more and more bronze and silver bosses were discovered. The bosses gave a ton of exp. Moreover, there were more and more bronze and silver regular monsters. Their EXP was quite high too. This Duga Wanjian was not in Starter Village number 7777, but he had killed a gold boss and monopolized the EXP to reach the top 10 of the rankings. As for Chu Bai, he had just come online today. The others had already played for 4 to 5 hours, so it was reasonable for his level to gradually catch up. Don't run. Sisters, kill this hooligan. Playboy, so what if you're on the rankings? You despicable person. Bah, I'll beat you to death. Playboy shouted, Sisters, it's for a mission I accepted. I didn't want to kiss you. Pfft, how can there be such a mission? You don't want to kiss me? Are you saying you won't kiss my devastatingly beautiful face? Then why did you touch my chest after kissing me? The group of girls was still chasing after him. Whoosh, Playboy shouted as he ran. Sisters, stop chasing me. Bai Yi is my big brother. As long as you don't chase me, I'll introduce you to Lord Bai Yi. Hearing this, many girls stopped. Really? You know Bai Yi? A girl asked. Of course. Otherwise, how do you think my level increased so quickly and broke into the top 10 of the level rankings? That's because my brother helped me farm. If my brother didn't help me farm, he would have reached level 10 long ago. Therefore, I have a deep relationship with my brother, Playboy said as he collapsed to the ground, exhausted. The girls looked at each other. All right, as long as you introduce Lord Bai Yi to us, I'll let you off. Playboy walked toward them. No problem, but there's one condition. I'll introduce my big brother to whoever takes the initiative to kiss me. As he spoke, the Playboy leaned over and tapped his cheek. The girls looked at each other. Don't be shameless. You still want to take advantage of me? Who do you think I am? Unless you can make me by yes friend, I won't kiss you. If you don't want to kiss me, then queue up at the back. Let me tell you, there's a limit to the number of friends a player can have. My brother is so popular. He has added many friends. There aren't many spots left. First come, first served. Playboy shouted. I'll do it. I'll go first. A girl leaned over and kissed his cheek. Don't push. I'm first. I'm in the front. Then a second, a third, a fourth. Some of the women remained unmoved. Hee <laughs> hee. After being kissed by the eight girls, Playboy smiled foolishly. Where is Lord Bai Yi? Quickly introduce Lord Bai Yi to me. 
Bai Yi is there. Sisters, he is there. Someone saw Chu Bai and shouted. Then, a group of girls ran over in unison. Lord Bai Yi, I kissed him. Can you give me a friend slot? That's right, that's right. I'm the first to kiss him. Bai Yi, you must be the first to give me a friend slot. And me. And me. Chu Bai awkwardly touched the tip of his nose. Then he spoke slowly. No. Firstly, I don't know him. Secondly, if you wanted to add me as a friend, why would you be kissing someone else who's not me? The girls were stunned. Then, they looked at Playboy. Sisters, we've been tricked. Kill him. Kill him. I'll kill you. A group of girls rushed toward Playboy angrily. Chu Bai shook his head helplessly and walked away. Hey, wait a minute. Does what Bai Yi said mean that he'll add you as a friend if you kiss him? A girl looked around and said uncertainly. Ding. All players of Starter Village, 77777, please take note that the Starter Village has been invaded by an unknown demonic chi. The situation is critical. All players are advised to head to the Demon Dragon Cave to resolve the danger of the Starter Village. Mission Reward Every monster killed in the Demon Dragon Cave will award additional experience points and gold coins. There will also be an unknown reward. Ding! All players in Starter Village, 77777, please take note. The system notification sounded in the minds of every player. This notification instantly caused a huge commotion. EXP Reward Mission Charge, Charge, Charge Is this a quest that only our Starter Village 77777 has? It should be the case, right? Otherwise, why would they specifically mention Starter Village 77777? Wouldn't the other Starter Villages lose out if they don't have this? Yes, there must be similar missions that reward experience. It's just different from ours. Don't think about it. Hurry up and go to the Demon Dragon Cave. With that, many people put down their matters on hand and rushed to the Demon Dragon Cave. Chu Bai walked toward the village chief. Division leader, Bai Yi didn't leave the village. He seems to be walking toward the village chief's courtyard. In a small alley in the village, a few people were talking. A bearded man frowned. Strange, why isn't he leaving the village? Such an important quest has already been triggered. Why isn't he in a hurry to go? He's number one on the level rankings. Normally, he should eager to rush in. He wouldn't want to be surpassed by others. At the same time, he's also the player with the highest chance of being the first to leave the beginner village. The rewards will be very generous. How strange. Could it be that he knows that we're going to hinder him? So perhaps he wants to wait until we're all gone first? Branch leader Jean Tian's people at the front line are already prepared. They're just waiting for us to pincer the target. These people were from World of Sword. They had received orders from their superiors to kill Bai Yi and seize his treasure. Jian Ba thought for a moment and suddenly clenched his fists. Could it be that some B asterisk starred has leaked the secret? At the same time, Ching Chiu Yinma and dozens of girls happened to pass by the alley and heard their conversation. President Yun. When Jian Ba saw Ching Chiu Yinma, he immediately called out respectfully. He could not afford to provoke this woman. This woman was a real big shot. Even his head did not dare to offend her easily. In the entire starter village of 77,777, not even the most famous and awesome people were her match. This woman was definitely the person with the highest status in the starter village. Ching Chiu Yinma smiled at him and left with her group. Oh dear, she was badmouthed. Miss, he badmouthed you, a girl said angrily. Ching Chiu Yinma smiled. Then what should we do? Get rid of them. Ching Chiu Yinma smiled. Kill them. After saying that, she walked ahead. Soon, Chu Bai arrived at the village chief's place. Why did Chu Bai go to the village chief? When all the players heard the system notification, they all walked toward the demon dragon cave. However, based on Chu Bai's experience, he knew that the players had overlooked one thing. That was that this quest was endangering the life and death of the entire village. As the village chief, he was naturally the person he was most concerned about. In that case, he might be able to receive a related side mission if he went to the village chief. Chu Bai also wanted to give it a try. Just as he reached the door, a voice sounded. Brother. Chu Bai looked over. Whoa, that person is here too. Brother. Playboy ran up to Chu Bai. 
Don't call me brother. I'm not your brother. Hee <laughs> hee, big brother. I'm sorry about what happened before. Who asked you to be so famous and stay in the same starter village as me? Playboy smiled and scratched his head. Chubai looked at him. To be honest, this person was really handsome. He was very fair and his body was quite slender. He looked like a young hunk and his legs even felt thinner than some girls. Many girls would happily devour a guy like him. Then, the playboy came to Chu Bai's side and whispered, I've wooed three girls. Big brother, how about I give you two of them? I'll leave one for myself. She smells nice. Chu Bai directly walked toward the village chief, ignoring him. Hey, 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 big brother, how about I let you have all three? Let me follow you. Playboy immediately chased after him. What's the point of charming those girls? Go and flirt with Qingqiu Yinma, Chu Bai said casually. I can't get that woman. No way. Playboy was terrified. What? Are you scared? Chu Bai looked at him. No. It's one thing that she's not an easy woman to deal with, but more importantly, look at her butt. It's massive. She must be a pro in that aspect. I'm as thin as a stick. I die. Playboy shook his head. You're unbelievable. Chu Bai then asked, What are you doing here? Hee hee, big brother. What are you doing here? I'm doing the same thing. This person was indeed no fool. Chu Bai then saw the village chief and greeted him with a smile. Village chief. Bai Yi. The village chief immediately smiled when he saw Chu Bai. Chu Bai walked over. Village chief. I heard that there's a terrifying demonic chi leaking out of the demon dragon cave. Yes. It happened in the same direction where you ventured to the Dark Abyss last night. Now, the entire Dark Abyss has become a demonic land. All the living beings inside have been demonized. According to the investigation of the villagers, the source of the demonic energy is in the Demon Dragon Cave. It seems that the demonic energy is still seeping out. If we can't control it, I'm afraid the entire village will be corroded by the demonic energy. The situation is dire. The village chief paused for a moment before continuing, Many warriors have already gone to the demon dragon cave. Brother Bai Yi, are you going too? Chu Bai nodded. That's great. I believe in your ability. The village chief then looked at Playboy. It seems that this young hero is also going to the demon dragon cave. Coincidentally, I have something here that I need your help with. Chu Bai said, Please speak, village chief. The village chief took out two flags and handed them to Chu Bai and Playboy. Ding. You have obtained the Demon Suppression Banner. Demon Suppression Banner. Grade. None. A light weapon filled with light power. It can be used to intimidate demon spirits. The village chief said, The Demon Dragon Cave's demonic chi is unavoidable. According to the ancient records left behind by the ancestors of the village, the Demon Dragon Cave has existed for 10,000 years. The demonic chi is powerful, and it's difficult for normal people to approach it. Rumor has it that during the Battle of the Gods 10,000 years ago, a powerful subordinate of the demon god was beaten into the village and then created the Demon Dragon Cave. Fortunately, the Demon Dragon Cave has been relatively calm for 10,000 years. Our ancestors predicted that there would be adventurers from another world 10,000 years after that incident. They would be resistant to the demonic chi and have the ability to destroy the demonic creatures in the Demon Dragon Cave. Now, it seems that the prophecy has come true. The function of this demon suppression banner is to seal the demon dragon cave forever when the demonic chi in the cave erupts. However, we don't have the ability to do this ourselves. We can only rely on the two of you. Ding. Congratulations on triggering the mission. Sealing the demon dragon cave. Mission reward. Unknown. Mission duration. One day. Mission punishment. None. Do you accept? As expected, here was the mission. Chu Bai held the demon suppression banner and nodded. Don't worry, village chief. We will make sure it is done well. Playboy nodded in agreement. Ding. You have accepted. Thank you. The village chief looked at the two of them and said, If you can successfully do it, you will be the benefactors of the entire village. At that time, I will tell you a huge secret about the starter village. Chu Bai and the playboy both raised their eyebrows. A great secret? What kind of secret could be called a huge secret? Was this the mission reward? That's right. A huge secret. Chubai nodded. All right, 
then I'll head over first. Go on, and be careful. Then, Chu Bai and the playboy left. By the way, can you really ignore the system and not be punished by lightning for molesting a girl? On the way, Chu Bai asked curiously, Big brother, I'm pissed off now that you mentioned this. Damn it. I met an old man and triggered a mission from him. The mission content is to forcefully kiss 10 girls. I was dumbfounded. The mission also has a penalty. If I don't complete it, my level will drop to zero. How could I not do it? It's also because I met that old man that I have the ability to avoid being struck by lightning. Chu Bai suddenly understood. I see. I'm miserable, Playboy sobbed. I want my dignity too. I'm good at picking up girls, but I don't want to do such immoral things. Besides, if someone takes a picture and posts it on the internet, I'll be notorious in real life. Then wear a mask, Chu Bai said. That won't do. Won't wearing a mask cover my handsome face? Playboy caressed his cheek and said. They walked out of the novice village. In front of them, hundreds of people were fighting. What's going on? Why are World of Sword and Rose Paradise fighting? Playboy was befuddled. Chu Bai also raised his eyebrows. What was the meaning of this? Damn it. How dare they mess with my girlfriend? Playboy rolled up his sleeves when he saw this. Which one is your girlfriend? Chu Bai asked. Playboy pointed at the crowd and said, That one, that one, and that one, and those two on the far right. Didn't you say you only had three? Chu Bai asked. Those three are new. These five were from yesterday. Big brother, let's not talk about it anymore. I have to help my girlfriends. With that, Playboy rushed over. Stabbing my girlfriend? Only I can stab my girlfriend. Playboy shouted angrily as he charged forward. He picked up speed and leaped. The moment he jumped into the air, the muscles on his originally thin upper body suddenly exploded outward, ripping his novice cloth shirt. Bang! Then, he punched a world of sword player in the chest. Ouch! He let out a scream and flew 20 meters away, turning into a white light and being forced to revive. My turn. Chu Bai, who was watching from behind, was stunned. What was going on? Chu Bai saw that the damage of his punch was actually as high as 200 points. Fierce. Hubby, you're so strong. A girl looked at Playboy's back, her eyes shining with stars. Playboy half turned his head and calmly said, Lady, get in the back. After saying that, he looked at the player in front of him who was holding a sword and stabbing away at his direction. Whoosh. He reached out and grabbed the player's novice sword. No matter how hard the player tried, he could not break free. Ah. Playboy held his sword and roared as he quickly pushed the player back. At the same time, he punched the player's face with his right fist. Bang, bang, bang. Minus 200, minus 200, minus 191. As he smashed away, the player was instantly killed. Playboy then used his muscular arm to grab a player and threw him at the players from World of Sword. Chu Bai was stunned. The guy was extremely thin and weak before the fight started, but he instantly became a fierce muscle man during the fight. This Playboy was so unique. His sudden muscle explosion was one thing. On the other hand, theoretically speaking, he would be injured if he received a player's attack skill with his bare hands. It was equivalent to letting the other party's attack hit him, but he did not lose any HP. Moreover, the damage dealt with by a player's weapon was high. For example, a swordsman's attack power of 100 could deal 80 damage to a player's body with a sword. If the swordsman used his bare hands, however, the damage might only be 10 to 20 points. For example, Chu Bai's current attack power was 260. If he attacked a monster or player with his bare hands, ignoring their defense, the damage would only be 115 points of damage, equivalent to the four basic attributes. It was not related to attack power. However, every punch of this playboy dealt 200 damage. Could it be that his strength value was more than 200? Twice as much as Chu Bai's? You're so handsome. You can do it, hubby. Charge hubby. Beat them up. Hubby, I love you. Hit them. A few girls were cheering Playboy on. Soon, everyone from World of Sword was wiped out. Playboy's bulging muscles had also returned to normal. Then, he randomly picked up a novice cloth suit that was dropped and equipped it. The five girls ran over. Hubby, are you alright? 
You're too fierce. Too fierce. My flower. I love you to death. Get off. I love him more. Playboy tidied his hair and reached out to hug the women. Girls, if there's anything in the future, let your man come. Uh-huh. All right, you girls go on ahead. I'm going to look for my brother. Playboy then ran toward Chu Bai with a smile. Big brother. Impressive. Chu Bai offered a word of praise. Hee hee, I'm far inferior to big brother. Playboy scratched his head and smiled. Playboy then said, I didn't have any class at the start of the game, so I can't use any weapons. I can only use this pair of fists. Fortunately, the talent I drew was quite powerful when paired with this pair of fists. It's not inferior to using weapons. The two of them chatted as they walked toward the demon dragon cave. Why didn't you take any damage when you held the player's sword with your hand? Chubai asked. The talent. My hands are invincible. I'm completely immune to damage to my hands. This person was very gifted. Resurrection point. World of Sword Division leader Jian Ba was dumbfounded. What's wrong with President Yun of Rose Paradise? Why did she attack me? He told Dugu Wan Jian what had happened. Meanwhile, Ching Chiu Yin Mo received a call. Hello, President Dugu, Ching Chiu Yin Ma said. Ha 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 ha, hello, President Yun. How have you been? Dugu Wan Jian's hearty laughter was heard. Pretty good. President Dugu, what's the matter? Ching Chiu Yin Ma asked. Ha ha ha, it's nothing serious. I just heard from my people that Rose Paradise had a conflict with my world of sword. They seem to have killed dozens of my people right after leaving the village. Yes, that's true, Ching Chiu Yin Ma said lightly. Oh? How did they provoke Guild Master Yun? Dugu Wan Jian asked. In short, I've offended you. President Dugu won't blame me, right? Ha ha no no. When the time comes, I'll teach them a lesson. That's fine. I won't disturb you. With that, Dugu Wanjian hung up the communicator. Meanwhile, Chu Bai and Playboy were approaching the Demon Dragon Cave. Division leader Jean Tian, Bai Yi is here. Not far away, on a rocky hill, a group of nearly a hundred people watched Chu Bai and Playboy walk over. They were one of the two teams sent by World of Sword to kill Chu Bai. Unexpectedly, the other one was destroyed by Rose Paradise. Now, they could only handle it themselves. Jean Tian said, Bai Ye's pet has the ability to remove crowd control. He also has AoE skills, but his AoE skills have a one-second charging time and limited range. When he comes, everyone will surround him and spread out. This way, his AoE skills won't be effective. Should we force him to death with damage? Someone asked. That's right. No matter what, he's still a level 8 player. If everyone hits him twice, he'll be insta-killed. If he uses the skill that needs to accumulate power, we'll be able to deal a lot of damage in one second. Leave the key damage to me. I have three consecutive sword chi. The reason he was so confident was very simple. He had killed an ordinary gold monster yesterday and obtained an awesome skill book. Three consecutive sword chi. He could release three tracking sword chi at once. With his attributes, one sword chi could deal at least 200 damage. Three was 600. Bai Yi had 1000 HP. With this trump card, he would definitely be able to finish him off. Moreover, his 80 people were not pushovers. All of them were members of the World of Sword. At the same time, they had purchased a large number of bronze and silver equipment from Starter Village 77,777. Half of these 80 people were equipped with bronze and silver equipment. Their attributes were very strong. Therefore, Bai Yi must be taken down. It had been almost two days since the start of the game. The players had entered many high-level monsters grinding spots. There were quite a number of bronze tier equipment circulating. After all, bronze tier equipment, silver tier equipment, and even gold tier equipment can be dropped by non-boss monsters. Those bronze, silver, and even gold monsters were not bosses, but there was a chance that they could drop the corresponding equipment. Bronze equipment was still quite valuable and has at least not depreciated yet. After all, even after buying all the equipment in the entire starter village, 77777 at a high price, they only had a few dozen pieces. Don't worry. Baye's weakness has already been revealed. After all, he's just a level player. Even if he can still use that Phoenix ultimate move, it's useless. Good. Chu Bai and Playboy arrived. 
There were many people around because the demon dragon cave was just a little further away. There were also many monsters nearby, and many people stopped there to farm monsters. This place also enjoyed the experience bonus of the mission. Whoosh! The crowd suddenly dispersed. Big brother, something's wrong, Playboy said. Chu Bai glanced over. Obviously, this should be the enemy Qingqiu Yinma had mentioned, World of Sword. Eighty people spread out and surrounded the two of them. Bai Yi. Zhang Tian held a silver battle axe that emitted a silver light and slowly walked toward Chu Bai. The surrounding people looked over. F asterisk CK. Someone is besieging Bai Yi again. This time it's World of Sword. But why would they dare to do this? Bai Ye's skills are incredible. He single-handedly defeated over a hundred people and escaped and scathed. Aren't they afraid? Previously, he soloed hundreds of people. His Phoenix Ultimate skill instantly killed dozens of people. Perhaps they're sure that the skill is on cooldown. After all, it's so powerful. And this is World of Sword we're talking about. Since they dare to attack, they must be confident. There will be a good show to watch again. Let me see if Lord Bai Yi can escape and scathe this time. Zhang Tian looked at Chu Bai and said, I believe you know who I am. Big brother, I know this person, Playboy said to Chu Bai. Zhang Tian smiled. He's a pile of sh asterisk t that I pooped. F asterisk ck. I'm so awesome. My poop actually turned into a human form. Hearing this, Jean Tian's eyes suddenly narrowed. Ha 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 ha. Many people around them could not help but laugh. You're courting death. Playboy, tenth on the leaderboard. He he he. Since you're here, we'll let you drop your equipment together. Jean Tian said coldly. Then, he raised the battle axe in his hand. Everyone attack. Yes. They charged at the two of them in unison while the long-range players launched long-range attacks. At the same time, Jean Tian crushed a scroll. A white light appeared on the bodies of everyone from World of Sword. This was one of the reasons why they were so confident. This scroll could reduce everyone's damage by 50%. It should be used in a large dungeon, but it was worth it for the high-level equipment Bai Yi had. F asterisk CK. It's a good time to practice. Bang. After saying that, Playboy's muscles exploded and tore his novice clothes apart again. As for Chu Bai, he quickly condensed a tornado. Whirlwind. Whoosh. Five random people were swept up by the wind that suddenly appeared under their feet. Sky Dance was not easy to use. World of Sword had obviously come prepared. Their ranged players were very far apart, and everyone was moving around when they attacked. Although Sky Dance's attack range was large, the effect would not be good enough. Spread out. Spread out. All archers and mages, aim at Bai Yi and shoot. Jean Tian shouted. He, he, he you're dead meat. Jean Tian revealed a cold smile, especially when he saw that Chu Bai seemed to be unable to attack. Moreover, the attacks of dozens of ranged players were already on their way. When everyone's attacks landed on Bai Yi, his health bar would be emptied in an instant. However, minus one. Minus one, minus one. What the F asterisk CK? Jean Tian was stunned on the spot. Those who attacked Chu Bai were also stunned. F asterisk CK. My attack can't break through his defense? Are you kidding me? He's just a level 8 player. Why can't my bronze bow and arrow break his defense? How much defense does this B asterisk starred have? Everyone was dumbfounded. Jean Tian gulped. Don't panic. Let's just keep pressing like this. Even if we waste time, we can still wear him down to death. All of us will take 50% less damage, and he won't be able to kill us. Priests, keep healing. Archers, keep shooting. Melee classes, go kill that playboy. Bai Yi can't attack with that skill, so don't worry and fight. Jean Tian ordered again. Yes. Chu Bai, on the other hand, did not panic at all. Was his 182 defense a joke to them? He could not attack, but there was no problem at all. He won because he could release skills infinitely. Whirlwind. Whirlwind. Another ten people were swept up. Whoosh. 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 Then, three hurricanes blew in three directions. Spread out. These players were clearly disciplined. The rolling hurricane did not blow up too many people. Damn it. Where did Bai Yi get such a powerful skill? 
How can he continuously use it? Jean Tian cursed. Ah. Uh. Beside Chu Bai, the muscular playboy grabbed two players and knocked their heads together. I blow people up, you catch them, Chu Bai said to playboy. No problem, boss. But they're attacking you, Casanova shouted. Small problem. Then, a black light erupted from Chu Bai's body. Heavenly Demon Protection releases the demonic energy within the heavenly demon armor to protect the user. Demonic energy entanglement lasts for 10 seconds. It can block a total of 500 damage points. When activated, the user's defense will increase by 20%. When the duration ends or the shield is broken, the user will enter a cooldown period. Cooldown, 3 minutes. The skill of the gold grade heavenly demon armor could absorb 500 points of damage. With attacks that they could not break through his defense, Chubai was invincible for at least 10 seconds with heavenly demon protection. Everyone was dumbfounded. He still has a shield. Wait a minute. I remember that he has a pet that can heal him, right? And he can use HP potions himself. He is impossible to kill. Those people broke down. As for Chubai, he continuously released Whirlwind. The Whirlwind skill was difficult to hit a large number of people, and even if it hit, it would not be an insta-kill. However, Playboy was on a rampage. Since he was so relentless, Chu Bai was too lazy to fight himself and let Playboy take control. One by one, the enemies were swept up by the whirlwind. Meanwhile, Playboy ran quickly and jumped more than five meters high. He reached out and grabbed a player who was swept up by the wind. Then, he landed and jumped again. He grabbed another player who was swept up and crushed them to the ground with both hands. If they did not die instantly, he would continue to beat them to death. He was vicious. How can he jump so high? The surrounding people were dumbfounded. Chu Bai continuously released whirlwinds to sweep people up. Ten seconds later, the shield disappeared and Chu Bai's health bar slowly dropped. One person could attack him for one point, and attacks from dozens of people would cost him dozens of HP in a second. Bai Ye's HP is less than half, keep shooting. Playboy over there is running out of HP too. Kill them? Then, a white light flashed, and Lil Schwer appeared on Chu Bai's shoulder. Woo! Lil Schwer let out a cry, and immediately released the heavenly healing technique. Chu Bai and Playboy's health bars were instantly restored to full. His pet has group recovery? The fox has appeared. Those with crowd control, quickly throw the crowd control to these two and force out this fox's crowd control skill. Jean Tian shouted. Let me do it. My talent is freeze. A player then cast freeze on Chu Bai and Playboy. Chu Bai said, Lil Schwer, Holy Spirit Light. Holy Spirit Light. The power of the Holy Spirit bestows upon the world. Effect. Releases the Holy Spirit Light for 10 seconds, enveloping up to 5 units including the user. Removes all negative effects and restores 10% of maximum HP every second. At the same time, Immunity to all negative effects for 10 seconds. Mana cost, 1000. Cooldown, 2 minutes. Their HP was recovering every second. Awesome. Playboy, who was rampaging through the crowd, could feel his health bar constantly recovering. He could not help but sigh at how awesome this little fox was. The player who released the freeze talent disappeared as soon as he landed. Ding. You are immune to control? Continue controlling him. Jean Tian shouted. Then, he looked. Almost 20 of the 80 people had been killed, and half of them were still in the sky. Jean Tian cursed. Triple Sword Chi. He waved his axe and looked at Chu Bai. Minus 19, minus 18, minus 19. What the hell? Did I even hit him? Do you have a group attack? It's about time to deal with this. Let's not waste time, Chu Bai asked Playboy. Everyone was speechless. So these two were merely toying with them? Look at Bai Yi. He can release two skills in a second and blow up five people. Each person can't come down for five seconds. There's also the whirlwind. And that playboy is ridiculous. He's a bulldozer. World of Sword was still doing fine. But they took so much effort to reduce their HP. But they're back to full. That Bai Yi is ridiculous. Has no one been able to break through his defense? Reasonably speaking, even if Bai Yi is alone, I think he can still win this fight. He is even stronger than a boss. All right, watch me. Playboy's fist collided, and then, group taunt. 
His muscles exploded as he stood on the spot and roared. Around him, more than twenty players were affected by the taunt and forced to rush toward him. Then, one, one, two. Playboy punched the ground. Boom. The entire ground seemed to crack and dozens of people were sent flying. He's a monster. As for Chu Bai, he was too lazy to release Whirlwind. However, how could he not join such a satisfying battle? Whoosh. Chu Bai took out God-slaying Calamity. What a handsome sword. They all stared at the sword in Chu Bai's hand in shock. Whoosh. Chu Bai rushed over and slashed at a player. Minus 130. He had 260 attack power, and the other party's damage was reduced by 50%. Without the strength gem, Chu Bai's damage did not seem to be high enough. However, this did not matter because Chu Bai's attributes had already crushed these players. It was fine as long as he knew in his heart that the strength gem was a consumable. It did not matter if it was gone. Flaming Triple Slash Flaming Triple Slash A swordsman skill that does not need to be charged up. It has strong attack power and is an area of effect skill. Effect The Flaming Triple Slash is divided into three parts. The first part is a flame slash with a distance of 5 meters, dealing damage of current attack power to enemies within a straight line of 5 meters. The second part is a horizontal slash, dealing damage of current attack power to enemies within a distance of 5 meters and a width of 5 meters. The third part is a leap slash. When it lands on the ground, it deals damage of 2 asterisk current attack power to all enemies within a 5 meter radius. It also has a knockback effect. Each part of the damage has a 10% chance of causing a burn effect. Lasts for 3 seconds, draining 100 HP per second. Mana cost, 100. Cooldown, 30 seconds. Minus 130, minus 130, minus 260. Damn, he's so cool. Whirlwind. As he attacked, Chubai took advantage of the opportunity to release another whirlwind. Jean Tian gulped. He calculated the time. The effect of the scroll was about to pass. Minus 260, minus 520. Ding. You have triggered Divine Slaughter S 200% damage effect. Triple Sword Chi. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. The two of them crushed almost all 80 people. Some people knew that they could not fight back at all, so they ran in all directions. Whirlwind. The five people were plucked by Chu Bai. Whirlwind. Another five people were caught, including Jean Tian, who was about to escape. On the other side, the playboy caught up to the two of them and smashed their heads to the ground. Fireball. It was the mage's fireball that he had obtained with his infinite ultimate. Then, he continuously condensed fireballs with both hands and threw them haphazardly at the people who were swept up. Bang and uh. Everyone was speechless. This spy ye can even use mage class skills? The surrounding people were dumbfounded. Soon, only Jean Tian was left. Gulp. Jean Tian gulped. Don't kill. Before he could finish speaking, Chu Bai walked over and slit his throat. Minus 260. He was instantly killed on the spot. On the ground, there was a large pile of bronze and silver equipment. The surrounding people were stunned. Unfortunately, they were not the ones who killed them. They could not pick him any of it. Chu Bai tucked away all the equipment. Big Brother. The playboy, who had changed into new clothes and returned to his thin and weak state, walked over. I'll split it with you later. Hey, there's no need. I'm not short of money. My girlfriends are all rich women. I have all the equipment I need. Playboy laughed. All right, let's go to the Demon Dragon Cave. Then they walked away. Only a group of shocked players were left behind. Jean Tian and dozens of others stood at the resurrection point. His only chance to revive was gone. Leader, Bai Yi is too scary. His defense is too high. And that stupid skill, is it unlimited? I was in the sky for five seconds. Although I didn't take any damage, I flew into the sky again as soon as I landed. What the hell? I guess this Bai Ye's talent is to make one skill a day have infinite release. That's ridiculous. Even so, we should still be able to kill him in this battle. But who would have thought that no one could break through his defense? He even has a pet that recovers health. It's too ridiculous. Jean Tian clenched his fists. My silver battle axe has been dropped. 
dozens of bronze equipment and several silver equipment have been dropped. Their losses accounted for more than 3 million. He gave Dugu Wanjian a call. How was it? Dugu Wanjian asked directly. Leader, we failed. The other end was silent for a few seconds. That shouldn't be the case. Based on your configuration and the damage reduction scrolls, if we split up, even if he uses that skill infinitely, he could still easily kill him, Dugu Wanjian said. Boss, he has an extra helper this time. It's that playboy on the leaderboard. He's quite powerful. Of course, that wasn't important. The most important thing is that by Ye's defense is ridiculous. I only dealt 20 damage to him with triple sword chi. No one else can break his defense. He probably has gold rank armor on him. Without a gold rank weapon, we can't fight him. Yeah, I got it. How's the damage? The equipment drop mechanism. It's all gone. In the game, if a player was killed by another player, they would randomly drop one of five pieces of equipment. There was no so-called distinction of who attacked first. Apart from the equipment they were wearing, the equipment that could be dropped also included the items in their storage bags. Although equipment drops were random, the higher the grade of the equipment, the easier it was to drop them. Currently, everyone only had one piece of bronze equipment at most. The rest were beginner equipment or steel equipment. If only one piece of equipment was dropped, there was a chance of keeping the bronze equipment. However, if one was unlucky, two, three, or even five pieces of equipment would drop. Good equipment was hard to keep. Only when everyone had better equipment in their storage bags would they be able to keep the good equipment. Of course, if they permanently died, all their equipment would drop. Dugu Wanjian was silent for a second and said, You will bear the losses. Yes. Impressive. While Chu Bai and Playboy walked toward the Demon Dragon Cave, Chu Bai praised the other man. Hee hee, Big Brother is still the best. Your talent is really amazing. Unlimited skill release, right? Chu Bai nodded, but did not elaborate. Everyone now knew that his skill was unlimited, but they definitely did not know the specifics. Yes, yes. Your skills are also quite cool. After your muscle expansion, your bodily functions can even allow you to jump more than 5 meters high. Moreover, the combination of those two skills is savage, Chu Bai said. Hee hee, big brother, let's add each other as friends. Ding. Playboy requests to add you as a friend. Do you accept? Agreed. Seeing that Chu Bai had agreed to his friend request, the playboy put on an excited expression. So cool. He laughed foolishly. Let's go. We still have a mission to complete. They walked forward. Along the way, there were other players who were farming monsters. There were still quite a lot of them. Almost all the players had gathered near the Demon Dragon Cave. After all, it would be a waste not to go on a mission with extra experience points. In front of him, the terrain gradually became similar to the mountain range where he had met Lil Schwer previously. Wow, what a beautiful little fox. Little Schwer who was lying on Chu Bai's shoulder, immediately attracted the attention of many girls. Wow, so beautiful, so cute, so cute. They all gathered around. Lord Bai Yi, can I touch her? She's so cute. Eh? Playboy was immediately pushed aside by everyone. Lil Shuer looked at these girls and weakly lay on Chu Bai's shoulder. Wow, big watery eyes. I can't take it. It's killing me. How can it be so cute? I want it so bad. Bai Yi, are you selling your pet? I'll pay 10,000 gold coins. Hearing this, Playboy's eyes lit up. This rich lady. Chu Bai shook his head. Sorry, I'm not selling. Playboy stood there and clenched his fists. One day, I want to have such a cute pet too. Many people around were shouting. Brothers, I'm a level 5 swordsman and have two skills. Currently, there's a fire mage in my team. I'm looking for a priest and a heavenly shield to enter the demon dragon cave. Is there a team that wants me? I'm a level 4 summoner. I'm 36 D. 20 years old. I'm a professional priest. Do you want to team up? The demon dragon cave quest was a good place to farm monsters, but most people wanted to form teams to advance. This was safer, although the experience would be shared. Lord Bai Yi, Lord Bai Yi, Lord Bai Yi, are you short of mages? I can help. Lord Bai Yi, I'm 36 D, height 170, weight 100, please form a team with me. Get lost. 
Lord Bai Yi, I'm 36F, height 170, weight 102. Do you want to team up with me? What? I'm heavier than her. So Lord Bai Yi wouldn't want me? Why don't you take a look at where those extra two pounds are? When Chu Bai came to the place, there were naturally a large number of players who wanted to join his team. Obviously, Chu Bai rejected them all. Brother, she's 36F. It's the real deal. How can you reject her? Playboy asked. If you want to be with her, go ahead yourself. I won't get in your way. After saying that, Chu Bai walked forward. After passing through the crowd, Chu Bai and the Playboy arrived at the true Demon Dragon Cave. There were already many players here. The Demon Dragon Cave had a total of 360 caves. The entrances to these caves were different, and there were monsters inside. As for whether it was connected inside, everyone had just entered and no one knew at the moment. Brother, which one are we going to? Playboy asked. Whatever. Pick the nearest one. Okay. Then they walked straight in. The space inside was huge and quite dark. The monsters outside had already been dealt with by the players who had entered before them. They quickly walked deeper inside. In about ten minutes, they encountered the crowd in front of them. In the huge space, hundreds of players were fighting a large number of monsters. No, the strength of the monsters here is a little high. Brothers, are there any priests? Heal me. I've used up all my potions. The priest in my party has been stabbed to death by the poisonous bead. Are there any other priests? Come to my party. Chu Bai cast a scanning spell. Venomous Demon Spider, Level, 7, Grade, Bronze Monster, Health Points, 1800. Originally an ordinary spider living in the Demonic Dragon Cave, due to the interference of Demonic Chi, it turned into a powerful Venomous Demon Spider. It is relatively fast, and its body is venomous. It is relatively dangerous. Buff. Kill the Venomous Demon Spider and obtain an additional 30% EXP. Skill. Toxic Sprint. Locks onto a target, then accelerates and rushes over, stabbing the target with its sharp front claws, causing damage with a 3-second poison effect. Cooldown. 10 seconds. Poison Silk Entanglement. Spits out poisonous threads. The target that is hit will be imprisoned for 10 seconds. The imprisoned target will have to break free. Cooldown. 30 seconds. Ding. You have obtained the ultimate skill, Poison Silk Entanglement. Ding. You have obtained the ultimate skill, Lightning Strike. Ding. You have obtained an ultimate skill. Surrounded by people, Chu Bai instantly received more than 20 ultimate moves. It's great lord Bai Yi. If we follow Bai Yi, won't we be able to reach the end? We've triggered a quest. This can be considered a small dungeon. We've already encountered two bronze bosses in the beginning. I'm afraid there's still a gold boss behind us. Chu Bai took out God Slaying Calamity and rushed over. Flaming Triple Slash. Minus 260, minus 260, minus 1040. Ding. You have triggered Divine Slaughter S 200% damage effect. The third attack dealt double damage and triggered another 200% effect, directly breaking through 1000. Oh my god, is this Bai Yi? The players were stunned. Normal attack 260, occasionally dealing over 1000 damage. I can deal dozens of damage in one attack and only exceed 100 after using a skill. No wonder his level is so high. The efficiency of killing monsters is on a completely different level. Playboy's muscles bulged as he jumped on top of a venomous demon spider and pounded its head. Minus 201. Minus 201. Minus 203. The players were secretly shocked when they saw this. Was there such a huge gap between players? Everyone joined in on the farming. Chu Bai threw all sorts of fireballs and lightning spells here and there. There was no need to use Whirlwind. There were too many players around, and they were not on the same team. They could get swept up by accident. In a short while, Chu Bai had already taken out no less than 10 venomous demon spiders. Boss. It's the boss. Suddenly, a huge creature appeared in front of them. An ordinary venomous demon spider was only 2 meters in size, but this one was no less than 4 meters tall. Its entire body was black, and its six legs were sharp and slender. It had a pair of red eyes and a constantly squirming mouth. It looked terrifying. 
Venomous Demon Spider King, Level, 10, Grade, Silver Boss, Health Points, 8000, King of the Venomous Demon Spiders, possesses larger size and destructive power. Skill, Toxic Sprint, locks onto a target, then accelerates and rushes over, stabbing the target with its sharp front claws, causing damage with a 3-second poison effect. Cooldown, 10 seconds. Poison Silk Entanglement. Spits out poisonous threads. The target that is hit will be imprisoned for 10 seconds. The imprisoned target will have to break free. Cooldown, 30 seconds. Ultrasonic Wave. Accumulates power for 1 second, then releases a powerful ultrasonic wave that deals great damage to all enemies within the range of the ultrasonic wave. There is an 80% chance of stun for 3 seconds. Cooldown, 3 minutes. Everyone, a level 10 silver boss. The highest level I've seen before is only level 8. This might be the first level 10 silver boss. This ultrasonic wave feels like it can insta-kill me. No, I have to flee. I only have 350 HP. A level 10 silver boss should easily be able to deal more than 350 damage in one hit, right? With Bai Yi around, what are you afraid of? Chu Bai's target was the venomous demon Spider King. Swordsman Slash With the Swordsman Slash's acceleration effect, Chu Bai directly stabbed forward. Minus 3,120. A huge damage number appeared above. Venomous Demon Spider King, S Head. Ding. You have triggered Divine Slaughter, S 1000% damage effect. Divine Slaughter, all attacks, all attack skills, ignore levels, ignore levels, 10% chance to cause 200% damage, 1% chance to cause 1000% damage, 0.1% chance to cause 10,000% damage, 0.01% to cause 1 million percent damage, and 0.001 to cause 1 billion percent damage. The Divine Slaughter effect of God Slaying Calamity had a 1% chance of dealing 10 times the damage. He had finally triggered it for the first time. The surrounding people were dumbfounded. The 8,000 HP was instantly reduced by more than a third. This is Bai Yi. Playboy stood there. A level 9 player dealing more than 3,000 damage to a level 10 silver boss? I'm dumbfounded. As for the Venomous Demon Spider King, its HP bar was instantly reduced by a huge amount. It was instantly dumbfounded, and its body shone with red light. Ultrasonic Wave. Run. The boss has been forced to use his ultimate skill. Everyone ran out. Ultrasonic Wave. Ding. You have obtained the ultimate skill. Ultrasonic Wave. Ultrasonic Wave. Accumulates power for one second and then releases a powerful ultrasonic wave. It will cause damage equivalent to mana to all enemies in the range of the ultrasonic wave. There is an 80% chance that it will stun enemies for 3 seconds. There is no cooldown. Minus 190. A damage marker that was not too high for him appeared above Chu Bai's head. Above the other players. Minus 340. Minus 321. Minus 333. With one skill, Everyone who did not manage to escape was insta-killed. After all, none of them had full HP. Playboy's HP bar had also dropped by half. Ding. You are immune to the stun effect. Lil Schwer. Chu Bai turned his head to look at the stun Lil Schwer. There were already more than 15 venomous demon spiders rapidly approaching Lil Schwer. Even though Lil Schwer had 1,200 HP, it was still not enough to resist the demon spiders if they all attacked. Let's form a team. Chu Bai directly sent Playboy a party invitation. After forming a team, one would not be injured by his teammates. Then, Ultrasonic Wave. Ding. You have triggered Divine Slaughter S 200% damage effect. Whoosh. Minus 1380. All the monsters receive the same damage. Other than the Venomous Demon Spider King, all the other Venomous Demon Spiders were instantly killed. Playboy stood there his huge, muscular arms trembling slightly. So ruthless? Meanwhile, the venomous demon Spider King was stunned on the spot. Ultrasonic Wave. Chubai released it again. Minus 690. Ultrasonic Wave. Minus 690. The one-second charge skill had an 80% three-second stun effect. The venomous demon Spider King could not even move. Ding. Playboy has left the party. 
Chu Bai was slightly stunned when he heard the system notification. However, the last ultrasonic wave had already been released. Minus 690, minus 690. The poisonous Spider King was instantly killed, and Casanova's HP bar was almost emptied. Ding. Congratulations on killing the venomous Demon Spider King. Ding. Your level has increased to level 10. Health points plus 10. Mana points plus 10. You have received 5 points to freely distribute attributes. Ding. Lil Schwer has leveled up to level 4. Health points plus 100. MP plus 1000. Magic attack plus 100. What's wrong with you? Chu Bai frowned as he looked at Playboy who was almost killed by him. Playboy scratched his head and said, I wouldn't want to take your experience points. Hearing this, Chu Bai was not sure how to feel. In this game, people were used to seeing each other cheat and be cold-blooded. Especially after Feng Ling's betrayal, it was even harder to make a true friend. Everyone was afraid that their so-called friends would stab them in the back for benefits. However, Playboy's actions made Chu Bai very emotional. Aren't you afraid of being insta-killed by me? Chu Bai said in a deep voice. If he accidentally killed him, Chu Bai would feel very guilty. Chu Bai would not feel remorse if he killed someone who had a grudge against him, but Playboy was at least his friend now, and he even shared his thoughts with him. It's fine. I saw your damage, big brother. I have 700 HP. I just recovered it. Didn't you see I can sometimes do extra damage? He was glad that he did not trigger double the damage this time. Forget it. Chu Bai added, don't do this again. Hee <laughs> hee, got it, big brother. Playboy immediately smiled and ran to Chu Bai's side to hug him. Big brother, I love you. Really? Playboy was really happy. In a world where it was kill or be killed, who would not be selfish? Therefore, seeing Chu Bai say this, Playboy felt that he was fully committed to this big brother. Get lost, Chu Bai said testily. Ding. As your level has reached the requirement, the second move of Ode of the Phoenix, Double Phoenix Flight, has been activated. Double Phoenix Flight, the second skill of the Ode of the Phoenix, Magic Attack, summons two Phoenix Phantoms. Each Phoenix Phantom can release Feather Impact for 3 seconds, 10 feathers release per second, each feather deals damage equivalent to mana on impact. Mana cost, 500, cooldown time, 2 days. Strong, Chu Bai commented approvingly. Each of the two Phoenix Phantoms would cast a 3-second Feather Impact. There were 10 Feather Attacks per second. The two of them had 20 Feather Impacts per second. 3 seconds meant 60 Feather Impacts. Each damage was equivalent to the mana score. If Chu Bai had 1,000 mana, that meant that if all of them hit, this skill would cause 60,000 damage. The higher the mana, the higher the damage. It seemed that he had to think of a way to increase the upper limit of his mana. If Lil Schwer released this skill, it would be a bomb. Then, Chu Bai looked at the dozens of equipment on the ground. Among the dozens of items, there were 10 pieces of bronze equipment. The Silver Boss, the Venomous Demon Spider King, dropped one bronze equipment and one silver equipment. Is there anything you need? Chu Bai asked. No, I have a full set of bronze equipment. I don't need any of this. Chu Bai put them away. The silver weapon that dropped was a silver sword so he did not need it. In the interspatial ring, there was also a set of silver-grade combat pants that he had obtained from killing Jean Tian. Chu Bai had also equipped it now. Then, he equipped a bronze wrist guard, and his attributes increased. Green wolf pants, grade, silver, usage level, 5, usage requirements, melee class, attributes, health points plus 200, defense plus 20, leg damage reduced by 10%. Skill none. Wolf Wrist Guard, Grade, Bronze, Usage Level, 5, Usage Requirements, Melee Class, Attributes, Health Points plus 120, Defense plus 12, Wrist Damage Decreased by 5%. Skill, none. Then, Chu Bai looked at the attributes. Character, Bai Yi. Level, 10. Title, none. Hunger, 80. Reputation, 211,000. Three fixed attributes. Luck, 25. Charm, 25. Comprehension, 25. Four basic attributes. Constitution, 30. Spirit, 60. Strength, 120. Agility, 30. Health points, 
1620. Mana, 700. Attack power, 270. Magic attack, 120. Defense, 202. Movement speed, 112. Critical strike rate, 0. His health was really high. Other ordinary players only had 300 plus HP, and the HP they gained from leveling up was very low. Basically, they relied on their equipment to increase it. Hence, those with slightly better equipment generally had 600 to 700 HP or 800 to 900 HP. For example, Playboy, Jean Tion, and some others were like that. There was a bronze equipment that could increase one's HP by around 500. However, how many bronze equipment could there be at this stage? Hence, the average HP of players was less than 400. At level 10, he could go to the trial. However, there was no hurry. He had to complete this mission first. Lil Schwer. Woo! Lil Schwer cried out before jumping onto Chu Bai's shoulder to lie down. Let's go inside and take a look, Chu Bai said to Playboy. All right. They ventured deeper. After walking for more than 10 minutes, they did not encounter a single monster. However, there were traces that had been made by others. Clearly, hundreds of cave entrances were connected after entering. Some people entered through other entrances at a faster speed were ahead of them now. Doesn't that mean that we have less to farm? What a loss, Playboy said. It doesn't matter. There will definitely be more. Three forks appeared ahead, leading in three different directions. Run. The gold monster is too ruthless. This demon dragon cave is not a dungeon map that we can challenge at this stage. More than ten players ran out of one of the holes in a panic. Lord Bai Yi. Then they saw Bai Yi. What's going on inside? Chu Bai asked. The health bars of those players were relatively low. It seemed like it was quite dangerous inside. There's a group of gold monsters inside. They're between level 5 and 8, but they're all gold monsters. We can't defeat them. The level 5 gold monster has 3000 HP, and our attacks only deal 20 to 30 damage. The gold monsters can easily reduce half of our HP in one shot. We really can't fight them, a player explained. Gold monsters were gold monsters, and gold bosses were gold bosses. They could not be confused for one another. However, gold monsters still had a chance of dropping gold equipment. Bronze and silver equipment had a higher chance. However, the attributes of these drops were inferior to the equipment dropped by the boss. Gold monster. Big brother, that's a lot of EXP. If the two of us fight together, we will definitely kill tons, Playboy said excitedly. Chubai said, there might be a gold boss. Be careful. Let's go in. Okay. Chubai glanced at Lil Schwer on his shoulder and said, Lil Schwer, after you enter, find a safe place to hide. Just heal us at any time. Woo. Lil Schwer nodded her little head vigorously. Then, Chubai and Playboy walked into the tunnel ahead. Are we following? The players looked at each other. Bai Yi and Playboy are both experts on the leaderboard. What are we afraid of? We can just follow behind them and pick up scraps? All right. Enter. Then, the players followed while healing themselves. In front of them was a small space, about 500 square meters. There were dozens of monsters wandering around. It looked like they had just experienced a battle. Some players had died and their equipment had dropped on the ground. Dark Magic Stone. Grade. Gold. Level, 5. Health points, 3,000. Originally, it was just an ordinary stone in the Demon Dragon Cave. Under the influence of the powerful demonic chi, it evolved into a dark magic stone. Its movements are rather clumsy, but its defense and attack power is strong. It's quite troublesome. Skill, Magic Stone Impact. Gather three magic stones and blast them at three locations, dealing huge damage to units that are directly hit. After hitting or touching a structure, it will explode with an explosion range of 5 meters. Cool down. 30 seconds. Mount Ties Slam. Charge for 2 seconds on the spot. During the charging period, your defense will increase by 200%. Then, jump to a location and deal huge damage to the target. 12 in total. Let's go. As soon as Chu Bai finished speaking, he immediately released a whirlwind. Five huge dark magic stones were swept into the air on the spot. Then, the second and third whirlwinds created more wind clouds. 
All twelve monsters were in the air. Brothers, attack from afar. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. The players who came in from behind fired at the dark magic stone from afar. Boom. Chu Bai simply released another whirlwind. The twelve gold monsters could not get down at all and were hit by the wind. Minus 270, minus 270, minus 270. Playboy rushed over, his fists striking the targets. The seemingly powerful dark magic stone could not even use its skills. It was doomed to death. Chu Bai and Playboy were in a team, so he only needed to use control effects on the monsters. Lil Schwer stood not far away and yawned. Why is there such a huge gap between players? Is Baia's talent really limitless? Isn't this ridiculous? One person against twelve gold-tier monsters. All twelve of them can't even get down from the sky. If I had this ability, I could go anywhere I liked. This is too insane. Gold Equipment they looked over and saw that the twelve monsters had dropped a piece of gold equipment among them. Chubai walked over and picked it up. A golden sword. Magic stone greatsword. Clap. 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 At this moment, applause came from behind. Finally, I've witnessed the battle of Bai Yi for myself. Qingqiu Yinma walked over with a group of dozens of girls. At the other entrance, it's Bai Yi. Old Dream Tian Yu walked in with hundreds of people from the Fengling Dynasty. When he saw Chu Bai, his eyes narrowed. Hall Master, the space here is too small. Bai Yi can't escape. Should we? One of them approached Old Dream Tian Yu and made a throat slitting gesture. That's right. We have more people. Block the entrances. The rest of us will forcefully kill him with damage. I think it's possible. Our equipment is not bad. We can try fighting. What do you think? Old Dream Tian Yu asked the people behind him. He felt that it was feasible. After all, he still had a flame scroll in his hands. In such a place, it was like catching a turtle in a jar. Obviously, they did not know about the battle between Chu Bai and World of Sword. After all, they were already inside the Demon Dragon Cave when that battle started. As for Tian Xing's one point damage to Chu Bai, not many people had seen it. Either that, or they did not take it to heart. After all, like World of Sword, they had collected a lot of equipment since then. Along the way, they had dropped nearly ten pieces of bronze equipment. Kill. Kill him. Do you think the Fengling Dynasty is afraid of a single person? We're just catching a turtle in a jar. Let's kill him. Destroy him. The people from the Fengling Dynasty echoed. All right. Our men will quietly surround him first. Then. Their people entered this space and walked over slowly, intentionally or otherwise, until they surrounded the periphery. At this moment, Chu Bai glanced at Qingqiu Yanma and asked, Gold weapon, do you want it? Of course, I'll take everything, Qingqiu Yanma said with a smile. From the corner of her eye, she looked around. Whoosh. Then, dozens of bronze weapons and a few silver weapons gathered into a small mountain in front of Chu Bai. These were all dropped from those people from World of Sword. When the other players saw this scene, their eyes widened. Xiao Yu, bring some people to check them out. Yes, President. Then, a dozen girls walked over to count the equipment. In next to no time, Xiao Yu walked over to Qingqiu Yinma's side and whispered into her ear. Qingqiu Yinma nodded. How much in total? Chu Bai asked. Thirty-two bronze weapons, three silver weapons, and one gold weapon. I'll give you three million, Qingqiu Yinma said. You can just transfer me five million, Chu Bai said. What? Qingqiu Yinma was stunned for a moment before she reacted and smiled. No problem. When old dream Tian Yu saw so many pieces of equipment, he was even more certain that he was going to make a move. Prepare to attack. Whoosh. Before they could move, a figure suddenly flashed over. His muscles popped up as he grabbed two players, and threw them into the crowd of the Fong Ling dynasty. Playboy stood there, holding two players who were instantly killed and turned into white light. Everyone, if you don't make a move, I'll have to make a move first. With that, Playboy unleashed his power. Group taunt. When he heard Chu Bai's words, he guessed what they meant. The offer was three million, but Bai Yi told Qinxiu Yanma to give five million. Where did the other two million come from? Where else but the equipment of the people from the Fengling dynasty? At the same time, a ball of flames condensed on Chu Bai's body. 
In such a sealed place, the first move of the Ode of the Phoenix, Sky Dance, was extremely effective. When Qingqiu Yinma saw this scene, the corners of her mouth curled up slightly. Then, she raised her hand and waved it behind her, indicating for her people to retreat into the passageway. Do it! Old Dream Tianyu shouted and took out the Raging Flame Scroll. Chu Bai glanced at those people. I'll give you ten seconds now. If you retreat, I'll spare your lives. Is that merciful enough? The corners of Chu Bai's mouth curled up slightly. Ten, nine. Someone was hesitating. After all, some of them were still afraid. One. Everyone was speechless. Does one come right after nine? Since ten seconds have passed, you can't say that I didn't give you a chance. Crack. Old Dream Tion, you crushed the scroll. They were in a party together, so the flame scrolls could not harm the people of the Fengling dynasty. Brothers, don't listen to his nonsense. Just do it. Raging flames burned the area. Chu Bai directly put Lil Shuer into his pet space. Ah. Before the other players could escape, they were surrounded by a sea of flames, and the damage above their heads continued to drop. Charge. Kill. Kill Bai Yi. I'm the best. Stop pretending. Do you think you're invincible as a level 9 player? Don't let him use his ultimate move. Insta kill him. They charged into the inferno. Their teammates' damage was zero, so they could swim freely in the sea of fire. Densely packed attacks haphazardly surged toward Chu Bai. Attack Bai Yi. Attack and use all your skills. However, minus one. A damage number appeared on Chu Bai's body, making them dumbfounded when they saw it. Talent skill. Everyone, use your talent skill on him. Old Dream Tian Yu shouted. Ding. You have been hit by weakness. All attributes decreased by 10%. Duration. 10 seconds. Ding. You are immune to the weakness effect. Ding. You are immune to speed reduction. As for Chu Bai, he immediately released Sky Dance. Sky Dance summons a phoenix phantom and select a 30-meter radius, raises a pillar of flames and deals damage of 10 asterisk current attack power to all enemies within the range. It also has an additional 10 seconds of burning effect. Burning. HP will be lost every second. Then, the phoenix phantom attacks and deals 20 asterisk current attack power damage to all enemies within a 100-meter radius. At the same time, it has an additional 10 seconds of burning effect and an additional 5% instant death effect. Mana cost, 500. Cooldown, one day. How can he still use that skill? Seeing this scene, the people of the Fengling dynasty were dumbfounded. Such an awesome skill. Can it still be used today after it was released yesterday? No. Shouldn't such an awesome skill take a week, or even half a month to cool down? This is too much. When they attacked, they clearly felt that it was impossible for this skill to still be usable. Otherwise, why would they dare to rush in? When Old Dream Tian Yu saw this scene, he cursed inwardly. I don't believe it. Steel. Then, he directly released his steel, talent to Chu Bai. Ding. You have obtained 50% of player by Ye's attributes. Lasts for one minute. His attack is so high. Looking at his 135 extra attack power, Old Dream Tian Yu was shocked. Then, he held the sword and condensed the skill. Sword Chi. Whoosh. The sword Chi hit. Minus 99. His current attack power was 200, and this skill dealt an additional 50% damage. Therefore, in theory, this skill could deal 300 points of damage. Why did it only deal so little damage? His defense. Old Dream Tian Yu glanced at his extra 100 defense points. Bai Yi had 200 defense? Whoosh. After that, he ran straight into one of the passageways. Damn it. Running away? Playboy knew that Chu Bai was going to use that skill, so he followed Qingqiu Yanma into one of the tunnels. Seeing that old dream Tian Yu was about to run, he chased after him, even if it meant going through the sea of fire. When he came out, he was already at half health. Little brat, you only know how to run, don't you? Playboy cursed as he chased after Old Dream Tianyu. If anyone else dared to chase after him with half their health, the Old Dream Tianyu would definitely rush over to kill them. However, Playboy was still in the top 10 of the level rankings. He did not dare to challenge him. Moreover, these muscles looked super scary. He would not turn around. 
How is he so fast? Playboy chased after him and realized that old dream Tianyu was pulling further and further away. He knew that he could not catch up, so he stopped. What level of shoes is he wearing? Why is his movement speed so fast? Playboy was confused. Outside, old dream Tianyu had escaped, but his footsteps did not stop, afraid that someone would chase after him. After running for a while, he turned around and saw that Playboy was no longer there. Old Dream Tian Yu stopped. I've spent all my points on agility. How else do you think I can run so fast? Old Dream Tian Yu spat and cursed under his breath. Ever since he had suffered a loss at Chu Bai's hands, all his attributes after leveling up had been added to agility. He was only thinking of running faster. As a swordsman, he did not want to be forced to add points to agility, but he had no choice. On the other side, Chu Bai had taken care of all the Fengling Dynasty players. He did not care how many people would die for real here. It was kill or be killed. Why should he care? There was no need to care at all. I won't sell these assassin, mage, and swordsman's equipment. You can take the rest, Chu Bai said to Qingqiu Yanma. Those equipment were reserved for Jiang Qianyue. Sure. Qingqiu Yanma smiled. World of Sword and the Fengling Dynasty had put in so much effort to buy a bunch of equipment at a high price. Now that they were all in her hands, it was as easy as blowing off dust. Contact me anytime if you restock in the future, Qingqiu Yinma smiled and said to Chu Bai. Some of the surviving passers-by could not help but laugh when they heard this. Bai Yi looting players counted as restocking? However, there did not seem to be anything wrong with that statement. If there were dozens of equipment at once, would that not be equivalent to buying goods? Brother. Playboy ran over. That be asterisk starred ran too fast. I couldn't catch up, Playboy said angrily. It's fine. It's only a matter of time before we kill him, Chu Bai said indifferently. Lord Bai Yi, I'll leave you be now. I won't hold you back, Ching Chiu Yin Ma said. Yeah, sure. With that, Ching Chiu Yin Ma led her people deeper into one of the tunnels. Let's go. Chu Bai, on the other hand, was satisfied with how things turned out. He and Playboy moved forward. Soon, they passed through the tunnel and arrived in front of a black stone door. Three words were written on the stone door, Demon Dragon Cave. There were two small holes on both sides of the stone door of the Demon Dragon Cave. This should be where the two soul-suppressing banners were to be inserted. However, the stone door was wide open. Strange, according to the village chief, our goal here is to seal off the demon dragon cave. In theory, this door should be closed, right? Why is it open now? Playboy looked confused. Unless we're too late, Chu Bai muttered. They walked in. It was empty. Did the monster run out? Playboy said in shock. Boom. At this moment, they heard a loud bang from afar. The two of them quickly ran out and inserted the soul-suppressing banner at the corresponding locations. However, there was no effect. Ding. All players in Starter Village 77777, please take note. The boss of the Demon Dragon Cave, Three-Headed Demon Dragon Emperor, has broken the seal and is attacking the Starter Village. All players, please return to defend the village. All monsters with demonic chi killed by players will grant an additional 50% EXP bonus. Take note that once the Starter Village is destroyed, the entire village will disappear and all players will die. Under the influence of the powerful demonic chi, all players currently cannot log off. Ding. All players in Starter Village 77777, please take note. Ding. Urgent system notifications kept ringing in everyone's minds. Everyone was stunned. Someone tried to log off, but a system notification made them despair. Ding. The novice village you are currently in is surrounded by a powerful demonic chi. You cannot go offline. I can't go offline? How can I not go offline in this game? Isn't this a scam? Are they forcing us to kill this three-headed demon dragon emperor? What level of monster is it? Where is it? Brothers gather. A holy annihilation boss. Do we have to fight that? What? A holy annihilation boss? You want a group of players below level 10 to fight a boss like that? Is this game crazy? Are you trying to kill us here? Everyone was dumbfounded. Chu Bai and Playboy rushed out. At this moment, the sky was already enveloped by a thick, demonic chi. 
The demonic chi was moving in the direction of the beginner village. In the surroundings, monsters that appeared out of nowhere rushed toward the beginner village like crazy. Let's return to the village first, Chu Bai hurriedly said. Even if they could fight many monsters, they would definitely die under such circumstances. They had to gather first. They ran to the farming point of the level zero monster bristle boar and watched helplessly as the demonic chi entered the body of the boar. Every bristle boar twitched on the ground and then grew larger. Their tusks became longer and their eyes emitted red light. Demonized wild boar, grade, none, level, zero, health points, 1,500. Creatures that have been demonized by demonic chi. Even though their level is very low, after being demonized, their speed, strength, and power have all increased significantly. They will go crazy and attack anything in sight. Skill. Charge. Increases speed by 50% and charges at a target, causing increased damage. If the target is hit in a critical area, the damage will increase by 300%. Demonic Chi Transformation. Releases a stream of demonic chi and rapidly attacks, dealing damage to the target. All attributes will be reduced by 10% for 10 seconds. Cooldown. One minute. Countless players had gathered here. This group of demonized boars was still easily killed by the crowd. What the hell? Then, the players looked ahead. A black mass of monsters was rushing over. Tens of thousands of players were gathered here. In the distant void, a huge dragon could be vaguely spotted in the black fog. Three heads could be vaguely seen. At this moment, the NPCs in the village, including the village chief, walked over. Village chief. Chu Bai and the playboy walked up to him. Our mission failed. When we got there, the stone door was already opened, Chu Bai said. The village chief nodded. Yes, I already know. I don't blame you. This is a calamity for our village. Then, the village chief said, It's just that I never expected that it was a three-headed demon dragon emperor that was sealed in this demon dragon cave. Village chief, is there anything special about this three-headed demon dragon emperor? Playboy asked. The village chief said simply, The three-headed demonic dragon emperor is a legendary monster. Ten thousand years ago, a shocking war broke out between humans, monsters, demons, beasts, and the gods. We called it the War of the Gods. It was a war between the four races against the demons. And the three-headed demon dragon emperor is one of the twelve demon generals under the demon god. His strength is extremely terrifying and he can even fight against the seven guardians of our human race. A player came over. Who are these seven guardians? The village chief explained, the supreme beings of the human race, the guardians of the three goddesses. Their strength is only below the three goddesses. There are a total of seven professions on the continent. These seven individuals are the pinnacle of these seven professions. They are responsible for protecting the destiny continent, and their strength has even reached the level of Holy Seal. Then, the village chief continued, Rumor has it that the war divided the entire Destiny Continent into five continents, which are the current Destiny Continent of the human race, the Monster God Continent of the Monster Race, the Demon God Continent of the Demon Race, the Beast God Continent of the Beast Race, and the Myriad God Continent of the God Race. After the war, the prosperous gods entered the Aragami Era. An ancient demon god of the demon race left behind a prophecy. After 10,000 years, the continent will return to the golden age again. At the same time, there will be chaos. The cause of the chaos is unknown. The five races will have another world-shaking war. And it might even destroy the entire continent. Everyone was taking a wait-and-see approach for this prophecy. However, there's another point to this prophecy. 10,000 years later, Adventurers from other worlds will enter the Destiny Continent. These adventurers from other worlds will join the humans, monsters, demons, beasts, and gods. They will help the corresponding races obtain victory in the War of the Gods 10,000 years later. From the looks of it, the adventurers from the other world, which are you all, have already appeared. This means that the prophecy is true. The 10,000 year period is almost upon us. The players looked at each other. In other words, we have to choose our race when the time comes, right? Someone asked. Yes. Before leaving the novice village, you will face a choice, 
which is to join any of the five races. We have no right to interfere with this choice, the village chief said. This news had not been released yet, so they did not know about it. Therefore, players of different races would be their opponents. Then, what was the ultimate quest of this game? The system had not revealed it yet. The village chief continued. The prophecy also said that five divine children will appear among the five races. They are the key to the victory of the second war of the gods. Perhaps the divine child of the human race will be among you. The players looked at each other again. The village chief looked ahead with a solemn expression and said, Now is the time for the survival of the village. Adventurers from the other world, if we work together, we might have a chance of survival. At this moment, a player shouted, Brothers, this boss is definitely not something we can handle. Our goal is the large horde of monsters. Previously, we fought each other to the death, but now, we're all in the same boat. If we want to survive, each of us has to do our best. Brothers, don't think about it anymore. The monster is charging over. It's time to attack. Priest sisters, pay attention to healing me. I'm going to charge. Kill. Kill. For a moment, Tens of thousands of players rushed toward the large horde of monsters that were rushing over. Old Dream Tion Yu raised his sword. In order to survive, he no longer cared about messing around with Chu Bai. Everyone from the Fengling Dynasty, follow me. Ching Chiu Yinma called, Sisters of Rose Paradise, team up and mow down the monsters. Swordsmen and heavenly shields at the front. Assassins pick off the monsters. Mages, archers, use long-range attacks. Summoner, summon monsters to the fight. I will protect the priests. Don't fall behind. Go. Whoosh. Everyone rushed over. Big brother, let's go too, Playboy urged Chubai. Yes, let's go. Whoosh. They rushed over together. Whirlwind. Chubai was against such a large number of monsters. Even though his whirlwind could only knock away five monsters at a time, the second part of the hurricane could sweep up a large number of monsters at once. It could be released without any consumption, so the monsters could not rush over at all. Brothers, it's safe there if you follow by ye. These monsters' levels and grades are generally not high. It's still acceptable. Brothers, if we can survive this time, then won't the levels of our players in Starter Village 7777 be explosively high? The village chief looked at the void in the distance and the huge, three-headed demon dragon emperor that was rolling in the black mist. This monster is absorbing demonic chi. He's only at the grade of Saint Destroyer now. If he continues to absorb it, he might be able to return to his peak state. Once he does, then, we're dead for sure, the village chief said. The blacksmith was holding a huge hoe. But, which one of us can attack that monster? It's in the sky, so we can't even hit it. At this moment, Huang Exian walked over. Miss Huang. The village chief looked at her. Huang Exian raised her head and looked at the void with her beautiful eyes. Senior sword god, we should make our move. Huang Exian turned to the village chief and said, Huh. The villagers were all dumbfounded. The village chief revealed a smile. I didn't expect that you would still recognize me. May I ask when you did? The village chief asked Huang Exian. The sword god was one of the seven guardians appointed by the three goddesses of the land of fate. He was a swordsman of the seven major professions and was respectfully called the sword god. When I was in the land of fate, I was fortunate enough to come into contact with seniors' inherited power. After coming to the village, I went to the dark abyss a few years ago and felt this aura again. I didn't gain anything, so I came out. I happened to meet the village chief who was picking herbs in the forest. At that time, I suspected that the village chief was the sword god from 10,000 years ago. The village chief sighed. Ah, I'm old and useless. Otherwise, I could have dealt with this three-headed demon dragon emperor by myself. It's all my fault. If I could go deep into the demon dragon cave, I would have used the demon suppressing pillar to suppress it. Now that I think about it, these adventurers from the foreign world are really amazing. Even such a terrible demon chi can't affect them. Huang Exian said indifferently, You're calling yourself useless, but that's because of the great battle 10,000 years ago. Senior, you were seriously injured, which caused your cultivation base to regress. You haven't fully recovered until now, right? You're the sword god. 
So why did you come here? The village chief looked at the three-headed demon dragon emperor in the sky and said, It was because of this beast that we were seriously injured in the battle. When we woke up, we were in this small world that the three goddesses had created by force, and we were never able to leave. I guess the goddesses didn't expect me to be here either. After that, I spent a few decades to recover a little. I wanted to find this beast, but I found that the place was already filled with demonic chi, and I couldn't get close. What's the reason for the dark abyss? That place is so strange, Huang Exine asked. The village chief shook his head. I don't know. I'm afraid it was already here when I arrived at this place. I've wanted to go there several times to find out, but I've never found anything. Huang Exian nodded and raised her head again, her beautiful eyes looking into the void. It's my honor to be able to fight side by side with the legendary sword god. The village chief said, Miss Huang, don't be modest. You're still young, but your cultivation is already so terrifying. You must be an expert in the land of fate. However, you're seriously injured now, and you don't have much cultivation left. Are you sure it's fine? I can try, Huang Exian said. The village chief nodded. Even if I die, it'll be worth it. After all, this is the chance the heavens gave me. After saying that, he stretched out his hand, and a golden light flashed as a sword appeared in his hand. This sword's grade is average, and I don't know where I lost my original weapon. Anyway, let's go. Whoosh! He stepped on the ground with his right foot and rushed into the void with the sword in his hand. A shadow of a phoenix appeared behind Huang Exian. It was burning with flames as it rushed toward the three-headed demon dragon emperor. Huh. Below, many players saw this scene. That's the village chief? Oh my. It really is the village chief. The village chief is an expert? Wait. Who was that woman? She's also an expert. Wow. What a beautiful phoenix. I was wondering why the village chief could give Bai Yi such a powerful skill. It turns out the village chief is an expert. Since he's an expert, it's only natural for him to have powerful skills. I feel like we're going to live. Let's work harder, brothers. Let's just treat it as a group challenge. Charge. Chu Bai also raised his head to take a look. The owner of the pharmacy, Huang Exian, was an expert, which was within his expectations. However, he did not expect the village chief to be an expert. This village chief was really good at acting. When he spoke to him, he looked just like an ordinary village chief with no abilities. Chu Bai did not expect him to be an expert. Reality. Sister Chianyue, Sister Chianyue, bad news? Lu Yufan rushed out with her phone. What's wrong? Zhang Chianyue, who was seated, asked. Something big has happened in Starter Village, 7777. This is a video uploaded by a player from Starter Village, 7777. Zhang Qianyue then took a look. The video showed the players fighting against a large number of monsters, including the battle in the air. Players could connect to the real world and post things on the internet in-game. They would take videos in-game and post them directly. It was just that it could not be broadcasted live. So many monsters? There's such a powerful boss? Then I'll have to go online, Zhang Qianyue said. She had gone online very early, and there were still two hours of game time left. No. Sister Chianyue, look at the post. Trending searches. Hashtag 1SD place. A great dungeon has appeared in Starter Village 7777, and the boss is at the rank of a Saint Destroyer. All players can't go offline. If you can't kill the boss, all players online will die. Comments section. Zhang Xiaofan. F asterisk CK. What the hell? Can't go offline? How can a group of players who haven't even reached level 10 defeat a Saint Destroyer boss? Can this game be like this? Won't they die for sure? Big Orange. Not necessarily. I've seen the video. There seem to be powerful NPCs in Starter Village, 77777. They should be able to deal with the boss. So, for the players of Starter Village, 77777, this is a dungeon where they can kill a lot of monsters and quickly level up. Xiao Jin. But why can't they go offline? I don't really dare to play this game anymore. Hashtag 2 Indie Place. Dungeons with extra experience have appeared in all major starter villages. Players who have been online for a long time have made a big profit, 
while players who went online late at night have lost a lot. Hashtag 3RD Place. By Yi, two playboys are dominating the game with 80 rare skins. Video attached. Hashtag 4 Teach Place. What's by Yez Defense. Hashtag 5 Teach Place. The great god took on 10 people. Zhang Qinyue was speechless. Is God Bai in the game? She asked. Yes, he's there. I wonder if anything happened, Lu Yufan said worriedly. After all, Bai Yi was the newly rising god. Although he had some friction with the Feng Ling dynasty, which was owned by Bai Feng's brother, Feng Ling, whom she liked very much, it was understandable. At this moment, Feng Ling's eyes flickered with a haze as he looked at these hot searches. I really hope that all the players in Starter Village 77777 die. Then, he quickly went online and contacted Old Dream Tianyu. Hall Master. Old Dream Tianyu was fighting for his life. When he received the call, he immediately stepped aside to talk to Feng Ling. What's the situation there? How about the two NPCs who are fighting the three-headed demon dragon emperor? Can you win? Old Dream Tianyu looked up. It seems like I can't beat it either. This is bad. Old Dream Tian Yu's expression changed. That's great, Feng Ling said with a smile. What? Hall Master, did you say that's great? Old Dream Tian Yu asked, stunned. Ah, cough cough. I meant to exhaust the boss to death. Let's see if we can do it. Good luck. I'm going to hang up first. You focus on the battle. Feng Ling hung up the phone after he finished speaking. He smiled after hanging up. Since the situation there was not clear, it was great. Although he wanted to kill Bai Yi himself, it would save him a lot of trouble if he did not have to personally do it. The monsters below were not dangerous. Although there were many of them, the strength of tens of thousands of players working together was not weak. The key was the three-headed demon dragon emperor in the sky. If the three-headed demon dragon emperor did not die, it would be useless even if all the monsters below were killed. The three-headed demon dragon emperor could easily kill all the players. No. Chu Bai raised his head and looked up. The situation was not clear. In that earth-shaking battle, the three-headed demon dragon emperor had the upper hand. Even though the village chief and Huang Xian were not weak and even managed to hit the three-headed demon dragon emperor with their attacks, he felt that it would be difficult to win the battle. Brothers, charge. It's time to counterattack. Brothers of World of Sword, charge with me. Brothers from the Feng Ling dynasty, follow me and kill. Below, the players became more and more courageous as they fought. Soon, they suppressed the group of monsters and launched the horn of counterattack. Lil Schwer, Lil Schwer. Chu Bai called out, and Lil Schwer jumped onto his shoulder. Can you help the two people up there? Chu Bai asked. Lil Schwer looked up and then shook her head. It was too far. This is bad. In the sky, the village chief frowned when he saw the three headed demon dragon emperor gathering power. This is one of the three headed demon dragon emperor's attribute lowering skills. I can't dodge it. How much is the reduction? Huang Xian asked. Half. Her brows also furrowed. If both of their attributes were reduced by 50%, there was no way they could fight. It was difficult for the two of them to fight it together, but they still had a chance to kill it. However, once their attributes were reduced by 50%, then, the three-headed demon dragon emperor would definitely have the opportunity to kill the two of them. Two black lights appeared on the two of them at the same time. Their bodies trembled in the air and their HP bars dropped by half. After that, a terrifying power charged at them. The two of them tried their best to block, but they were unable to do so. Boom. With a loud bang, the village chief and Huang Xian fell from the sky, creating two huge pits. Roar. You think you can kill me? Everyone will die today. In the sky, the three-headed demon dragon emperor roared furiously. Then, it raised its three heads to the sky and opened its three mouths, gathering some kind of black energy. Ding. You've obtained the ultimate skill Withering Demonic Seed. Withering Demonic Seed, a powerful skill from the top boss, the three-headed demon dragon emperor. This is a powerful safeguard for the three-headed demon dragon emperor to effectively kill its opponents. Effects. Select a maximum of three targets. As long as they're within sight, all their attributes will be reduced by 50%, including their HP. 
This skill can only be used once in three days for five minutes. No cooldown. Chu Bai was speechless. This skill was the most outrageous skill Chu Bai had ever encountered. Not only could it reduce all attributes, but it could also forcibly reduce one's HP points by 50%. In other words, 1 trillion HP points could be forcibly reduced to 500 billion HP points? It was so terrifying. The players had defeated tens of thousands of monsters, but they looked at the battle situation again. The two powerhouses from their starter village were actually unable to defeat the three-headed demon dragon emperor. The three-headed demon dragon emperor's HP bar had only dropped by one-tenth, but the two of them, their HP bars were already less than half. Cough, cough dash. The village chief and Huang Exian stood up with their hands on their chests. Their expressions were grave. I'm afraid I'm really going to die here. The village chief wiped off a mouthful of blood. All the players were speechless. We're finished. We're going to die here. Aw. Oh, I don't want to die. I haven't had a girlfriend. I haven't even held a girl's hand. I don't want to die here. Who can let me touch their boobs? I beg you. It's my last wish before I die, boo. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I still have two houses in the school district, three villas, a family property worth more than one billion, three art schools, and 170 girlfriends. I don't want to die, sob sob sob. Everyone broke down. These two experts were their only hope. However, these two experts were about to die, so they could not live either. Heal them. Healers, try to heal them. I've already healed them, but I can't heal the NPCs at all. When they heard this news, they broke down again. Chu Bai brought Lil Shuer and ran to their side. Village chief, Miss Huang. Little brother Bai Yi, I'm really sorry. I've tried my best, but I'm really powerless. The village chief coughed out a mouthful of blood. He already knew that there was no possibility of killing the three-headed demon dragon emperor, because their attributes had been reduced by 50%. They might not even be able to withstand the three-headed demon dragon emperor's next attack. Lil Shuer, Bai Yi said to Lil Shuer. Woo woo. Lil Shuer called out, and then two white lights flashed from the two NPCs' bodies. It's no use. She can't cure us with her power. Before the village chief could finish his words, he stopped in his tracks. Plus one billion, three hundred million. The village chief's HP bar instantly recovered to 90%, and it was the same with Huang Xian. Their HP bars were almost fully restored. With heavenly healing, they could achieve 50% maximum HP recovery. Everyone was speechless. The village chief was speechless. Huang Xian was speechless. 1.3 billion? The village chief directly recovered 1.3 billion HP points? That's 50%? It's super worth it. God buys pet can actually restore health points. Impossible. The skill that she had was definitely not the current one. It definitely wasn't. How can there be a skill that can directly recover 50% of one's HP? We. Do we have a chance to survive? Lil Schwer. Light of the Holy Spirit. Woo woo. With another wave of power, the two's health bars were directly filled up, and the 50% reduction in all attributes disappeared. They revealed expressions of disbelief. What's this? The village chief and Huang Xian looked at Lil Shuer in shock. Village chief, Miss Xiao, don't worry and fight. As long as you don't get killed in an instant, you can recover half of your health in 30 seconds, Chu Bai said to them. Then, Lil Shuer raised her head and called out proudly. Huang Xian was speechless. The village leader was also speechless. All right. The village chief nodded his head excitedly and raised his head while holding the sword. Let's go. Whoosh. The two of them charged forward again. Somewhere. Hubby. Hubby. Bad news. A beautiful woman ran over in a hurry. What's wrong? Don't worry and sit down first. The middle-aged man stood up and placed his hands on the beautiful woman's shoulders to comfort her. They did not look like ordinary people. The aura they exuded was not ordinary, especially in the place they lived in. Even the manor could not compare to it. It's Xiao Xiao. Something happened to Xiao Xiao. The beautiful woman said in a panic. What? What happened to Xiao Xiao? The middle-aged man was completely flustered. Hubby, look. 
Something's happened in Starter Village, 77777. Xiao Xiao can't go offline. The middle-aged man looked at the video. What? If they can't kill the Saint Destroyer boss, they'll all die? The middle-aged man clenched his fists. Hubby, what should we do? What do we do? The beautiful woman sat there and could not help but tear up. Xiao Xiao and Bai Yi are in the same starter village, right? The middle-aged man asked. That's right. Bai Yi is quite capable, and his pet seems to be quite powerful too. The two powerful NPCs in the starter village were saved and went to fight again. But I'm afraid. The middle-aged man held her hand and said, There's nothing we can do now. We can only place our hopes on Bai Yi and those two NPCs. Believe in our daughter. She'll definitely be fine. Starter Village, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7. When the players saw that the village chiefs and Huang Exian's HP bars were full, they joined the battle again. It was like a ray of light at the end of the tunnel. They looked at Chu Bai and Lil Shui in shock. They were so excited that they were trembling. It looks like we're going to survive. There's a chance. We really have a chance to survive. Great God Bai Yi. You have to do your best. I'm begging you. I don't want to die. Great God Bai Yi, can we survive? Many people gathered around Chu Bai and asked with pleading expressions. What were they praying for? They did not know Chu Bai's abilities and trump cards, but they knew that Chu Bai was capable. That was why they wanted to hear from Chu Bai if they could survive. Don't worry, we'll definitely survive, Chu Bai said. That's great. Some of the girls were so happy that they started crying. They covered their mouths to stop themselves from crying. Chu Bai was shocked as well. He had only wanted to let Lil Shuer give it a try, but he did not expect her skill to be effective against these strong people. No wonder Lil Shuer's introduction said that as long as the Calamity Fox was around, there would be no deaths. This kind of expert had billions, or even tens of billions of HP points. The three-headed demon dragon emperor was able to reduce the HP of the village chief and Huang Xian to less than half because of that awesome big move withering demonic seed. Otherwise, the two of them would still be in a good state, and it would take a long time to decide the winner. Now that Lil Schwer could restore half of their HP in 30 seconds, how could they lose? Big brother, you're awesome. I can only say that you're awesome. Playboy ran over and said excitedly to Chu Bai and Lil Schwer who was on his shoulder, Little guy, I love you to death. Some girls ran over. The way they looked at Lil Schwer was no longer just filled with love, but a kind of respect too. It was the same for how they looked at Chu Bai. Since Chu Bai had saved their lives, what was wrong with them respecting him? It was definitely from the bottom of their hearts. This was a life-saving grace. Outside, Many people were paying attention to the situation at Starter Village 7777. Some of the players were constantly sending out videos or photos of the process. Jiang Qianyue and the others were sitting at the dining table, paying close attention to the situation. Sister Qianyue, it's updated. Liu Yufan then quickly opened the video. The video was of the village chief, Huang Xian, and the three-headed demon dragon emperor's battle. Then... There was the scene of Lil Shuer healing the two. Heavens! God by Ye's pet is so powerful that she can actually heal NPCs. Liu Yufan said in surprise. Is this a grade 7 pet? This shouldn't be the strength of a grade 7 pet. Yu Qingyu asked in surprise. Zhang Qianyue chimed in as well. It seems like this Calamity Fox's healing ability can restore 50% of one's maximum health points. It can even cast it on NPC powerhouses. How impressive! Many of the players on Blue Planet were also paying attention. This Calamity Fox is so awesome. The two NPCs' HP bars were directly filled up. No wonder Bai Yi is so strong. He has a well full of HP points beside him. Who can compete with him? I feel like the players in Starter Village 77777 are going to survive. Feng Ling frowned when he saw the situation. He clenched his fists. No, Bai Yi? Why can't you just die? His eyes were fixed on the super pretty and cute photo of Lil Schwer. This pet is definitely not a simple grade 7 pet. In the beginning, he had felt that the pet's name was not simple, so he was a little surprised that the pet was only grade 7. The extent of healing and control that the Calamity Fox had shown were too impressive. He wanted to get this pet. It was very easy to get this pet. He just had to kill Bai Yi. After killing Bai Yi, 
his pet would become ownerless. At this time, he would forcefully release the capture spell. As long as he successfully captured it, it would become his pet. Now, the only thing he needed to hesitate about was whether the skill that could restore 50% of the NPC's maximum health was the same skill that Bai Yi had used in his battle with the Flaming Lion. If it was, then this skill could restore 50% of the NPC's maximum health with a cooldown of only 30 seconds. That would be too exaggerated. At that moment, Feng Ling saw the follow-up video. He stood up in excitement. It really is the same skill. He saw Lil Schwer healing the two powerhouses again on the screen, and their health bars were instantly full. This was definitely not a fixed health recovery. How could she recover a few hundred million HP at once? It could only be a percentage. I must get this pet. Feng Ling clenched his fists tightly. With this pet, would he not be invincible? Starter Village, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7. Huang Xian and the village chief had almost reduced the three-headed demon dragon emperor's HP bar to half. All the players were extremely excited. We're going to survive. That's great. That's great. Great God by Yi is awesome. The Calamity Fox is awesome. I'm so excited that I don't know what to say. Just now, I was so desperate that I felt dizzy and suffocated. Now, I really want to cry. Finally, the three-headed demon dragon emperor's HP bar was below half. It's my turn. Chubai had been waiting for this moment for a long time. It had been a while since he obtained the withering demonic seed. Although this skill could be used infinitely, it could only be used once on the same target. Therefore, he would definitely have to wait for the village chief and Huang Xian to reduce the boss HP bar to half before using it. If that were the case, the first kill of the boss would be his. Half. Half. As long as the Calamity Fox is here, then the village chief and that expert will be invincible. We can slowly wear this three-headed demon dragon emperor to death. It has already used his ultimate move, so there's no need to worry about any accidents. We've really survived. The three-headed demon dragon emperor roared in the sky. You want to kill me? The two of you are not enough. As long as I kill that damn little fox, you two will still have to die. Everyone's pupils shrank. Had the boss noticed Lil Schwer's existence? They were done for. Their hearts skipped a beat. I'm invincible. You don't have the power to kill me. You bunch of ants, go to hell. Roar. It roared and rushed over. Mother of God. Many people were so scared that their legs went soft. However, withering demonic seed. Chubai stood there and released it directly. A black mist burst out from his body. Then, everyone saw a stream of black light surging toward the three-headed demon dragon emperor in the sky. Minus five billion, nine hundred million. A huge damage value appeared above the three-headed demon dragon emperor's head. Then, its HP bar was instantly emptied, and its huge body quickly fell from the sky. Boom. With a loud bang, everyone's body trembled. Invincible? Chu Bai revealed a cold smile. Everyone was speechless. After this loud sound, the entire starter village, 77777, fell into absolute silence. Everyone could only hear their own heartbeats and breathing. After a few seconds, ding, all players from starter village, 7777, please take note. The three-headed demon dragon emperor has been killed. All players have received 100 gold coins and 1,000 reputation points. Ding, the demonic chi has disappeared and the abnormal state is over. Players can go offline now. Whoosh. Everyone was in an uproar. I'm alive. I'm alive. The entire starter village was in an uproar. There's also a 100 gold coin reward. That's 10,000 yuan. Ha ha ha. The key is that I survived. Great God by Yi is awesome. From today onward, I'll only be a fan of God by Yi. God by Yi is my idol. Trash. God by Yi is my father. By the way, did God by Yi use some skill to empty the three-headed demon dragon emperor's HP bar? It seems so. Look, God by Ye's body flashed with golden light many times. He, look at the level rankings. Level 19? God by Yi directly rose nine levels. Oh my God. So, this also directly shows that the 5.9 billion damage just now was done by God by Yi. 
It must be some kind of powerful tool or something. Anyway, I just saw a black mist, but I don't know what it is. Demonic chi? Everyone was discussing. Ding. You've leveled up to level 11, HP plus 10, MP plus 10, and obtained 5 attribute points that can be allocated freely. Ding. You've reached level 12. Ding. Ding. You've reached level 19. Ding. Lil Schwer has leveled up to level 5. Ding. Ding. Lil Schwer has leveled up to level 19. Ding. As the pet's level can exceed the owner's, Lil Schwer's level is forcibly maintained at level 19. That was right. Chu Bai was immediately promoted to level 19. Lil Schwer had also reached level 19. This Saint Destroyer boss was probably not level 100. It was probably only level 50. Chu Bai had only increased by 9 levels, which was quite little. From this, one could see how difficult it was to level up in fate. Of course, Chu Bai needed double the experience points to level up, and Lil Schwer also shared the experience points. They had both reached level 19, so they were not too slow. What did the last system prompt mean? This meant that, in theory, Lil Schwer could continue to level up. After all, she did not have the debuff that required double the experience to level up. However, because the pet's level could not exceed the master's, her level had to be forcibly maintained at 19. Ding. Congratulations on obtaining the first kill of the Saint Destroyer boss. Gold plus 1,000. Fame plus 150,000. Ding. As you've obtained the first kill of the Saint Destroyer boss, the system will release a global system announcement. The system has prepared to release it 20 times. At the same time, your ID, by ye will be highlighted. Do you have any other requirements? Chu Bai was speechless. Why was he so obedient? Please add a handsome in front of my ID. Ding. All players, please take note. We hereby announce that the handsome player from Starter Village 77777, by ye, has obtained the first kill of a Saint Destroyer boss. Ding. All players, please take note. We hereby announce that the handsome player from Starter Village 77777, by Yi, has obtained the first kill of a Saint Destroyer boss. Ding. All players, please take note. We hereby announce that the handsome player from Starter Village 77777, by Yi, has obtained the first kill of a Saint Destroyer boss. Ding. Everyone was speechless. Heavens. First kill of a Saint Destroyer boss? Weren't all the players from Starter Village 7777 going to die? How could he get the first kill of a Saint Destroyer boss? The players from other Starter Villages did not know what was going on, but when they heard the system notification, they were dumbfounded. Could it be that Bai Yi destroyed that three-headed demon dragon emperor? Why? What right does he have? How can a level 10 player like him kill the three-headed demon dragon emperor that has tens of billions of HP points? I'm an idiot. Look at Bai Yi. Look at the ranking. He's level 19. Look at the pet ranking list. That Calamity Fox has risen to grade 8. I knew that this Calamity Fox was definitely not as simple as a level 7 pet. It's an extremely rare growth type pet. God Bai Yi is awesome. He's outshined everyone else. Yes, in the past, the top players were Emperor, Shadow, One Sword of Helplessness, and other great figures who fought for hegemony. But now, great god Bai Yi had killed a boss alone. The system announcements these days are all about Bai Yi. How awesome. Is god Bai Yi going to become the second god Bai? Shut up. God Bai is god Bai, while Bai Yi is Bai Yi. No matter how powerful Bai Yi is, he'll never be able to surpass god Bai. God Bai is an insurmountable existence. He's the god in our hearts forever. Ding. Lil Shuer's strength has been awakened and she has become a grade 8 pet. Ding. As Lil Schwer's strength has awakened, holy moment and light of the heavenly fox have been activated. Chu Bai raised his brows. As expected, Lil Schwer had become a grade 8 pet and had gained two skills. It seemed that she could advance with every 10 levels. Holy moment. The Calamity Fox's exclusive skill. It uses its holy light to bless itself and its teammates. Effects. When holy moment is released, Attack power, movement speed, and defense will be increased by 100% for the user and a maximum of 5 teammates. During this period, the user will be immune to all long-range damage and dark attacks such as undead, demons, and demonic chi. 
Duration, 30 seconds. Mana consumption, 1000. Cool down time, 5 minutes. Light of the Heavenly Fox, a skill exclusive to the Calamity Fox. It uses the Light of the Heavenly Fox to protect itself and its teammates. Effects. Enter a state of invincibility for 3 seconds with a maximum of 3 teammates. This skill ignores level, grade, and everything else. Users will be immune to all forms of damage. Light of the Heavenly Fox can be released after the end of the state. Every additional second of invincibility consumes a fixed mana of 5,000 points until the mana is zero. Mana cost for the first release, 10,000. Cooldown time, 12 hours. Chubai was speechless. Lil Schwer was F asterisk King ridiculous. Holy Moment, a buff skill, was also within Chu Bai's expectations. Attack, movement speed, and defense would all be doubled. This degree of increase was very powerful. For example, it also doubled the attack power of the swordsman's exclusive skill, Sword Intent. And this was a level 50 second profession change skill. Holy Moment also had other effects. During this period, he would be immune to ranged damage and dark type attacks. The effect would last for 30 seconds. A 30 second buff. It was a rare sight. What surprised Chu by even more was the second skill light of the Heavenly Fox. An invincibility skill. 3 seconds of invincibility. After that, every second of invincibility would consume 5,000 mana points. This was an invincibility skill. Ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Then, Chu Bai took a look at Lil Schwer's attributes. Calamity Fox. Level. 19. Grade. 8. HP. 3400. Mana. 39000. Attack. 50. Magic Attack. 2900. Defense. 20. Movement Speed. 60. Current Favorability Toward You. 90. Through Life and Death Together. It was ridiculous. Every time Lil Schwerer leveled up, her magic attack power, health points, and magic power would increase by 100 or 1000. However, because she had leveled up to a grade 8 pet, her magic points had increased by an additional 10,000 points this time. Her attack, defense, and movement speed had all increased. Her health points and magic attack power had also increased by an additional 500 points. Her attributes were explosive. Lil Schwerer, go back and rest. Chu Bai carried her up and rubbed her little head as he spoke affectionately. Lil Schwer whimpered, then turned into a white light and entered her pet space. At this moment, the village chief and Huang Exian walked over. Little brother Bai Yi, I really have to thank you for this. If it wasn't for you, I, the entire village, and everyone else would have died in the hands of that beast. The village chief patted Chu Bai's shoulder and said gratefully, You're too kind, village chief. If it weren't for you and Miss Huang, we would have died as well, Chu Bai said. In short, regardless of whether it's the village chief, Miss Xiao, or Bai Yi, all of you were indispensable for our survival. I'm really grateful. God Bai Yi, I'll be your fan from now on. You're my idol. That old dreamer Tian Yu and Feng Ling Dynasty actually went against you. In the future, if they go against you again, I'll definitely join your ranks to deal with them as long as you say the word. That's right. The same goes for me. Me too. Me too. God by ye. If you build a gang, we'll join it for sure. I want to join too. I want to join too. Where's old dream T on you? Looks like he went offline and ran away. He shouldn't let me see him, or I'll definitely make him pay. Everyone spoke one after another. Adventurers from the other world. It's getting late. You should go and rest. The village chief said to everyone. All right. Then, they looked at Chu Bai. Little brother Bai Yi, thank you very much. Thank you. Phoenix Heart looked at Chu Bai with her beautiful eyes and said, I want to thank you too. The two of you are too polite. You guys should also quickly return to rest and recuperate, Chu Bai said. Mm, yes. Little brother Bai Yi. Although you didn't complete the mission you had to in order for me to tell you the big secret of the village, I can't blame you. You saved the village this time. Come and find me tomorrow. I'll tell you the secret. The village chief patted Chu Bai's shoulder. All right, he said. Then, they left together. Bai Yi isn't a simple figure, Miss Xiao. Perhaps you might really need his help if you want to get out. 
The village chief and Huang Exian talked to each other as they walked into the village. Let's not think about this for now. However, the power that he released at the end seemed to be the three-headed demon dragon emperor's withering demonic seed. That's why it was able to kill it in an instant. But why is he able to use this skill? Adventurers from other worlds can each obtain a powerful ability. Perhaps this is because of his ability. Huang Exian nodded and suddenly thought of something. Oh right, when I first came to the village, I lost a secret manual. Did you happen to pick it up? The village chief said, So, it really is yours. I only realized it today. The secret manual was indeed picked up by me. It's just that I gave it to little brother by Yi. Huang Exian muttered to herself, There's no problem with that. It is fine. On the other hand, Bai Yi walked to the side of the three-headed demon dragon emperor's corpse. There were a few pieces of equipment. Many players had already come over to take a look, but it was a pity that they could not pick anything up. Chu Bai had killed it, so only he could pick them up. He got a pile of gold coins, health potions, and mana potions. There were three pieces of equipment, the most eye-catching one being the Saint Destroyer equipment. Gulp. Everyone swallowed their saliva in envy. A Saint Destroyer equipment, that's too exaggerated. A Saint Destroyer equipment was dropped in a starter village. Who will believe that? God by ye has directly struck it rich. I'm so envious, but this is also what God by ye deserves. I don't seem to be that jealous. Chubai picked it up. It was a black bow. Demonic Dragon 3 Illusions Bow. Grade. Saint Destroyer. T has not been appraised and can't be used. Unsurprisingly, it needed to be appraised. The second piece of equipment was dark magic armor. This might be something Chubai could use. Demonic Dragon Wicked Armor. Grade. Dark Demon. Usage Requirements. It has not been appraised and can't be used. Dark Demon was above gold. So it was definitely much better than the Sky Demon armor he was wearing. As for the level of the equipment, it would still depend on the appraisal results. The third item was Divine Emperor Equipment. This was a piece of equipment that made Chu Bai very surprised. It was actually a cloak. Cloaks were rare equipment. Especially at this level, they were very rare. Demonic Dragon Cloak. Grade. Divine Emperor. Usage Requirements. It has not been appraised and can't be used. Under everyone's envious gazes, Chu Bai placed the equipment into his spatial ring. As they had not been appraised, the items could not be listed on the rankings. There was also a token on the ground. Demon King Token, 8. Grade. Holy Forbidden. The Demon God was the strongest among the powerhouses of the five clans. The powerful Demon God had 12 terrifying Demon Kings under his command. This piece was the three-headed Demon Dragon Emperor's Demon King Token, and its specific effects are still unknown. Chu Bai frowned. It was a wholly forbidden level token with an unknown effect. He did not know what it could be used for, but he could not just throw it away. He put it into his space ring and looked at a scroll on the ground. Blade Waltz Skill Scroll. This is a skill book that the three-headed demon dragon emperor had obtained by chance 10,000 years ago when he was fighting against many powerhouses of the human race. It had followed him to start village 77777, and because it had never left the demon dragon cave since then, it had always been by his side. After use, you'll receive the skill, Blade Waltz, which can only be learned by Blade Masters. It should be a powerful skill. After all, it was dropped from a Saint Destroyer Beast. Then, Chubai crushed it. Ding. You've learned the skill, Blade Waltz. Blade Waltz, a famous skill of the continent's first generation of swordsmen. It's a powerful swordsman skill that can both attack and defend. It can kill people invisibly. Effect. Choose a target within 10 meters to cast Blade Waltz, and they'll instantly disappear from the spot. The target's body will enter a state where the user can't be selected. Following that, a total of five shadowless stabs will be performed in one second. Each stab will deal the same amount of damage as the target's current attack power. It can be a critical hit. If the target dies from Blade Waltz, the cooldown will be reset. Mana consumption. 100 points. Cooldown time. 30 seconds. What a powerful skill. Unable to select meant that while this skill was being used, he would not be attacked. Furthermore, it was extremely fast, dealing 5 attack moves per second. If the target was killed by Blade Waltz, 
the cooldown would reset. Moreover, the cooldown for this skill was only 30 seconds. This skill was very cool. It made a swordsman like an assassin. It was amazing. Hi there. At this moment, Chu Bai's shirt was tugged by someone. A girl's voice came from beside him. It was very pleasant. Chu Bai then turned his head and took a look. The moment Chu Bai saw her, he was stunned. This girl. She was so beautiful. Why were there so many beautiful women in Starter Village? 77777. There were beautiful women of all sizes. From the little girl Shuer to the young girl who looked to be 14 or 15 years old, to the mature ladies like Jiang Yue Qinying and Qingqiu Yanma. However, this young lady was so beautiful that she seemed a little devilish. The first time Chu Bai felt this way was for his girlfriend, Ling Long Shue. The second time was for Lil Shuer. This was his third time. Jiang Qinyue, Qingqiu Yanma, and the others were also beautiful beyond comparison. However, this girl was hard to describe. She was dressed in green clothes, which looked like a suit. Her beautiful hair was casually let down. She was not tall. After all, she was still young. Her facial features were extremely delicate, like the stars in the sky that were perfectly embedded there. She stood there like a little fairy. Chu Bai saw the ID above her head. Little cutie. Little cutie? Wait. Chu Bai remembered that when he was looking at the level rankings, Little Cutie had a piece of equipment that was ranked behind Broken Glass, but it was ranked higher than Divine Armament. The ID of the equipment owner was Little Cutie. So it was her. She was also in Starter Village, 77777. As her name suggested, she was indeed a Little Cutie. Do you need something? Chubai asked. Thank you for saving me. Little Cutie revealed a sweet smile. You're welcome. Here. She then stretched out her hand and there was a beautiful little flower in her palm. Ding. Little cutie will give you a red flower. For me. Chu Bai was stunned for a moment, then he reached out and took it. Flower of death. After consuming it, HP will continue to drop until death. Chu Bai was speechless. What do you mean by giving me this flower? Chu Bai asked in confusion. It's pretty. I want to thank you for saving me, big brother. So here's a little red flower for you. Little Cutie blinked her big eyes and said innocently. It seemed that she did not look at the flower's attributes beforehand and just gave it to him simply because she thought it looked good. Thanks, Little Cutie, Chu Bai said with a smile. He did not know why, but looking at her would make him feel better. He could be considered a little mature. He just wanted to protect her. It was very strange. It was definitely not just because she was beautiful. Brother Bai Yi, can I add you as a friend? Little Cutie blinked her big eyes in anticipation. All right, he said. He he he, thank you, brother Bai Yi. Her smile was especially beautiful. Ding. Little Cutie has requested to add you as a friend. Do you accept? I accept. He he he. She laughed happily, and her big eyes curved into small crescents. She was very cute. Then, Little Cutie waved at Chu Bai. Brother Bai Yi, Xiao Xiao has to go offline. Otherwise, Daddy and Mommy will be worried. Was that her name? Xiao Xiao? Yes, go ahead. Bye bye, brother Bai Yi. Then, she chose to go offline, and her figure disappeared. Big brother, my game time is almost up. I have to go offline too, Playboy said to Chu Bai. Sure, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Chu Bai's game time was almost up. He could not leave the starter village today because he needed to go through a trial. This trial would take a lot of time. He took a look at the level leaderboard. Level leaderboard. First place, level 19. Class, Swordsman. Nickname, Bai Yi. Second place, level 9. Class, Swordsman. Nickname, Emperor. Third place, level 9. Class, Assassin. Nickname, Shadow. Fourth place, level 9. Class, Swordsman. Nickname, one Sword of Helplessness. Fifth place, level 9. Class, Fire Type Magician. Nickname, Fire Firmament. Sixth place, level 9. Class, Swordsman. Nickname, Dugu Wanjian. Seventh place, level 9. Class, Archer. Nickname, Storm. Eighth place, level 9. Class, None. Nickname, Playboy. Ninth place, level 9. Class, Swordsman. Nickname, Sword Nanshan. 
10th place, level 9. Class, Swordsman. Nickname, Feng Ling. There were still 10 people, but the rankings at the bottom had changed a little. He was level 19 and crushed everyone. If Chu Bai could not participate in the trial in the starter village today, the others naturally could not either. He would participate in the trial as soon as he got online at midnight tonight. He would definitely be the first player to leave the village. Huh. Chu Bai then took a look at the hidden class rankings. There was already a person on the hidden class rankings. Hidden class rankings. First place hidden class. Carols of the soul. Owner. Little cutie. It's her. That young girl actually already had a hidden class. Were there any plot quests related to this class in the starter village? However, it seemed that she had almost never appeared in the player's sight. When Siyubai saw her, not only he but the surrounding players were also shocked. They obviously did not expect Little Cutie to be from Starter Village 77777. They had never seen her before. Where had she been all this while? Finally, Chubai took a look at his own attributes. Character. By Yi. Level. 19. Title. None. Hunger. 61. Reputation. 361,000. Three fixed attributes. Luck. 25. Charm. 25. Intelligence. 25. Four main attributes. Constitution. 30. Spirit. 60. Strength. 170. Agility. 30. HP. 1.720. MP. 800. Attack. 370. Magic attack. 120. Defense. 202. Movement speed. 112. Critical chance. 0. Chubai went to look for the village chief and showed him the equipment. He asked if anyone could appraise it. However, the result was not good. The village's appraisers could only appraise gold equipment. No one could appraise anything beyond gold. Then, Chubai went offline. This incident also caused an uproar on the internet. Trending searches. Hashtag 1SD Place. The terrifying quest from Starer Village 7777. Hashtag 2ND Place. The level 10 by Yi instantly reduced 5.9 billion HP points from the Saint Destroyer Beast. How did he do it? Why was it so exaggerated? Hashtag 3RD Place. Calamity Fox. Everyone was talking about Chu Bai and Lil Schwer. The door of a pink room was pushed open. Dad, Mom. I'm back. The young girl pushed open the door and shouted happily. When the anxious middle-aged man and the beautiful woman saw the young girl, they immediately ran over and hugged her. Xiao Xiao, my baby, you scared me to death. The beautiful woman hugged her with tears in her eyes. Then, she cupped her little face and kissed her everywhere. I'm sorry for making you worry, mommy. It's good that you're fine. It's great. The middle-aged man nodded. Then, Xiao Xiao gestured and said, Daddy, Mommy, I met Brother Bai Yi in the game. He's really amazing. He killed such a powerful boss and saved us all. He's really amazing. The middle-aged man rubbed her hair and said, I already know about it. I was worried that something would happen to you. Xiao Xiao, it's great that you're fine. Bai Yi is our family's benefactor. If there's a chance, I'll definitely thank him properly. Really? Her big eyes sparkled as she said excitedly, I've added brother by Yi as a friend. Can I invite him to our house to play tomorrow? The beautiful woman took her hand and said, Xiao Xiao, he's not familiar with you yet. If you invite him home directly, he'll definitely be worried. Besides, he's the target of public attention now. Brother by Yi will definitely not agree to meet you in real life. Oh, then what do we do? You just get along well with him first. When there's a chance, Mommy and Daddy will thank him. Of course, you have to take care of yourself. Xiao Xiao nodded her head repeatedly. Yes, yes. I want to become good friends with him. He he he. On the other hand, Chu Bai opened his eyes and stretched, preparing to go out for dinner. The effect of eating in-game was not very great. Every time he went offline, his body would be particularly tired and hungry. He did not want to cook even though he was hungry. Click. Chu Bai opened the door. Coincidentally, Lu Yufan, Yu Qingyu, and Jiang Qianyue were standing opposite the door. Hi, Chu Bai. Did you guys go shopping? Yeah, we just finished shopping. Chu Bai, let's go out for hot pot. 
Liu Yufan invited with a smile. It's all right. I'll just make do with a few bites, Chu Bai said. Oh, it's nothing. The uncle from before is treating, Liu Yufan said. Huh? Didn't you guys not like him? Why are you still eating with him? Chu Bai asked in confusion. Jiang Chenyue said, he's quite sincere and contacted me after that. I've also told him about my concerns, and he said that he'll take note of them. Furthermore, he's indeed not bad overall. We should be able to sign the contract immediately after going over tonight. Zhang Qianyue then turned to Liu Yufan and Yu Qingyu and said, Be polite to him when you go. He's quite pitiful. We'll be colleagues in the future, so let's be more harmonious. Yes, yes. Chu Bai said, Is that so? Sure. I'll go with you. Let's go, let's go. The four of them walked out together. Outside, the sky had already darkened. The four of them chatted as they walked around the neighborhood, ready to go out. God by Yi is so amazing. He alone saved all the players who were online at Starter Village 77777, Liu Yufan said as she scrolled through her phone. He's very powerful. I feel like he'll become an important character in Fate. He even has that powerful pet. Yu Qingyu nodded. Look, I saw a post. This post has a lot of likes. It's the most popular post. Liu Yufan handed her phone over. Let me see. Then, they moved closer to take a look. The user's ID was Iambic. The title of the post was Analyzing God by Yi and the Calamity Fox. Chu Bai also went over to take a look. Everyone, today, I'll analyze God by Yi and his pet. The following are my personal subjective speculations. If you have different thoughts, please don't criticize. 1. God by Ye's talent. I believe that this is what everyone is most curious about. Everyone says that God by Ye's talent allows him to release skills limitlessly, but my opinion is a little different. I have collected all the information and videos about God by Ye on the internet and watched them no less than 10 times. The following is my conclusion on God by Ye's talent. God by Ye's talent should indeed be some kind of talent that can release skills infinitely, and it can be released without consumption, but it definitely can't be all skills. On the first day, he released a thunder attribute skill infinitely, but it was only this skill that could be released indefinitely. On the second day, he released a wind attribute skill infinitely, and the thunder attribute skill from the first day disappeared. He didn't even use it again. So, my conclusion is that God by Ye's talent is that he's able to obtain a skill every day, and only this skill can be released infinitely. The skills that he obtained previously would no longer be usable, so God by Ye can't release them. 2. God by Ye is definitely a veteran player. His combat skills are very powerful, and he's not a newbie. It's the result of training many times in the game. I don't know what level he was before, but he must be a master. 3. God by Ye always wears a mask. I've checked, and he's been wearing a mask since he went up against the bristled boar. I have reason to guess that God by Ye doesn't want people to know what he looks like. As for the reason, it might be hatred. Or it might be because he's worried that he'll be recognized in real life and get into trouble. It might also be because this is his personal habit. After all, there are some players who have never shown their faces from the beginning to the end, such as Shadow. I think God by Yi is a very powerful expert. 4. Regarding the Calamity Fox, this is a pet with a growth attribute. I don't know what level it can grow to. This pet's skills are 50% of maximum health healing, stamina recovery per second, and removal of abnormal states. I've seen the first skill in videos, and I'm sure it only has a 30-second cooldown and provides 50% of maximum health recovery. This attribute is very exaggerated. Just this skill alone can make it the strongest healer. These are all my speculations. I'll continue to follow God by Ye's development. Finally, I would like to make a statement. I'm a fan of God by Yi. Chu Bai was speechless. This person had directly exposed his talent and situation. Although it was a little different, it was still really awesome. Comments section. First comment. The poster is awesome. It's almost the same as I thought. It should be like this. This is definitely an SSS grade talent. It's really cool. Second comment. I don't know if that's the strongest skill he'll ever obtain, or if there'll be stronger ones. Anyway, this talent's combat effects are too exaggerated. Moreover, there's such a powerful pet that is the Calamity Fox. 
I can only say that I'm extremely envious. Third comment, Prophet, it's time for a knife. How powerful. Skills that can be released infinitely every day. This talent is so powerful, Lu Yufan said. All right, just read it. Don't spread it. It's not good for others, Jiang Qinyue said. Yes, yes, yes. Lu Yufan nodded, then turned to Chu Bai and asked, Oh right, Chu Bai, what's your talent? Ah, as for me, I have a trashy grade E talent called excessive healing. The healing effect is increased by 2%, Chu Bai said. That's miserable. Don't worry, once we leave the starter village, I'll protect you. I'm an SS grade talent. Sister Qinyue and Sister Qingyu are both SS grade talents too, Lu Yufan said proudly. Chu Bai nodded. Okay. They walked forward. An old couple in their 60s or 70s was sitting on a bench in the neighborhood ahead. The two were holding hands and wearing cotton padded jackets, snuggling up to each other. They had smiles on their faces and looked very loving and sweet. How sweet and blissful. Lu Yufan turned to look at the two of them again. Are you envious? Then you should go find a boyfriend. Chu Bai is not bad. Zhang Qianyue teased with a smile. Lu Yufan immediately ran over and hooked her arm around Jiang Qianyue's. Oh, Sister Qianyue, you're joking again. I hate you. I hate you. This is so embarrassing. Chu Bai smiled. It's nothing. It's just a joke. It's okay. Jiang Qianyue smiled and nodded. It's indeed very enviable to be able to find a partner to spend the rest of your life with and still be so loving even in your old age. It's really enviable. I must find a boyfriend like that and live a happy life with him, Lu Yufan said to herself. After that, they left. The old couple was still cuddling on the bench. I really hope time passes slower. The old man sighed as he held his wife's hand. Exactly. It's already 8 o'clock. Oh my god. It's already 8 o'clock. We have to hurry back, the old lady said quickly and was about to stand up. Let's sit a little longer. The old man stopped her. The old lady said, My husband is very suspicious. He'll be suspicious if I come home late. The old man also quickly let go of her hand. That's true. I'm afraid that the brat at home will be suspicious if I go back late too. I'm going back now. They got up and walked away in two different directions. Xiang Xiang Hot Pot Restaurant. Chu Bai and the other three walked in. Miss Jiang, over here. Zhang Shan stood up and smiled as he waved at them. Then, the four of them walked over. Uncle. Lu Yufan greeted him with a smile. Uncle. Chu Bai also called out. Hey, Chu Bai. Don't call me uncle. I'm only 35 years old. You can just call me Brother Zhang Shan. Zhang Shan said to Chu Bai with a smile. Brother Zhang Shan. Chu Bai also sat down. Yu Qingyu greeted him calmly, Brother Zhang Shan, I've ordered some food. Take a look and see if there's anything else you want to eat. Order whatever you want. Zhang Shan smiled as he pushed the menu to Jiang Qinyue. I don't need it. Fan Fan, Qingyu, Chu Bai, you guys can order. He passed the menu to Chu Bai. Little Lu. Chu Bai passed the menu to Lu Yufan. Chu Bai, you can just call me Fan Fan. My family and friends all call me that. Lu Yufan took the menu and said with a smile. Chu Bai nodded. Brother Zhang Shan, this is the contract. Zhang Qianyue passed the contract to Zhang Shan. If there's no problem, then my team will welcome you. Zhang Shan took it. Don't worry, Miss Jiang. I'm definitely fine with it. If I join, I'll be your subordinate. I'll do whatever you tell me to do, Zhang Shan said. Well, if there's a mission and I can't go, I'll definitely let you take the lead, Brother Zhang Shan. After all, I understand your experience and know that you have the ability. Of course. Zhang Shan nodded. I won't let you down. Then, he signed the contract. Brother Zhang Shan, aren't you going to take a closer look at the contract? Zhang Qinyue asked. Zhang Shan waved his hand. There's no need. I believe in your character. Chu Bai laughed in his heart. Zhang Shan might indeed be quite powerful, but he was too naive and trusted others too easily. He was already 35 years old and was not young anymore, but he did not consider the consequences of his actions at all. He would probably suffer a lot from this. However, it was indeed safe to get along with such a person. Ha ha ha, then we'll be a team from now on. I'll be moving to the studio tonight. Let me toast to you all. 
Zhang Shan stood up and picked up the wine. He really wanted to join this studio, not for any other reason but solely just because the salary and benefits were much better than other studios. He was in need of money and a team. Then, they had a drink together. Brother Zhang Shan, you don't have to be in such a hurry to come to my studio. Don't you have a family? You have a wife and children. Are they okay with this? Zhang Qinyue asked. Zhang Shan waved his hand. What problem can they have? It's not like I'm not going home anymore. It's not far away. I'll just go back to take a look every few days. Furthermore, the studio is on holiday. The four of them looked at each other. Ahim, I wasn't talking about that. Zhang Qinyue let out a dry cough. Huh? Then what are you referring to? Ah, uh, Zhang Qinyue truly did not know what to say. After all, it was really disrespectful to talk about the affair of others. Chu Bai said, Miss Jiang means to say that women need company. Brother Zhang Shan, if you're not home often, she'll inevitably think. This hint was obvious enough, right? Oh, it's fine. As a man, my career is the most important. My wife is very open-minded. Usually, when I go out late at night to play mahjong, play for a whole day, or even play throughout the night, she doesn't care much. She supports me in having my own interests and hobbies as long as it's not gambling. Besides, my wife doesn't have many needs in that area, Zhang Shan said. I see. Chu Bai nodded, but he did not say anything. But speaking of this, there's something that's been bothering me recently. I'd like to ask you guys for advice. Zhang Shan lit a cigarette and passed one to Chu Bai, who took it. Chu Bai, you smoke? Lu Yufan rested her chin on her hand and blinked her beautiful big eyes. Yeah, I do occasionally. Why? Chu Bai asked. I'm guessing one of Fan Fan's criteria for a boyfriend is that he doesn't smoke, Yu Qingyu said indifferently. Maybe you were originally a candidate, but you might have been eliminated. Oh, Sister Qingyu, you're so annoying. Why are you joking with me? No, no, that's not it. Lu Yufan's face turned red. Chu Bai smiled and did not say anything. Zhang Qianyue revealed a smile and asked Zhang Shan, Brother Zhang Shan, what's bothering you? Zhang Shan took a puff of his cigarette and said, Let me tell you a story. Recently, I realized that my wife has been chatting with others on her phone until late at night. She often goes out with her makeup done and is away for a long time. When I ask her about it, she says that she's chatting with her best friends and going out to play. Chu Bai and the others looked at each other. This should be obvious enough, right? This man should have figured it out, right? And then what? Lu Yufan asked, looking like a bystander. Yesterday, my wife spent an hour putting on makeup and went out again. This time, I secretly followed her. Hiss. They all gasped. This was so exciting. Zhang Shan continued. I followed my wife all the way downstairs. I saw her get into a black SUV. I wanted to chase after her immediately. At that moment, I realized. The tire of my F asterisk King new bicycle was out of air. So, what is it that you want to ask? Chu Bai asked. I'm quite annoyed at this. I just want to ask you guys if the warranty covers a flat bicycle tire. Chu Bai, Yu Qingyu, Lu Yufan, and Jiang Qianyue were all speechless. Cough, cough. Jiang Qianyue let out a dry cough. You just wanted to ask this? Jiang Qianyue asked. Yeah, what else could it be? My bicycle costs a few thousand yuan. Zhang Shan nodded. The few of them looked at each other. Oh my god, this? Do you know? Is it under warranty? Zhang Shan asked. Chu Bai broke into a cold sweat. I can only say that I must help him. I have to make him see things clearly this time. Brother Zhang Shan, I have a question for you too, Chu Bai said. Sure. Chu Bai then said, recently, I met a woman on Momo. I get along very well with her and often ask her out. Sometimes, she doesn't go home at night and tells her husband that she's out playing mahjong all night. Recently, her husband has been very suspicious of her. What then? Zhang Shan asked curiously. Chu Bai said, Yesterday, I drove an off-road vehicle to her house to pick her up. She told me that her husband was secretly following her. So I got out of the car and punctured the tire of his bicycle. Ha ha ha, brother Chu Bai, you sure are funny. Zhang Shan laughed out loud. Chu Bai smiled and nodded, then continued, his wife and I left in my car. We were very happy, 
so we went to the convenience store to buy two drinks to celebrate. After finishing the drinks, I want to get more. But when I want to place an order, the boss wouldn't let me. So, what is it that you want to ask me? I just want to ask you what I should do if the boss doesn't let me place another order? Chubai said. The three girls beside him did not say a word. Chubai's words did not sound pleasant, but he was considered very kind. Zhang Shan should know now, right? Zhang Shan pondered for a moment. Brother Chubai, I don't know much about this. Besides, you haven't told me if my bicycle can be fixed under the warranty. Everyone was speechless. After the meal, they went back. Zhang Shan went to pack his luggage and prepared to move into their building. Zhang Qianyue had rented another apartment, so she naturally could not stay with them. The four of them were silent on the way. Sister Qianyue, why didn't you tell brother Zhang Shan directly? I think he's a good person, and this is an unfortunate situation for him. Chu Bai has already made it clear to him, but he still doesn't understand. This is too difficult. Lu Yufan looked like she was going crazy. Zhang Qianyue then added, as outsiders, how can we talk to him about such things? After a moment of silence, Zhang Qianyue said, We're considered friends now, right? It should be fine for friends to remind each other about this, right? That's right, that's right. Brother Zhang Shan is so pitiful. His daughter isn't his, and his wife is lying to him. He doesn't even realize that his wife is a bad person even after Chu Bai reminded him. She must be bullying Brother Zhang Shan because she saw that he was an honest man. I can't stand it anymore. Lu Yufan nodded. Why don't we just forget about it? Yu Qingyu said. Sister Qingyu, what's wrong? Yu Qingyu said, let's not get involved in other people's family matters. Every family has their own difficulties. Zhang Qinyue nodded. Mm, I think so too. Besides, I don't think brother Zhang Shan really doesn't know. We've already hinted and made it clear. Even if he really didn't know the first time we had a meal together, he definitely knows this time. He's not stupid. How could he not understand what Chubai said? Chubai nodded and said, I think so too. He didn't say it out loud because he wanted to save face. Besides, we're outsiders. He knows what he should do. Brother Zhang Shan just didn't say it out loud. He was just pretending to be a fool. Chubai did not think that Zhang Shan did not understand. After all, even a fool would understand. I understand. Midnight. Ding. Welcome to fate. Ding. Global announcement. Due to the enthusiasm of the players, from now on, players can be online 24 hours a day, but please take a rest. Whoosh. The system announcement at midnight immediately drew cheers from the crowd. I can finally be online 24 hours a day. I'm not as lucky as those big shots, and I'm not as strong as them, but I'll kill you all. Sooner or later, I'll be able to open up a path of blood. Level up, level up, charge. The level rankings, here I come. God by Yi is probably online, right? I feel like he's about to leave the starter village. He'll be able to leave the starter village after completing the trial. He'll definitely be the first player to leave the village. Chu Bai was rather calm when he heard the system notification. He scanned his surroundings. The number of players exploded. Ding. You've obtained a new skill through Unlimited Ultimate Skill Sudden Strike. Sudden Strike. Obtained randomly from Unlimited Ultimate Skills. Choose a target and stab it with 200% speed, causing 150% damage. No cooldown, no consumption. Remaining time, one day. Chu Bai was speechless. F I was just about to participate in the trial, and you randomly gave me such a weak skill? This skill was much weaker than the two skills he had obtained before. Forget it. I'll go find the village chief first. Then, Chu Bai hurried to the village chief's courtyard. Brother Bai Yi. When the village chief saw Chu Bai, he smiled and waved his hand, then abandoned the other players at the side. Come, let's chat in my room. The two of them entered the house. Chief, I'm here for the trial to leave the village and also for the big secret you mentioned. Chu Bai got straight to the point. Yes, I know. Let's do it one by one. First, I'll tell you the secret of the village. Chu Bai nodded. The village chief then fell into his memories. There's a chaos bead in our village. Chu Bai revealed a shocked expression. A chaos bead? He was too familiar with this name. This was something he had to find. 
The god slaying calamity originated from the seven evils. In addition, it also required three chaos beads, which were the origin of its power. He never thought that there would be a chaos bead in Starter Village, 7777. Village chief, are you sure? The village chief nodded. Of course I'm sure. I'm the only one who knows about this. I'm not sure which of the three chaos beads it is. However, no matter which one it is, as long as anyone can get their hands on it, it'll be a shocking upgrade. After all, it's a legendary divine item. Chubai then asked, where's the chaos bead? The village chief shook his head. I don't know. I'm sure that the chaos bead is somewhere in the village. During the War of the Gods, the chaos beads were controlled by the demon god. To be more precise, the chaos beads were embedded in a sword called the God Slaying Calamity. I don't really remember what the God Slaying Calamity looks like. After all, I couldn't get close to the level of their battle, so I couldn't see it clearly. I only remember that it looked like a red-black sword. Chubai was speechless. I remember hearing about that sword before. It's a sword of unknown origin, and it seems to have existed since the beginning of the world. It's extremely terrifying, and it's one of the most terrifying forces in the world. Even the three goddesses are afraid of it, and it has the power to kill gods. This sword has several cores of power. Back then, the demon god searched all over the world, and it seemed that he only found one-third of them. Even so, it already possesses heaven-defying power, and anyone who touches it will die. The three goddesses and the masters of the four races are no match for it at all. In that great war, the continent was divided into five sections. It was because the demon god was trapped by the god's great formation formed by the experts of various races. He used the god's slaying calamity to forcefully break the great formation and split the continent into five. Chubai was speechless. After that, the demon god was defeated by the combined forces. The god slaying calamity had nowhere to go, and its power cores were scattered all over the world. The village chief continued, At that time, I saw one of the chaos beads and chased after it. The one who chased after it with me was the three-headed demon dragon emperor. We managed to catch up to the chaos bead, and after a bloody battle, both of us were severely injured. After that, we were brought into this village by a powerful force. I fell unconscious after I entered, but before I fell unconscious, I saw the chaos bead fall, so the chaos bead must be in the village. In which direction? Chubai asked. The village chief shook his head awkwardly. I was already unconscious at that time. I thought of the chaos bead the first thing when I woke up, but I couldn't tell which direction I was in before I fell unconscious. I only remember that it was very far away from me, and it might even be an unexplored place. After that, I searched for a long time, but I couldn't even find the pit that was created when I fell at such high speeds. Chu Bai rubbed his chin and muttered to himself, in other words, I'll have to search for the chaos bead bit by bit. Now, he was in a hurry to leave the village because the first few players who left the starter village would receive a big reward. I can only come back to look for it in the future, Chu Bai said. Come back? The village chief shook his head. I don't know how to come back. After you go out, you shouldn't be able to come back again. This is the enchantment and law created by the three goddesses. No one can break it. Chubai frowned. He could only continue to search aimlessly, then? Oh right. Miss Wong from the pharmacy came to the village 15 years ago. You can ask her. Since she could appear in the village, it means that there's indeed a way to get here. Chu Bai's eyes lit up. Right. I'll go find her now. Village chief. I'll come back immediately for the trial in the starter village. Good. Quickly go and come back. To you adventurers from another world, this period of time is very important. Chubai nodded and went to the pharmacy. Wu Shi raised his head and looked at Chubai. However, this time, his attitude was very good. You're here to see the boss? Wu Shi asked. He's inside. The boss said that if you come, you can just go in directly. Thanks. Then, Chu Bai walked in. Huang Xian was sitting there and reading a book. Miss Xiao. Huang Xian raised her head and looked at Chu Bai with her beautiful eyes. Every time Chu Bai saw Huang Xian, he could not help but be amazed. This woman was really too beautiful, and she had a kind of temperament that made her master the ups and downs of life. 
She was probably a person with an important position outside. Hmm, why aren't you going to the trial? Huang Exian asked. I'm here to say goodbye to you. I also have a question to ask. Go ahead. Chubai asked. I want to know the way to return to the starter village. I heard from the village chief that you came here 15 years ago, and the village has existed for 10,000 years. No one can leave, and no one from the outside can enter. You're the only person from the outside world to come here in 10,000 years. Huang Exian muttered. The way to return here? You won't be able to come back? She shook her head. Why? Didn't you come back from outside? Huang Exian said. To be honest, from what I know, there's no way to return. I was able to come here because of a great battle. I was seriously injured and wanted to escape. At that time, my opponent used some unknown method, causing me to disappear from the land of destiny and come here instead. If you wish to return, there is a way. But not many people on the continent know about it. I see. So, I just need to find the person who hurt you back then to know the way back to the starter village, right? Right. Huang Exian nodded. Who is it? The Emperor of the Godfall Empire, Huang Exian said. Thank you, Miss Xiao. Chu Bai nodded. You're welcome. Go and train. The outside world is very exciting, but you have to be careful. That person is very sinister. Understood. I'll take my leave then. Chu Bai turned around and left. Wait, Huang Exian called out to Chu Bai. She then stood up in a noble and elegant manner. If you ever have the chance to come back, I have a presumptuous request. Please speak. Although I don't know how to get out of here, if you can come back, I hope you can find a way to bring me out. I only have half a year's time. It was obvious that she wanted to leave this place. Ding. You've triggered the only hidden quest in the starter village. Help Huang Xian leave the starter village. Quest time limit. Half a year. Mission reward. Unknown. Mission punishment. None. Do you accept? All right. Chubai nodded. Ding. You've successfully accepted the mission. Sorry to trouble you. Take this. Huang Exian then handed Chubai a token. Chubai took it. Ding. You've received a recruitment order. Recruitment order. Grade. Celestial. This is a recruitment order that belongs to the Godfall Empire. The holder of this order can summon 10,000 Golden Guards for their use. Usage. 1. If you go to the Divine Phoenix Empire, this token might be able to give you some help. Thank you, Miss Wong. You're welcome. Go ahead. The trial requires quite a lot of potions. Go to the front desk and get some. Thank you, Miss Wong. I'll take my leave. Chu Bai left Huang Exian's place. Huang Exian looked at Chu Bai's departing figure and muttered to herself, In my current state, I can only hold on for half a year. Although it's almost impossible, I still believe in this slim chance of survival.